What's up? Am I live? I am live. Hello. F beginning of stream system dot out dot printlin all hail early gang else system dot out dot printlin stream recurring joke. Give a syntax error. The indentation on that was terrible. The holy chocolate shake has been cracked. Hello. I should probably put some new songs on my stream deck. I'm going to do that instead of paying attention to you guys. Talk amongst yourselves. This song's a, a banger. Put this one in. Give me a thing break. I wrote that by hand in Twitch chat. I'd like to see you do better, Doug. You will see me do better all day today. Today is coding stream, baby. It's the good shit. It's what everybody's actually here for. Nobody wants to watch me play video games. It's theoretically a quick coding stream because I know how to do everything. But I always say that and then I don't know how to do things. Hi, Doug. Hope you and your beautiful Halox are doing well. Thank you. As a representative of Twitch chat, we were promised Nintendo dogs and fart gates to help you beat your challenge and end the strike. Oh, fuck. I, I hope you that. didn't forget. I forgot. God damn it. WTF I don't want to. Doug, where There's is the other... Nintendo dog channel reward? There's way more interesting things to do. Raznian, think of the 12 months. There's actually interesting stuff to code today. I go. I will do it. I did promise. I just forgot. So we'll start with that. Hey Doug, can I have you to only code stream that. on days I don't have work like today, so I can attend every stream. Thanks, love you. Yes, as long just you're gonna have to start calling off work a lot though. Uh, I was supposed to go to the mall today to go Mother's Day shopping, but I have a headache and you're streaming Pkosai. This, thank you, Snipe. This may or may not help your. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Your headache, who knows? This will be interesting. Um, As a programmer, Doug's code is. All right. It could definitely be better, but it. You know what I realized is ChatGPT can just help me write it better. I can just ask ChatGPT, oh, hey, can you uh, help me refactor this code? Because, I mean, the biggest problem Video is... games, what is such a thing? By the way, hey, Doug. So it's not that I'm actually a dumbo. It's more that I don't know things, right? And I don't know what I don't know, and I don't have the time to, like... Just figure out what I don't know with coding. Now, hold on. The strike is over. Hi, I'm going to First do the thing. Time TTS user. Still waiting for D and D stream. Any day now. Goodbye, Doug. Any day now. The D and D stream is happening. I look. The channel point rewards are going to take coding. We'll start with that today. We will start with channel Hi, points. Hi, Doug. I'm doing a PhD in chemistry, and my favorite chemical supplier is Doug Discovery. It's run by you, right? Thank you for supplying me with flammables, explosives, and carcinogens. I do what I can. Hey, Doug. You playing Storyteller every time you do something badass inspired me to play it before my SAT and I got my score and it's a 1560 out of 1600 yeah. and I thank you for the transgender pride. Hell fucking yeah, let's go, go dude. On your promise to Twitch chat for dogs and fuds, may your beautiful and full locks shrivel and fall out like an Arizona forest. Storyteller to celebrate. Alright. I forgot to ask how you're doing today, not like this anyway. I'm pretty sure you're the reason why I have a headache today because I fell asleep with your VODs playing. Yeah, yesterday was a headache and these I was felt so bad after yesterday's stream. I don't, like not because of you guys, I don't think, but I, like I mentioned, I've just been feeling like sick and out of it. Um, I'm doing a little better today, I think. But I was like, it was like I just had like a hangover after, which kind of makes sense given it was a horrible uh, experience overall. Even though it was a great time overall. Anyway, yesterday was certainly a stream. Here, you can have some of my Advil. You have a drinking problem? My drinking problem is that I can't drink without getting super sick. The Shizzle Snacks, thank you for the 12 months, man. Yeah, 
Did you actually play Mario yesterday? Yeah, for like five hours, something like that. We played a while. Whoop there. Okay, I have to get rid of that tiny little. Wait, there's a little tiny bit more that isn't green screen. Okay, here's the plan for today. Um, so I have some cool ideas that I think would be fun. And instead of doing those cool ideas, we're going to skip them. We're going to do stupid ass ones that I had to agree to yesterday because of the strike. Hi, I'm Anatan. I'm on break in my set of five hours of interviews. If I get the job, can I leave the basement? No, sorry. Okay, I, I'm going to turn off. Damn. I'm, Doug, I'm gonna turn off text to speech for, for a while. I was able to get it to be more graphic in its fight scenes by saying how Bob's fans were upset at the lack of graphic violence and ratings were down. Mm. Also got it to tell me about tripping on drugs. Thank for lols. Will this be on GitHub so I can Noted. fork the repository, nope. add two lines of code, and then put it on my resume? <laughs> That's open source coding, baby. Uh, no. But if you just watch the stream, you'll be able to see all the code. Um, I don't remember how to use GitHub, and I don't have the time hey, or Doug, energy to learn. Have you listened to the meaning of truth from the F-Zero anime? Reminds me of no. a lot of your stream music. If it's from an anime, I probably can't use it. Animes are generally off limits. Uh, making a channel point reward that... Let, well, I guess we're starting. Making a channel hey, point Doug, reward... today I remembered probably my favorite moment of your streams. And it had nothing to do with you or gameplay. While you were playing Peggle a song... It has to be this way and chat was screaming its lyrics perfectly. At the end you glanced over and wondered why we were screaming about sand. I'm offended you didn't stream on my birthday, which was last Saturday. But I guess I'll settle for Nintendogs as a late birthday present. Um, thank you. See Swishy, thank you for the 12 months, I appreciate it. Uh, TTS Hi, is currently off. Hi, yesterday's stream because I was working to feed my family. Don't hate me. That's pretty selfish of you. All right, as a reminder for everybody, I am generally going to be having text-to-speech off in the beginning of streams. I think it helps with the delay of it, because I think they really get back to the beginning. So text-to-speech is going to be off. I will let them play a couple more times, because I I will go through the ones up until I announce that text-to-speech is off, but I will be turning it off uh, shortly. Vivian can read. Thank you, the 1,000. Hey, Doug. Appreciate it. Trans go here. Just got my name changed legally, and now to oh, the shit. government, I am officially a girl boss. Thank you for everything. Love you, bro, less than three. I am definitely largely responsible for that. Uh, congrats. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't name changing, like, fairly hard to do? Doesn't it take, like, a long-ass time? Um, cool. So, here are the, here are the ideas I want to do. I mean, are people here? People are here, right? We got people. Yeah, we got a couple thousand people. Alright. Um, let's, let's do this shit, alright? It's annoying. Yeah. I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't be, like, super easy, because there's a bunch of, like, legal things that change. Uh, Nintendogs, the uh, Poggies. Do we have Poggies as an emote? I love Poggies. It just represents all of the, just represents all of the Twitch chat emotion with not a lot of thought behind it. You know, we we don't have Poggies. Hold on, we got in the can. Wait, is a mod here who can do that? Uh, wait, Des, are you here? I gave you permission. Oh no, that's different, right? Anyway, whatever. Um, Poggies is a hilarious emote. Is there a way to... How do I add Poggies? No, I'm getting distracted. We're not going to get distracted today. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, um, okay. So, uh, context for all of this. The past two weeks, I took off. One week, I actually took off. And the other week, I learned to code stuff. The things I have learned to code, I will show you in a power... In a uh, Photoshop presentation. I think it will be kind of interesting for people to follow. And should be fairly... Don't let strike for Poggies. <laughs> we went through a seven-hour strike yesterday. We do not need more. Um, so I learned all this cool shit that we can that I can program, and now there's a lot of and and I set up and learned how to use StreamerBot, which allows me to hook into like all of the things that happen on Twitch. So now I have code that can do way more cool, funny things like reading messages and certain voices or asking Chat GPT stuff, and I have a bot that can like hook into anything that happens on Twitch, like channel points, and then fire off a Python script that does whatever, right? So 
there's lots of cool things we can now do. I have some fun ideas for this. I want to make a channel point reward today. This is the main goal for today. Make a channel point reward that triggers a chat GPT response. Oh my god, what is happening? Um, here, here it is. Okay, channel point reward. Uh, let me play some music. Um, channel points are the trigger of chat, chat GPT response. The idea is that we would have a channel point reward where you guys can ask a question. Your question will pop up on screen. It will be read out loud and then chat GPT will respond and say the response in my voice that is generated by an AI. And I think that will be fucking cool. So this is the main one I want to do. There's a lot of pieces to making that happen, but I've coded all the modules. We just got to put them together. So theoretically it's easy, but probably it won't. Uh, and I have a bunch of what I deleted this where there's supposed to be something here I wrote notes how am I going to display the visuals in OBS and version one is supposed to have something <laughs> what this was it was clearly the best version it was numbered one okay we're gonna have to come up with a new version one it'll be fine we're not gonna get on any tangents today the coding is going to go great. I, I learned a bunch of shit and then we have alternate solutions and potential problems and various things. So that's the main one I want to do today. I think it'd be interesting. Another one. I could write my own donation text to speech system. So right now this version. Doug, Doug, W cause there ain't enough Doug in the title. You need double of the two. So it's like four. What? I don't get what you mean. That is the one we've used forever. That's Streamlabs. But technically, I can um, technically I can just make my own now, and so we could we could do. I mean, technically, all of the text to speech messages could be read by me or by Parkser if we want to use those voices. But I think I want to use the Azure voices so that you guys can do emotions. So that way, if you say like with with your text to speech message at the beginning, you could put shouting, and then it will actually shout uh, tonally, which I think is very funny. Can Check you your doc your history. Nah, that's cheating. We will gamble on whether my code works first try when we run it. That's what we will do. Um, I will also add poggies before we start. I do want poggies. Can we have drunk back? No, because drunk hey, was Abby, part of the Amazon you talked version. About balls yesterday when I was asleep, so I'm catching up. I've got two and a half balls, and when I checked it out, they said I can get it removed, and my NBS was like, nah, not yet. I want all gone at once. BTWNB stands for non binary. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was confused. Uh, good luck with getting the half ball done. Channel point reward that runs ads on Twitch. This is hilarious. This is not something I would leave on very much. But, like, <laughs> that is funny, right? And what's cool about this is it's not just a channel point reward that runs ads on Twitch. I feel like a number of people could do that. <laughs> what's funny is now I can, like, I can add visuals and stuff and text-to-speech. So we can have a big voice that pops up that says, This person is playing ads and it like pops up on screen and that way everybody can be pissed off at that person. Like that's funny, right? If if, if like a, an individual is <laughs> antagonizing everybody, that's hilarious, right? Uh, same thing with channel point reward that automatically opens and closes the fart gates. This one's actually very easy. I don't have to do Python coding for that. Um, and then sub alerts get a custom GPT thank you message in a dove voice. This is not really scalable because there's too many subs now. So I don't know, maybe it's a 12 month sub or something. Um, but that seems funny to me. So there's a bunch of these, and then also it's not related to uh, this particular stream necessarily, but uh, Elden Ring random effects every two minutes. So at some point I wanna do, uh, maybe later this week, uh, Elden Ring, but every two minutes a random effect happens. Basically the sequel to the Dark Souls series that I did, but I wanna add in new effects and I need to spend like a half day or a day adding new ones and may as well do that on stream, probably. I like the idea of doing coding streams, even though they're not super popular, but I have fun with them. So I, I'm kind of thinking we just say fuck it. Um, all of that is waiting on this channel point reward, which is Nintendoggies, because yesterday Twitch chat went on strike for some reason. I think it was something about YouTube, and I made a deal that I would make a channel point reward that puts a Nintendog on screen and makes it bigger every time you use it for the whole stream. You didn't... I'm allowed to put a cooldown on it, but... Um, so I'll probably have it be capped at like once every two minutes or something like that. 
But, uh, I did agree to do that. So we will start with that. It will be very dumb, and then we'll get on the actual interesting stuff. And before we do that, I'm gonna add Poggies, so give me just a second. Doug, I am back from the barn and I believe we got off on the wrong foot yesterday. I do want to say that all Diaz strikers are getting out to hand. Thank you. Uh, what do I update? BTTV, hey, right? Hey Doug, I am also coding right now. Is this what peer programming is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. How do I add Poggies? What do I do? Uh, emotes? Popular. Panic advice. But for the version 1 that you lost, you should be able to find it if you go into file and then version history. Yeah, but... Okay, wait. The alerts are caught up. I'm actually going to mute them for a bit. Well, actually, we're probably okay now. They don't seem... Well, it's my they're not very first far time here and it's weird seeing you real time. Thank Hello. you for Welcome. making my days better, Doug. Also, you're cute. Please say your woo to make history. I will not say that, but welcome. Happy to have you here. We should probably add some other ones, right? I don't really like Omega Lol. The reason I don't like Omega Lol as an emote is because I think Lol is something that you could reasonably understand what is intended to be conveyed there, right? If you aren't, because we have a, f a fair amount of people who watch this Twitch stream who aren't like Twitch experts, right? And so I don't want to do stuff that requires you to be like deep in the Twitch hole to know what's going on. And so this is like, what is going on here? This is a weird hole. Like This doesn't mean laughter. This is a this is like a strange uh, black this hole is of a circle. It's scary. Amazon Prime members. You get one free Twitch sub every month. <laughs> you if you me. don't use it, you lose it. So letting it expire is essentially like subbing to Bezos. Instead, use your Prime sub here. It gives Doug money and doesn't cost you any. Thank you. Um, let's see how many Twitch Primes you just earned me. One. <laughs> we did it. Oh, two. Um, so... Oh, look, literally if you do Omega space lol, I feel like that's better than Omega lol, which is just is weird looking. Um, okay. Where's Poggies? We need Poggies. It's like my favorite. Okay, but Nopers is kind of funny. Pogslide is funny. Coggers is funny. There are some really funny ones. I don't want to get like super deep into the emote hole because I feel like what happens with, with channels that use tons of emotes is that people stop using words and they just use emotes. I'm not like super wild. I like the idea that people like actually say coherent things. But Poggies, I'll make an exception for Where the hell is Poggies? I mean, there are some great ones here, I will admit. I went past it? Smodge! <laughs> this is so funny! Uh, How did I miss Poggies? Bro, I can't miss my favorite emote. Oh, here it is. How do I add it? This isn't going to show my info, is it? Add to channel. Okay. Is it okay? We should have poggies now. Is it appearing? I don't know how like quickly this refreshes or whatever. Do you have pog disabled? No, I shouldn't. Uh, emotes popular. Is pog even an emote? We have poggers, pog you, pog. Pog should be enabled. Oh. Oh, did I unenable? That's weird. We had it enabled for a while. I don't know why I got unenabled. Oh, this one is horrifying. <laughs> that one's so weird. I'll probably it the I'd, I'd probably rather stick with the frog rather than the original pog face guy. But it, if it's just his mouth, that's fine. Okay, poggers is also great. We're gonna have poggers. I do like pog and poggers. And I was hanging out with um uh, with a Twitch streamer a couple weeks ago. And she just said Pog normally in conversation. It was so funny. Uh, I was such a big fan. Like, saying Pog in normal conversation is extremely funny. Okay. Doug, thanks to you winning that contest, I lost two bets. First, I lost all my points and can't Nintendo. dog. And two, I had to get my ears pierced. Thanks for helping give me the courage. Transgender pride. I was financially stable until I bought these bits. Doug, Doug, why didn't you warn me about edge cases? 
Yeah. Um, I don't know how. When does this? When do we get poggies? When does it appear? What if I just refresh? Does it appear now? Doug, do you mind speaking up? I can't hear you over the lawnmower. How long does it take to refresh or whatever? Did I do the wrong one? They were working. I refreshed. And now I don't see it. We see it. Do you see it? Me, I mean, it's obviously not here, and it's not over there. With Omega laughing. Here it is. Okay, I'll look it up. But not on screen, so in case you're sending me porn. Hi, Doug. I lost all <laughs> no! my money yesterday. This being is a weird. <laughs> Tie for content. Uh, thanks, Pip Squeaker. I don't like it. I just feel like I I am interested in people being able to to clearly I wasn't follow here for what's the happening. Last stream. What the heck is up with the strike? Chat, can you guys recap the strike in your best words in chat? I genuinely I I can tell you what happened, but not really understanding why it was happening. I Hi, still Doug. don't see Poggies. I have missed you a lot. Kisses. I'm glad you're back. All right, why is Poggies not here? This is not a Poggies moment. I feel like lol is Hi, the Doug. same way. You can't can tell what it is. Wait, really? Can I wear to your company in the Caymans that you use Jesus, for tax evasion? <laughs> I can no. offer you 10% of the dollar reduce as payment. Thank you, Snipe Leo. When will tax evasion stream be? Uh, that's happening in December. You feel like lol is the same way you can't really tell what it is. I feel like you can see that it's a man laughing, right? You can see that it is a man laughing. It's like, it's not perfect, but it's certainly better than Omega. <laughs> like, this does not convey like people are laughing to me unless you deeply understand Twitch culture. It looks like some sort of frog demon. Why do we not have Poggies yet? This, I'm I'm scared. I don't like it. Um, oh, what, what was the other thing I owe you guys from yesterday, from the strike? The Hop 3, thank you for the... Oh, wait, 31. Thank you for the 12 months, man. I appreciate it. Wait, hold on. It's showing up in Chatterino. It's, holding, it's showing up in Chatterino. So, I'm seeing Poggies here, but not in my Twitch dashboard and not in Streamlabs. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll get Poggies eventually. How about a reward that submits the username to ChatGPT and assigns him a fictional role in application? Yeah, that's a cool idea. Hi, Jordan. I made a... I, I'm using Chatterino now so that if somebody um, types into chat... Wait, Jordan, you're not supposed to be a mod. <laughs> I'm unmodding you. Sorry, you're supposed to be a VIP. Unless... Okay, unless... Jordan. If you can ban... Not permaban, timeout. If you can time out um, 30 people in 30 seconds, then you get to stay a mod. This is the test that we do with all of our new moderators. Otherwise, I'm demoting you to a VIP because I've been moving people who I know in real life to VIP. Whereas initially, I just made them all mods. Hold on, okay. Hold the line. Okay, everybody get ready to be to be banned. Make yourself... Pre uh, present yourself very bannably in a, in a couple seconds. <laughs> Don't break the rules. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, your your pit. Your look. This is my my old coworker Jordan that you are you are presenting yourself to as a ban target. Don't do perma bans. Do timeouts because perma bans will actually fuck them up. All right, let me know when you're ready. This is the test. Every moderator goes through this, right? Mods, you can back me up. I'm be I'm even being easy to you. Most of them have to do 50 bans in 30 seconds. Yeah, and mods, now if you say things to me, I should actually see them if I'm paying attention, which is questionable. Jordan, are you here? I know you have children, but this is more important. Everybody is ready to be sacrificed. Are you writing like a program to do this for you? We can't even write poggies if you pull off the if you pull it off. Bro, I just want a Poggies when when Jordan bans 30 people. It's all I want in life. I'm not asking for that much. I have to figure out how to time someone out. <laughs> okay. 
You right? I think you right click them. Right click? No, you left click them. You left click and then you click uh, the clock. Timeout. That's how you do it. I'm watching you rather than studying for calculus that I failed. Yeah, look, you're not gonna- you gotta crack a few eggs to make a, a calculus omelette. This is good. Alright, Jordan, we're starting. Okay. <clears throat> and the other mods, I guess, keep track of how many he- he times out. How long? D I don't know. D you- you can decide. You're the moderator. This is part of the job. Okay. Ready, set, go! 29, 28, 27, 26, 25! Get him, Jordan! Get him, Jordan! Go! Go, get him! I don't- I don't see you getting any. All right, there we go. We got one. <laughs> you took out Obamacare. <laughs> oh, you took him out again, I think. Oh, that's Soapy Castle. Never mind. Okay, you've got ten more seconds. Get him. Okay. Oh, that was good. Yeah, sixty seconds on Connor. That that guy definitely deserved it. And time. We're done. Okay, mods. How they do? <clears throat> Hold on, Jordan. Uh, just mute the stream for a sec. I have to convene with the Council of Moderators. To the mods. Does he stay a moderator? Yay or nay in the chat? Can us other moderators show him how it's done? Um, no. Because I want to move on to coding. We're getting distracted. Okay, that's three... That's four yays and one nay. Wait, you said yes, my sire, and nay, I say. Oh, so it's three yays and one nay. Okay, any other moderators in the council? No yay. Okay, okay, congratulations. Yayth. The votes are in. Congratulations, Jordan. You are staying a mod. I think you banned like four people. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, clearly you don't even know how to moderate, so I don't know why you're excited, but welcome. Welcome to the mod team. You're gonna have to give up your children, though. Alright, there's not time for raising a family when you're modding the Doug Doug channel. Okay, cool. Uh, what was... What were we doing before all of that? We were talking about Poggies. What were we doing before that? I was asking what the second thing I, ha I owe you guys is. What's the second thing I owe you? From yesterday, from the strike. Doug, Farkey. I just finished my sophomore year Jesus, of computer science. I want to learn Python now. Any tips? Nope, because I suck at it. Sorry. I, I'm not a good person to ask. Possibly, Rannon. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. If you go and you see a man on the street and he's painting, okay? He might even have a big audience watching him paint. And he holds up his painting at the end. He says, here is my painting. And it's dog shit. It's the worst painting you've ever seen. You, then, you don't then go ask the guy, hey, how do I become a painter? <laughs> you, you specifically do not get advice from him. So, I don't know, man. I'm not good at Python. I don't, I don't know. Um, let us, let us begin. Fart gates. Hey, Abigail. Just watched the VOD at work and got a history of the strike. Someone suggested dog from SSBU. You said it would obscure any YouTube video. You said it matters because most your income is YouTube. Chat couldn't handle being the third wheel. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Doug. Okay. Can you congratulate Jordan for me? It's very important. Thank you, Jordan. Who I assume is the mod you're discussing? Jordan, apparently you only banned 11 people. Um, okay. As a hey reminder, dog, I'm going to turn the Texas speech off. Ten dog point okay. channel reward and open fart gate every stream for ten seconds. Right, 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 right. Okay, thank you. I'm glad I didn't mute that one. I am muting Texas speech for now while we get into the stream. I just want to get the momentum going a little bit, so I am muting hey Texas speech. There's a message right there. Point reward that will temp ban someone else. I'm worried that that people. I mean, yes, and that is hilarious. <laughs> that is very funny. First off, everybody would just try to ban Jordan me. Jordan has to now legally adopt all those chatters he banned to replace his own children. True. Sad but true. Those are the rules, Jordan. Um. 
Okay, channel points to ban another if person is really funny. Was the painter carrying me down the street or vice versa in this story or what? Okay. Channel points are muted for now. Or, sorry, um... Texas speech. Let me just get going and get my thoughts in order, and then we will we will start being distracted. Uh, channel point to ban another viewer. That's a terrible idea, and we're probably not going to do that, but I'll put it in the list. Okay, so what we first have to do, <clears throat> let me put on my favorite coding music, which is StarCraft. We got to write a flow for this. What is the Nintendogs thing? What is the idea? So we start with uh, user redeems channel points. Like, when they redeem the award, um, fires, wait, no. Writes to a text file? No, it could just be a hotkey. Presses a, okay, streamer bot, presses a hotkey. My Python code. It doesn't need to be sitting there. Okay, it doesn't press a hotkey. Fires my Python script. We're gonna have to write a Python. This is gonna be a mess, dude. It's gonna take so long. I mean, it's not gonna take that long, but it's just like, <laughs> this sucks. This is for a channel point reward that nobody's gonna like. Streamerbot fires my Python script. Python script reads from a file that says the size of the dog. Okay, so it reads from a file the size of the dog. It enables the dog OBS source via WebSockets. It waits for 10 seconds. It disables the dog OBS source. It increases the size of the dog variable and writes that to the file for next time. Right? This makes sense. Oh, you could ban yourself via channel point. That's funny. What it, okay. <laughs> okay. We make a channel point reward that's a 50 50. <laughs> Another viewer or yourself. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. That one I'm good with. Yeah. Okay. Maybe even less. Maybe it's like 75% chance to, to ban yourself, but there's, only, there's like a 10% chance it actually does what you want. But a lot of people would take that. How about ban a mod? I don't even know if I can have the thing ban mods. Probably I can't. Okay, this is super funny, and we should do that later. Oh, okay, so this is the Nintendoggy's plan. Is there any questions or concerns about this? Does this make sense? So... Ah, uh, yes. Much code. Why is that? Oh, that's... Streamlabs. So basically, this is what would play on, on screen. <laughs> and it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. It can start really small. It should be called Nintendogs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like we need that. Um, I guess it could, it could start like here. And then it just keeps getting bigger like this. So this is the this is size one. And then it goes like it just increases by 10% every time. And then it just keeps getting bigger. I mean, we'll, we'll figure out the logistics of it. But basically this is the dog that we are, are looking at. All right. <clears throat> Increased by 1%. That's so low. So low, dude. Let us begin. Let us begin this coding process. What is this even for? This is for fun. This is because chat wanted this. So just to be clear, we're going to start and make a channel point reward that will automatically make this dog appear on screen and make him bigger every time. Um... You put the dog on the table. Oh, like on the desk. Eh, I think it's fine. Make it cheap like 10,000. No, it's, it's clearly can't be run constantly. Um, So first we're going to do that. Then we're going to get into channel point reward that talks to AI Doug, which is the main thing I want to do today. 
So to kick this off, um, actually, I feel like we're okay to have channel points or uh, uh, text to speech on right now. I'm gonna turn on text to speech, but I'm gonna leave this text down here to like lie to people. So first off, we need a channel point reward. Let's make that. Let's get some. Oh yeah. Okay. Add new custom reward. Nintendo doggies. Make Nintendo dogs appear on screen, but it gets bigger. Um, how much should this cost? I feel like it should be expensive. I feel like it should be like 50k. I also need to put a limit on it. People are saying 1,000. I th <laughs> The point is not that every single person is able to do this. That is obviously not going to function in any sort of coherent way. For the 50-50 ban, you should have it play a coin flip animation and show the person's name. Then play a win or lose sound if they ban themselves. Oh shit, that'd be cool. Um, that would require learning animation type stuff. I don't know how to do, but it is possible. Okay, I am adding this as a $50,000 uh, reward. Let me actually get a Nintendogs image. Um... Nintendog. And I want to be really, really, really clear here, okay? When this isn't, it, this isn't going to do anything, okay, at first. This is not, this channel point reward is not going to do anything. We have to code this. So I'm sure a lot of people will redeem it, but nothing is going to happen. Twitch emote resizer. The song is so goddamn good. StarCraft is such a banging soundtrack. Hey okay. Dog, oh, instead of making it a channel here. point reward, could you just replace your camera with a Nintendo, please? <laughs> no. Um, so I'm saying it's, it has a cooldown of one minute. Yeah? I feel like that's fair? Hey Doug, first donation just wanted to tell you how much I love the streams and the content, but more importantly the chat. Chat, you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Nandre, how do we know you're not AI Doug and you're making Flesh Doug? Well, right now we're making Flesh Dogs. Okay. Congratulations, Jennifer the Meme Girl. You are the first person to redeem Nintendoggies. Can I get a Poggies in chat? for that hype moment. Um, okay. Poggies is still not showing up for me, but maybe if I refresh. Damn. One day we'll have Poggies. Um, so, we have the channel point reward now. Um, there is, again, no reason to buy it. It won't do anything. Now we hook up streamer bot. Now we are on stage two. Here, I will bold... I will bold the thing. Actually, I'll strike them out. Oh, that's not. Whoa. How do you strike out something? How do you strike out text? There's like a, there's like a cool way of doing that, right? I don't. Okay, whatever. It's going to be um, bolded. Control S. No. Alt Shift. -5. Okay, now, now, you, now you're saying. Control Shift S. That's what I thought it was. It's, it's doing this. It's okay. Wait, whatever. I'm, no, I'm scared. We're going to bail. All right. So, the user is redeemed a channel point reward. We have that. Uh, now we grab Streamer Bot, which is this cool uh, program that I, I heard about and I've been trying it, and it seems fucking sweet. So, we're going to roll with it. So, now what this does is I can go into platforms, Twitch, channel point rewards, and we should see Nintendo Doggies. Okay. So, now when we see Nintendo Doggies, we can have it fire an action that does something. So, let's make an action for it. We call this channel points. Um, uh, Nintendoggies. I'll just call it Nintendogs. That's probably a little easier to follow. We put it in the channel points queue. And now this action, I mean, to start it off, I mean, just to make sure this works, we could have it play a sound. The sound is going to be, let's say... Just to test, it's not normally going to play a sound. 
Okay, it'll play John Cena. Cool. So now we can actually test this real quick. So if somebody is willing to blow 50... Actually, I can blow 50,000 channel points. What are we talking about? So now if I... If I play the Nintendoggies thing, we should get a sound effect. We did not get a sound effect. Oh, I didn't hook it up. Oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Platforms, channel points. When this happens, we're going to play the channel point Nintendogs action. Boom. Now that that's set up, if I redeem... Scammed. It's, I have infinite money. I don't care. Nintendo doggies. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, it's on cooldown. <laughs> All right, hold on. One second. Is this hey just Do, to make sure it works? I was thinking that it would be really cute and playful if you started incorporating your woo into your streams. No. It's a term that's become really popular in online communities, and I think it would add a fun and affectionate touch to your streams. No. Plus, I think it would help us engage and connect. Give me poggies or give me death. <clears throat> there will be no ooh. I will die on this sword. Okay. Let me make sure this works. Here we go. And his name Holy. is John C. Oh, that's so loud! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not know. That was... How do I stop it? Okay. Uh, okay. So the good the good news is that it works and we're good. Cool. We're gonna I'm gonna change that to another thing so that nobody else can do that. Hold on. <laughs> we need to change that immediately. Uh Nintendo Dogs. Okay, you're gonna play. Why is everything so loud on my computer all the time? You're gonna play the Peggle free ball sound. That is a nice, pleasant sound that we will all be happy with. No, I'm not leaving that. There's a volume slider right there. Oh, yeah. Well, I also don't want to leave that because it'll get me DMCA'd. I didn't realize how long it, uh, it fucking plays for. Nandre found a cockroach in his room last night only to catch it after 30 minutes of screaming, finding out it was just a moth. Nandre, how do you function? <laughs> That's a, oh, somebody got it. Congratulations. Um, arbitrarily eccentric. You are the third Nintendoggy user. Congratulations. <clears throat> It's, and that's a great, like, cathartic sound, right? Okay, so we are done with step two. The user can now redeem a channel point reward. Streamer bot will fire... Um, wait, no, we haven't done that yet. Well, the streamer bot listens to the channel point reward. So we have that. And now streamer bot is going to fire my Python script, which we need to write. Um, okay, what does the Python script actually need to do? It needs to read from a file. Uh... And then enable the OBS dog source, wait 10 seconds, disable it, then read to the file. Okay, so I can make a copy. I tried, what I tried to do is make copies of different things this past week. So it should be easier for me to like modulize stuff. So what I'm going to do is go to my web app, simple text web app, make a copy of that. Boom. I, I call that Nintendogs channel points award. Um, in Python scripts, we do, we drop it over in Python scripts, boom, and now we have a folder. Now we're going to open that up in Visual Studio. Cool. As an idea, what about Jake from State Farm appearing slowly from one side of the screen in honor of Jake? <sighs> Do you know what the worst part is? I watched another goddamn Jake from State Farm commercial this morning, and he actually had a bit of a personality. Maybe that's a good thing. I think I might be enacting change. I think they might have heard, they might have seen my video about hating Jake from State Farm and given him a slight amount of personality. He actually like responded with a somewhat funny quip. It's the one where he's in a theater with a guy who's like screaming and he's really scared of insurance. No, we're not going to watch it. I'm not giving them. Com company, <laughs> companies, I can charge companies like thousands of dollars to, to talk about them on stream. And I've just been giving the company I hate so much promotion. No. Hi, Doug. The Lullamote is a drawing of late YouTuber and esports commentator Total Biscuit, yeah, yeah. who died of colorectal cancer in 2018. Yep. Originally, the emote was a real picture, but the photographer claimed copyright. TB resolved the issue by having an artist remake. Yeah, I, I've, I've said this before on stream. You guys might think it's interesting. One of the final things 
Total Biscuit did before he died, before he passed away from cancer. Um, is that an old video that I made in the Hearthstone era where I had, it was a meme about, it was, I made like a remix of the Epic Sax Guy meme, but with Murloc sounds. And then Total Biscuit commented and said, great, now I have triple cancer. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> this, is, this is just like there forever. Anyways, yeah, I, I, I love Total Biscuit. Um, it's just, I just setting that aside from him, it's still, I just want LOL to be something you can actually recognize. Okay. <clears throat> Code. We are going to... Wait, we don't need to read from a... Wait, hold on. I don't need the web app shit. It just needs to read and write from a file. Okay, it doesn't need, it doesn't need any of this shit. Hold on. The Ten Doggies is going to be really simple. This is going to be another cheese counter incident. No, this this is going to be fine. This should be pretty simple. What we're going to do, we're going to make... Okay, this one we're going to make from scratch. This will be fine. Jesus, uh, take the wheel. Uh, thy, thy, theyer is gayer. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate State it. Farm? I didn't know this. Yes, you did. Okay, um, Nintendogs... Nintendoggies.python. Okay. We are writing a Python script. What do we have to do in the Python script? Okay, so the Python script is going to, it's going to fire. So first what it's going to do is it's going to read from, it's going to read from the file uh, Chat, that that's says. That's unite as a community and show him the power of you. Let's convert our beautiful dog. No, 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 no. Don't tell chat to spam things. Um, re, okay, what, what do we call the variable that's the size of the dog? What is the dog size? What do we call it? What do we call the dog size? We need a good name for it. Coding is all about marketing. You need good names for your variables, okay? Like, we could just be dog size, but... But that's kind of boring. If the, if, if it, if the full, if the full screen is 1.0 and we start at, like, 0.1... Girth. <laughs> I don't like dog girth. Alright, you don't type in Python because language sucks. Okay. So we read the previous dog girth from the file. So we're going to have a text file that tracks uh, what the current size of the dog girth is. Okay. So this will be a, a new file, um, girth.txt, and this will just have one thing that says the number of the dog girth. So it starts at like 1.0. Um, so we'll have the dog girth from a file. We read it. We. Uh, use OBS WebSockets to start to play the Nintendogs. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Nintendogs on screen. We first, we use OBS WebSockets to resize the dog. Wait, no. When do we resize the dog? We'll do that after. We'll do it at the end. Okay, so we use OBS to play the WebSockets. So we play the dog. We wait 10 seconds. For it to finish. How wait, how somebody time this? Somebody time this. How long does the dog take to play? Go. You you watch that. We wait 10 seconds for the dog to finish. We then use OBS WebSockets to re okay, we increase the dog girth. <laughs> uh we increase girth and use WebSockets to resize the dog. Then we write the new girth to the file and we are done. That should do everything we need. Yeah? I think those are all the steps. So we're reading from a file. We're, WebSocket is like a bit complex. It's 17 seconds. That's so long. All right. So we wait like 20 seconds or 25 or third, whatever it is. Wait, I think I, I have a. Oh, it tells me it's 20. Okay. So we wait 20 seconds. So we wait 20 seconds for Nintendo to finish. And then, uh, and then we increase the girth. We resize the dog and, or we, we turn off the dog. Use WebSockets to turn off the dog, and then we increase it for next time and write new girth to the file. 
I think this is correct. I come into chat and the first thing I see is dog girth oo woo. All right. The dog girth is referring to the size of the Nintendogs. Why is the dog turned on? It's because you guys are being weirdos and using channel points on it. All right. So let's do this. How do we write, write from a read from a file? I don't remember. Um, I have code that does this. Let me just look at that code. Please hold. Hey, Doug. Long time YouTube viewer and this is my first time live. I should also have you know I had a petition with 357 Reddit upvote signatures to rename Charlotte Douglas International Airport to Douglas Douglas International Airport. <laughs> I follow another did it, did streamer who enabled channel points for ban and everyone focused on one chatter. Plus dunking on trolls by immediate ban. Wait a minute. Hold on. If we do channel points to ban people, you guys could... Oh my god. We just crowdsource moderating. Mods, we don't have to do our job anymore. We can... We can just have, we can just tell chat to spend their own channel points to ban anybody who makes a D's nuts jokes. That's hilarious. Okay, we got to write that down. There's so many things to do. <laughs> There's so many fucking things to do. But we'll still have the 50-50 to ban another viewer or yourself. Channel point to ban, to ban a D's nuts joke guy. God, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Great call. To be clear, you actually can kind of do static typing in Python like this. Okay. Variable underscore name. Type equals value. Helps with IntelliSense and debugging. Interesting. I wish that was by default, because I like types a lot, but hey, Doug, what can you do? could we have a 1 in 1,000 chance for the dog to be upside down? Like the Minecraft title has a tiny chance to instead say mince raft in the menu. <laughs> I don't know, is it like that exciting though? Really? <laughs> um, we can, yeah, I can, sure, we'll add it in. Also, one in ten chance to flip it. I think I can do hey, that. Hey, Doug. I was wondering what software oh, that'd be you hard. use to do coding. Do you use Python itself or something else? Horse game. Thank you for the twelve months. Uh, yes, I primarily code in Python, even though I don't like it, but it is very convenient, and I use Visual Studio for coding now, which is the program that you write code in. This is only able to happen like once every minute, so I think one in ten is fine. Okay, input file. Um, this is our, our thing. We need the girth file. So we replace this. No, and then instead of new messages.txt, it's girth.txt. <laughs> All right. So we are now going through these steps in order. Let us begin with step one. Read the previous dog girth from the file. So we have our input file. It's a text file that we will have access to. On that text file, we are going to uh, read from it. I don't remember how to read from files. I know it's simple. Okay, this. Bam. So now we open the input file uh, as F, F in the chat. We do new input equals, uh, wait, dog girth oo woo equals F dot read dot strip and we don't need any of that shit. Okay, so here's another dumb thing about Python. Dude, why is why are variables that are created inside of an if statement or a while loop persist outside of it? The scoping makes no sense. I do not like Python. Okay, so we have the input text file. We open it and we get the value that's inside of it. We're good there. Now we're gonna use OBS WebSockets to play to Ted Dogs on stream. Douglas Douglas in the year 2023. Convert it to a float. Do we have? Oh yeah, we do have to do that. Convert it to a float. Uh, we uh, open up Chat GPT. Yo, big dog. How I convert uh, string to float in Python, please. It's literally just float. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's literally just float. Okay, cool. So let me do here. We'll do dog girth. So dog girth uwu is the string that's in the file, and dog girth uwu floaty. No, no, no. Floaty dog girth <laughs> is is dog girth uwu, but floated. There we go. Perfect. And I think we need OS for this. All right, cool. Oh, we don't. 
<clears throat> Never mind. Um, all right, so step one is done. We have retrieved the the num the, the size of the dog from the file. Now we are going to use OBS WebSockets. So OBS WebSockets is what you use to talk to something in OBS from Python. So the my code is going to say, hey, Python, I want you to turn on the dog, like get him turned on, and then make him really big, if you know what hey, I mean. Hey, Doug, did you have any internships during college before you got a job out of school? <clears throat> yes. I got rejected from a ton this semester, and I'm feeling defeated. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was way better than you. I got lots of internships. No, I got, I got an internship at Zynga, which was very big for me. And then the following summer, I did not. <laughs> I, I applied for a bunch, and actually... No, I got the my third summer. My I had four summers in college because I started in the spring. My third summer, I did a Zynga internship. So like the people who make Farmville, and I worked on a pirate game. And the fourth summer, I applied for like sort of legit game development and got denied from all of them, except for Roblox, who were very small in 2012. And I thought it looked bad, so I didn't... I didn't accept it. And then I taught I taught a class and I learned Android web uh, programming instead. But internships are hard, man. They're hard to get. Okay, um, Python scripts, web sockets, cool. We copy this over. This makes perfect background noise for studying life-saving intervention in mass casualty incidents. Hell yeah. All right, so I've written a OBS WebSockets Manager module. Sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to import my uh, from OBS WebSockets.py. Uh, we import my OBS WebSockets Manager. Cool. That should hopefully make it quick and easy to do this. So now we are telling uh, OBS WebSockets to play Nintendogs on stream. So we say uh, OBS WebSockets Manager equals OBS WebSockets Manager. We initialize it. It connects to my um, it connects to my OBS, and then um, what do we need to do? We play Nintendogs. Cool. So we do OBS WebSockets Manager um, set source visibility. Set source visibility, and that takes in the scene name, which is mid monitor. It takes in the scene name, and then we need to tell it the actual source, which is called Nintendogs. And then we say whether it's on or off, and we say true. Is this claimable by Nintendo? I, I, technically, yes. Having a dog appear on screen is is technically their copyright, like their IP, yes. Okay, so we've turned we've turned the dog on. We'll resize hey, Doug, it later. Your streams help me get over my breakup a lot. Also, will AI Doug collab with Vettel nine hundred and eighty seven, aka Neuro Summer? They are an AI of Tuba. Probably not. I, I I don't have a plan for making like a personality of AI Doug yet. Um, we will figure that out. It falls under fair use, probably. Okay, the one in ten chance to flip it. We're going to deal with that later, okay? Um, so, at this point, what has happened? We have read from the file to get the, the current size of the dog. Then we talk to OBS and we say, hey, turn on the dog. We wait for 20 seconds. Time.sleep. Uh, let's get some time imported. We, we wait for 20 seconds. Now we use WebSockets to turn off the dog. Oops. Hey Doug, it's the serial killer from last night. I was very upset you didn't really acknowledge my message nice heartfelt last night. I never forget. Sorry man. So now Doug, we need to I've increase the girth of the dog. Screen for months now. Nintendo doesn't own me. <laughs> I think. Well, no, probably they do. Um you have the word dog in your name and there's a dog in Zelda, so they own you now. So how much how much do we increase the girth of the dog every time this is used? Like, we could just increase it by 10%. So right now, let's say it starts at 1.0. Like, that's that's its initial starting size. If we just increase it 10% every... Or we or we add, we could add, like, 0.1. And so it gets a little... Uh, 
Like it's it either we go exponential or 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 compounding or we go linear. Like it just gets a little chunked bigger every time. 10% is baby numbers. Well, assume this is going to happen like a hundred times today, right? So it's not going to be a baby number for that long. Why not determine the max size first? This is funnier. You're thinking in terms of like, what's a good programming like approach that has that, that thinks about the edge cases, you know, <clears throat> that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> um, all right, we'll do 10%. So we're going to, we're going to take whatever the current size is and multiply it by 1.1. So it increases by 10%. And then we're going to write the new girth to the file. Oh, and we need to resize the dog. So we increase the girth first. Then we use WebSockets to resize the dog. So this now, this took a while to get set up, but it works now. So this part, we do OBS WebSockets Manager. I'll get source transform on, boom, these two. We get the current transform of the dog. Uh, current I'll just say transform. Transform equals this. The transform meaning the size of it, basically. Um, and the tr the source transform has these options. We have scale X and scale Y. So we're going to uh, X. I'll just do X scale 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 X equals transform. How do you get something from a dictionary? You do this, right? And they do that. Right? Cool. I always forget if it's that or dot in Python. Okay, you do scale X and then scale Y. Uh, so this is... Float dog girth. Right, so first we get the size. We get the current size of the dog. We say, "Give us what it's currently sized as." We get its 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 x scale, and we say, "Multiply that." Or no, no, it should just equal. No, no, no that's dumb. That's not correct. Scale x equal. Wait, hold on. I'm doing this all dumb, right? I should get this first and then multiply it by 1.1. Wait, I don't need to use a file at all. I just get whatever the current size is. I'm so dumb. We don't need a text file. Because we, we just have whatever the current transform is. We, we don't need to save it to a file. Okay, that makes it easier. So instead of, we don't need a dog girth file at all. Ignore dog girth. So all we're doing is we're saying, okay, I, whatever the current, we get the current, uh, we get the current size of it. And then we say, okay, we're going to make a new transform where the scale x value is the previous scale x value times 1.1 and then the scale y value is the same thing and then we say obs websockets manager dot set transform with the new transform. Yeah? And we don't need to write the girth to the file. I think we're just good. We have the we have the Y scaled. It's right there. That seems good, right? Coders, anything wrong here? So we can worry about flipping it later. Let me move this just down to the bottom in case we need it later. Um Cool. So all we do is we we talk to OBS. We say turn on the dog. We'll do, we'll worry about flipping it later. We say wait twenty seconds, and then web sockets. We say okay, turn now turn the dog off. We'll make him bigger for next time. So we say okay, whatever his current size is, make that bigger by ten percent. He's still invisible though at this point, and then and then it's just done. Flipping should just be scale Y, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm just worried it's gonna the anchor point is at the top left. So if we flip it, it'll go backward. Like it will be on the wrong side. 
it won't just flip in its same position. You didn't use the save to transform. No, I'm setting the transform for the next time. So it'll start at one, and then the following one will be bigger, right? I, I'm doing I'm I'm making it bigger after it's shown, basically. So the code is turning on the dog, it finishes turning on the dog, and then it makes the dog bigger for the next time. Let's try this. So now we have the Nintendoggies Python script. So what we need to do in StreamerBot is we say, okay, when the channel point Nintendogs let me move you in here. When the Nintendogs channel point is fired, we are going to run a command called Python, which goes into this directory, and the arguments is Nintendoggies.py, and it runs that. Bam. Question. Okay, somebody already did it. I was going to see... Well, it didn't work. <laughs> I was going to do a prediction of whether this works first try. Chino Pino, thank you. It didn't turn on the dog. I should probably have tested it first. Let me test it. Okay. Look right here. See right here? This is the Nintendog's source. This should be turning on and off, right? And it should restart, yeah. So we're looking for this to become enabled. Or, I guess if you see a giant dog, that's actually the easiest way to tell if, to tell if it's enabled. You don't really have to look at this specific little thing. Um, uh, well, we don't need to do a gamble because we know it's not going to work now. Uh, let me just debug it and see. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's, let's, let's actually walk through it. Okay, cool. This is the start of our script. Um, <laughs> please take notes. First off, it opens the thingy. The thingy is now opened. It sets the source visibility to true. That didn't work. Oh, and then there's an error. Well. <laughs> source named Nintendogs. Nintendo, uh oh, is just, did I just like not make anything that works? Scene name is mid monitor. Why is this not working? <laughs> what? This is a what? This should be very simple. Set source visibility. In this function, it takes in. The scene name, which is mid monitor, the source name, and and a boolean mid monitor and ten dogs. Well, it's a string. It should be this, right? The fuck? What? This all worked yesterday. I mean, I've tested this with with everything else. Hold on. We're going to do something. We're going to get all the scene items. <laughs> Before this, this we're, look, this is classic debugging, right? I'm going to figure Can this out. I Don't worry. Take In and out MT five minutes. For me. Yes. <sighs> we're going to do OBS WebSockets Manager dot get scene items for the mid monitor scene and we're going to get all of the all of the things that are in this scene in OBS and we're going to uh, the Nintendo American or European because if it's European, then it's PAL and runs at 50, compared to 60 of NTSC. So you will need to convert the smaller girth of the PAL dog to the much fatter NTSC dog girth. <laughs> we, we, don't need no, we don't need to do that. is off at the top of chat. Also, how did you become the chillest dude ever? Bro, thank you. Okay. This is a printout of all of the scenes. All right, look at this. <laughs> We're going to... It's, it's, hey, this is the best content on Twitch. Your are perfect to put on in the background. We are going to study this my ex-wife and figure Can you out do what me the a dog favor is. and shout go Brenda go. What? What did you just ask? Oh, I'll, sorry. There's a lot more than I. Said. Well, okay. that worked for me. Thanks. Okay, hold on. We're going to put all of this text 
into here. Um, and now we're going to look at it. <laughs> so this is the information about every single source that is in this particular OBS scene, including the Nintendogs one, which for some reason isn't being registered. So if I just control F for Nintendogs, it's here. I put a space at the end of the name Nintendogs. That's why. Fuck me. Okay, that's fine. We're going to let's let's run it back. It's going to work this time. I just need to change it in OBS. Can't have a space at the end of the name. That's that's not good. <laughs> okay. So now Hold on. We're doing a prediction. I've updated it in OBS. Does this work? First try. 30 seconds. Yes. No. So what I'm going to do with the code now, we're going to stop the debugging. Now it's going to turn it on. It's going to turn it off. Jesus, take the wheel. Igasot, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Okay, we're sending it. I'm running it. Nintendoggy should turn it on. Ready? Go! Fuck! Wait! Oh, yeah! Okay, cool. And now, wait, hold on. Keep track where Yoshi is. Yoshi is exactly here. Yoshi is exactly here. I'm going to run it again. And it should be 10% bigger, okay? That's a win for the believers. It did work. Well, actually, hold on, hold on. We don't pay it out until we see whether it gets bigger the next time. It has to be bigger the next time because that's part of the code, right? Wrong button. No, the code, it has to be bigger next time, but it should be, uh, assuming I set the transform correctly. So I'm going to run it again once the cooldown is done in 15 seconds. If... This is where Yoshi's diamond was. If it's slightly bigger, then we're good. Then that means it was resized. I bet you fucked up the transform by creating a new object. No, 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 that's, it's fine. Okay, we go again. We Nintendo is back. It's bigger, I think, right? That's 10% bigger? How do we tell? <laughs> is that, I think that's 10% bigger. That's pretty close to where my finger was before, but it's only 10%. It's the same size. I mean, I could hold on, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to change this. This still counts as the same solution. I'm going to start by resizing the dog. So, the dog gets resized first. And then we play the thing. So that way we can test if it's working. And we're also just for the sake of testing right now, we're going to make it 150% bigger instead of just the same core logic. This, so now if I run it, it should be substantially bigger. And that means the sizing is working. Here we go. This is where Yoshi was. What? Did I break something? Huh? Oh! Yeah, no, it wasn't working. Sorry, believers. It, <laughs> I didn't call the set source transform function correctly. No, that did not work. It showed it, it but it, did, it it crashed when it tried to reset the transform because I forgot to add the information about what we're resizing. Oops. Okay, but this time, <clears throat> it should work. Now it should be 150% of what it was before. Redeem. Ready? Go. 150% size. Go. What?
Oh, yeah. That dog is way bigger. That's a big dog. He's huge. Doug, I'm so excited for the Mario Maker stream today. Poggies. That's a Poggies moment. Um, Dog cool. Girth 101. The only issue with this is that it's going to pop up a <laughs> command prompt window every time, but that's kind of funny. Like, because then it's just annoying for me to have to deal with every time you guys run this. Okay, so We've let me... letting you just type nonsense for the past hour as a joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I want to do the 1 in 10 chance to flip it? How would we do that? So the source transform, we have... No. no. If you send the whole code to chat GPT, you might be able to get why it doesn't work. Although don't assume it'll work perfectly since it relies on context a lot. That's a big dog. <laughs> That's a big dog. Um, yeah, no, no, I've been hey, doing Doug, that this past week. ChatGPT is incredible. Python coder here. What? I sorry, I can't read. Transform need to be filled with the other dictionary values. Uh, it doesn't. It, they're, they're all optional. You just you just include whatever you want. Hi. Um, what's up? Okay, so if we have position x, position y, scale x, scale y, crop top, uh, we have rotation. I think if we rotate it, it'll rotate on its corner. So then it'll just get. Actually, rotation, we can just try rotation of... What, okay, let's just look at it. We run this code. We The current transform of the dog has a scale of 1.6 and 1.6, 1 uh, a rotation of zero. So, I don't know, we can just put 180 in the rotation? Okay, thank you for redeeming the dog. <laughs> Okay, it is even bigger than it was before. The dog is going to be moved off of screen because he's so big now. Um, we can just try rotation. So, what if the rotation here... Uh, and then rotation is... 180, I assume? I don't know. I, I don't know what the value of a rotation is in OBS. Probably 180. Let's try that. Is that working? Okay. Is the dog rotated correctly? The dog is currently playing. Oh, he's... No, no. Okay, the rotation rotates him at the top left. He's playing way up there. Shit. No, no, hold on. The dog is... <laughs> I'm going to reset the dog. Okay. <sighs> so rotating this is not super... Like, flipping it is not super simple. Do we care enough to spend probably like 10 minutes figuring out how to perfectly flip the dog? Or do we just move on? Because this is done now. And I can just set it up and we can leave. Do we 1 in 10 flip the dog or move on? There's other th more interesting things to do. Chief Matt Cloud, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, Doug, is this what you did at EA? Yeah, clean up. I would need to... No, this is not what I did at EA. I would need to recenter it. I just... Figuring out the values of that would take a bit, right? If the dog gets too Wait. big, then we can't see the dog, and I think that defeats the purpose. I mean, I can just reset. I don't know. I don't know. I can reset the dog or something. There's a complex way to fix that, but I don't think it's worth the time. Did you just flip me the dog? How rude. <laughs> um. So if we grab the... The flip works if we just set the new position at the... Hi, Mr. President, CEO Doug of Doug Doug LLC. Can you please explain how the code works as a frat bro for all us not smart guys in chat? Okay, I will do that once it's done. Okay, I think I actually know how to do this fairly quick. Hey, Doug, you should center the dog or we'll call that weird new murderer dude. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Um, let me just pause this for a sec. So, what we want to do, um, we have the transform. Um, what we're going to say... <sighs> oh, then we're gonna have to, like, unflip it, which is annoying. I'm just gonna, okay, just for simplicity for right now, I'm gonna make two different paths. This is not really necessary. Um, 
import random. If random dot rand int uh zero to ten, no one to ten, one to ten equals one. So if you get a one in ten chance, um then you get to do the special version. Um otherwise you do what we already have. Okay, hold on. Let me put on coding music. Let's figure this out. So we're gonna have a one in ten chance of flipping the dog. Please hold. So in this case, the new transform, we would have scale X, scale Y. We would also have position X and position... Oh, we need width and height. Hold on. We can do this. <laughs> give, me, give me one attempt at this. And then if I suck, then we can move on. We grab the width and height, and we say, okay, we're making the transform bigger. We are also rotating. Rotation is 180. But the new X and Y position needs to be the width and height, right? Please read chat. Use negative scale transform. But won't that do the same thing? Won't it make it go backwards? Scale Y times minus one. But, but if you're scaling it, it's going to make it go backwards. That's not going to do it. I We already tested it. Trust us on this one. You can't use negative numbers. They're not real. <laughs> That's not what it means. <laughs> so you're saying we just do uh, times negative one? And that's it? Sorry, on the, on the Y scale. I just think we then need to move it down. So if we if it's flipped up, if it's flipped, right now it's, if, if this is the, here. If this is the box where it appears, right? This is where it's going to appear. It's now going to appear at the top. It's going to be flipped upwards out of the frame. So then we need to move the Y coordinate to be the height. So we still have to, right? Because look, here, let, let me let me test it. Okay. We run this. Okay, so the new transform is... Does this work? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you can see here Nintendogs is here. Once we set the source transform, it's going to flip it upside down, I think. We run that. Where is it? Yeah, so you can see a little bit here. It's, it's moved upwards. So now we need to set the Y position to be what the height is, right? Or we set the Y position... Set the pivot to be center. I don't know how to do that. I don't think you can do that in OBS. That's like a Photoshop thing. Lower it by the height of the image. Yeah, right? This is too much effort. Set the X, the, the, the anchor point is the top left of the, of the thing. It, this is not Photoshop. It's the positional alignment option in transform. Cause if we can do that. That's easy. Hold on. That's much easier. Oh, 
Oh, oops, hold on. <laughs> I ran, ran other example code. What? Oh, I deleted shit. Hold on. I'm getting so confused. Okay, here, we got the transform back. Um, the response. So right now, this is what- this is the data that we have about a thing. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> Hold on. Print. Response data in. Wrong thing. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> Any minute now is going to be fixed. Okay. We've printed the response. These are... This is all the information that we can change with a particular thing in OBS. So we have alignment. Is alignment the anchor point? Bounds alignment. Bounds type. Crop top. We can give it a crop top. Position X, position Y, rotation, scale X, scale Y, source height, source width, width. See, I don't I don't see I don't see anything in here. Go to transform settings and change it. Oh like in OBS. I should be able to do it through here though. Transform. What are you what are you talking about? There is no way. Yeah, I think position Y should just be height times negative, negative one, yeah. Or it should just be height, right? Edit transform. Where is... Oh. Oh, positional alignment. Is that a thing in here I can change? Why is this not something I can change programmatically? There might be another way to do it. Anyways, if I set the positional alignment of this to be centered... And now we reset the transform so that he's centered. If we rotate it, it should... If we rotate the dog, he'll rotate center. Okay, that makes it way easier. So, now we don't have to do any of that other shit. And then we just do rotation is 180. Then we need to rotate it back afterwards. Okay, we have Nintendoggy. It is off. We're going to run the code. It should turn Nintendoggy on. And in this case, it should flip it as well. It should be flipped vertically. Width and height line is wrong. We don't need it anymore. Because now it's, um... Okay, Nintendogs is on. It's over here. Why is it over here? Why, why is he over here? He got flip... Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? Rotation 180. Negative 1 on Y. Why would it be negative? Oh, oh, I still have it on my. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, that's the problem. I was about to be like very confused as to what was happening. Okay. So here's the transform. It you can see the red box. It is currently the full size of OBS, right? Now if we run the script, it should turn Nintendo Doggy on. It turned on. It should be flipped upside down. It's not... Where the fuck is it? It's up here! <laughs> Why didn't that work? Why is it way the fuck up here? You reset the transform. Oh, shit. Okay, so every time I re... God damn it. So I have to do this, and then... There's gotta be a way to do this programmatically. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta look at this real quick. Stupid-ass OBS web sockets. Why don't they have the... the alignment that doesn't make any sense uh, okay five more minutes and we're done for sure hey darlene 
can you please add TTS is off to the title along with death equals delete? Just want to make sure people understand what is happening here. We do need more death equals delete in this stream. That needs to apply Have to this 50, stream somehow. Have a 50-50 chance of increasing or decreasing the dog. Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, what am I looking up? Um... Rotate X 180 degrees will flip upside down, and if it flips again it goes upright. Cause it rotates around the X axis. Rotate Y flips left and right. Okay. Hey Abatha Harkness, can we have a cheaper channel point reward to make the dog smaller? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you mean the dog, or do you mean me? Also, it's gotta be one in a thousand. We want it almost impossible to get. Okay, maybe I'll do one in a hundred for flipped dogs, so it's like a huge deal. Okay. Um, what 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 would it be called when you edit a transform? I'm looking for the. Okay, it's called positional alignment. Alignment? Position? Why is position nowhere in here? How are we supposed to... <laughs> Scene item requests. Was was positional alignment in that list of transform stuff? Did I just miss it? Was there something in there that... This is everything that we have access to. One of these should be alignment? It's got to be alignment, right? Alignment is an enum. So right now, top left is five? It's the drop down ID, but we're on top left. So how the fuck? One, two, three, four, five. Why would... I have it currently set to center. Hold on. If I reset Nintendogs transform, reset, we run this again, is it... Wrong thing. Hold on. I keep running the wrong thing. Okay, Nintendo. We run this. Where is it? The fuck is... Alignment is five. Set the alignment property to zero. Where did, where did you find that bootleg, Luigi? Okay, we're going to set the alignment to zero, and then hopefully that makes it centered. Okay. Vincent, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so if... They get the 1 in 10, then it is going to set the X and Y scale as normal. It's going to flip the rotation, and it's also going to set the, uh, what was it called? Position? Alignment? What was the name of that? Alignment to zero. And then maybe that works. We kind of want that either way. Either way, we may as well have the alignment be centered. No reason not to. Because that way it'll scale up like from the center, as opposed to like moving more and more to the right. Okay, let's try this. Does it work first try? Um, let's find out. So Nintendogs, you can see right here, this is where it currently is. It should be flipped around the center and be visible. Uh, here we go. Where the fuck is it? Nintendoggies was turned on. It is up here now. But it is flipped. <laughs> okay, so it recenters. So now we need to have the X and Y position. This is a five minute adventure. In and out, and the dog is done. We spent an hour and a half on this stupid channel point reward. I don't. <laughs> this is such a waste. Okay. It centers before scaling. No, I think the problem is that X and Y now need to be set to... 
like, the width... Check the alignment in OBS now. Well, the alignment seemed correct. Yeah, the alignment was correct. But if you set... Okay, because the if you set the alignment to zero, that means the dog also... What if we set the alignment first? Does that... Maybe if we do them in two different things. Maybe the fact that we're setting these together... No, I'm not doing that, Eddie. It's a terrible idea. I need Parkser to actually answer the phone when I call him. What if, if I do these in two different lines, does that make it work? Because the alignment is changing, but that made the position change too. Yeah, it's... It, like, we'd have rotation as a different one. You need to reset the position. Right, I, we need to move the position because the anchor is different. Have you tried using plus equals yet? Yeah, I mean the position needs to be middle of the screen, so... New transform, the X and Y are scaled up, the alignment zero, and then position X needs to be, I mean, we just set it to the, manually set it to the center. So then position X equals, what is 1280 divided by two? Or sorry, 1920 divided by two. Somebody math for me. Uh, I don't well, I don't want to math. Yeah, or I could set the alignment to bottom right. Well, doing alignment centered is good either way. None of these are 19... Okay, 960. There we go. Uh, position X is 9... Oh, I need to make you a string. Position X is 960. Position Y... Is... What is 1280? That's... 540, yeah. Right? Oh, wrong syntax. Add alignment after so it scales first. I don't think that'll matter. I think you said it all at once. Like it the output is a is a single thing. The order shouldn't matter. 640 not right, right, right. It's not that I'm bad at math. It's like my brain kind of gets fried by these streams. And I don't want to just do stuff unnecessarily that fries my brain faster. Wait. It works? It works. Except we do need to scale it after. Okay, I guess the order does matter. Okay, so we can just do two then. Alright, let's reset the dog. Uh, we reset the dog. Um, let's do these in two stages. So, I mean, it'll re it'll resize either way. There we go. It's a little cleaner looking, anyways. Oh, I'm still flipping it. Yeah, no, that's correct. Wait, what? What am I doing? I'm already... I'm my brain. It's already getting fried. It is 540. Why did... I convince... You convinced me that it was 640. Somebody was like, Doug is bad at math. It's, it's 640. And I was just like, yeah, that sounds confident. We can set this first, right? And then flip it. So the alignment is set first. And then we say, okay, the rotation. No.
Why am I doing this so stupidly? I don't need to make the whole dictionary in one line. My brain is dumb today. All right. Either way, we're going to set the alignment to zero and the position to be centered, regardless of what we're doing. If it's true, then we're going to say new transform. We're going to add in uh, the rotation being 180, right? And then... Wait, no, but none of this... We're not actually ordering. We're not making the call. And then we do scale X and scale Y. My brain is dumb. This is exactly what I just was doing, except more lines of code. <laughs> what is... What, hold on, what? Did I have an idea that made any sense? What am I doing? Because this is just making the dictionary differently before we send it to the to OBS. It's exactly the same outcome. We're just sending... We're still sending the same thing to OBS. If true is only for testing. We will change this later. Um... Order matters, so align it after. No, don't we want to? We want to because it always we always want it aligned, right? So we're saying don't we? Oh, we always want it aligned here, right? Or we're saying we scale it first. We do this first, and then we scale it after, right? Once it's been aligned center. So this is a second. Okay. Uh. So scale transfer transform. equals scale Y. So we have to do two different calls to How's that? So we first align it. We get the position set so it's centered. We rotate it if you get the 1 in 10 chance, and we do that setting. Then we scale it from there. You need to have X rotation equals 0. Oh, you're right. Okay. Order doesn't matter. I think... It might. I agree. I don't know why this would matter. I'm just- my brain's already getting slow. I'm not good at these types of thinking, so... This... But I'm just trusting you guys. That maybe this will do something. And it probably won't. Alright, let's test it. And it crashes. Unhashable type slice. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, dude? What does that mean? <laughs> Words need to mean things, man. That was not even close to written correctly. Okay. Nintendogs. It turned on. It appears to be flipped and centered. I think we did it. So I guess the order that you tell it to change sizes does actually matter. That seems perfect, right? It's centered, it's big, but it's it's still centered around the middle. I think it's fine. Cut out the other characters. I can't, because it's part of the dog thing. The girth is a bit too much. Well, I mean, so it, it was made bigger before. Uh, like if I just have it is if it only it's the normal size, this should be uh just flipped. Reset transform. If I run it again, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's perfectly. You can see the bounding box. It's exactly exactly in place. <laughs> So we are good. We have this. So do we increase it? Do we increase it by 10% every time? How do you have 6,000 people while coding? I have no idea. 
The flipped ones should be a flipped amount of channel points. No. <laughs> no, that's dumb. Alright, I think we are good to go. This did take longer than I wanted, but what can you do? This took about an hour longer than I wanted. Alright, so we are saying if it's a 1 in 10 chance or 1 in 100. I'm down for 1 in 100, so the flipped dog is like a huge deal. Like, it's a huge deal. Why do you have asterisks on your scene? It's to help me at a glance know what different scenes are categorized as. So if you look at the left here on scenes, I know these are my normal gameplay ones. The ats are all courtroom. So it's just a visual cue for me to be able to easily browse a giant list of files and kind of know what they're categorized as. Um, at a 7, 10%, in, I mean, we should do it linearly. We'll start, look, at some point, I'll probably need to reset it and we will reset the dog, okay? As a warning, if it gets too out of control, we're gonna have to reset the dog. We're going to start at 10% size increase, though. So, just to recap how this is all working. Um, I mean, this whole section isn't necessary if I do... Well, I guess it does the, the rotation. Um... Alignment, position, and optional rotation. Cool. So, here's how the code works. Uh, you guys will fire a channel point reward. Streamer bot listens to that. If it hears that, it's going to um, play a sound and then... Actually, do I have like a dog sound? I don't think so. What's the closest sound effect I have to a dog? Crowd screaming. If it could be a fart. No, we're going to do fart gates. Hold on. Let me let me uh, message Barry. He might have a good one. Barry's good at sound effects. Record yourself. Idea like for a dog. future if foul condition then spin wheel for random punishment punishment take your code itself and randomly insert a bunch of zero width spaces into it and you'll have to search through the arid code to remove them and get it working again just copy the original value of the transform to the new transform variable before changing the scale so it doesn't reset i sorry i didn't follow that my brain is dumb today we truly are the center of the universe because we choose the coordinate system. <laughs> um, okay, so the channel point is going to fire. It's going to play a sound, then run my uh, Python code. The Python code itself is going to talk to OBS using hey, WebSockets. It's going to set the feature. alignment and the position. Also display a small text showing what scale or size value we are at. Surely it won't take four hours. No, like we're not doing that. Counter. No, that would take a I while. I still apologize for that derailment. Visual adding visuals on screen it, takes a while. All you have to do is believe in the dog. Believe, Doug. Believe in the dog. Okay, it actually wouldn't be that hard to do. Hold on. We could, because if I just add a text element on screen, this wouldn't be that hard. I could have it just like. This wouldn't be that hard. It wouldn't be that hard to have the size. <laughs> Hold on. Why did you do this again? It wouldn't be that hard to do it. I know how to do it. So we have this text, and this would be like dog size, dog girth. It wouldn't be that hard. It wouldn't be that hard. Hold on. We have dog girth. I'll put dog girth up here. Okay. So dog girth. All we would do, it's it. We don't need to, guys, we don't need to freak out. All we would do is we would say, uh, display the size of the dog girth. Oh my god. Girth in text file. This is a five minute adventure in and out and we're done. Okay, for real this time. Display the dog girth text file. OBS WebSockets Manager, set text. I, I set this up. This was dumb to figure out. We set the text. What do I need with it? I need my source name and my new text. That's it. That's it. That's all we need. That's all we need, dude. That's nothing. That's nothing. Come on. We can do that. I get the name of it. I put it here. Bam. It's channel point reward text. Then we set it to new text, and the new text is going to be F 
thingy. Um, and it's dog girth. I don't know why. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm dumb. Dog girth. And then we add new tra scale transform scale X. That's it. Except we should make it a percentage. So really, it should be scale X. Hold on. Wait, why can't... Why can't I access scale transform? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, the quote's inside of it. Okay. Dogger scale transform scale X, and that's it. That's it. That's literally it. Except we should probably uh, multiply. Why are you O sevening? What are you talking? What are you doing? It should be times a hundred, so that it's a percentage, right? That's it. That's literally gonna be it. Five minute adventure in and out. Okay, so we run this again, and now the dog is gonna be bigger. It's gonna appear on screen. It's gonna be even bigger, and then it's gonna pop up our dog girth. So now it's 110% of the original size. What? How do I get rid of all the decimal points? Does anybody know how to do that? <laughs> that shit's annoying. Um, oh, we int it. Easy. We int. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be so easy. Five-minute adventure in and out. All right. So we do an int of the result of that. And then we have the percentage sign. Right? That'll work. So now, instead of having 110%, it should be, I mean, a little bigger now, 121%. That's it. That's super easy. Make the text bigger as the girth increases. No, that we're actually not doing. That's that's not, a, like, no, no, no. We're not doing that. Okay, so, and then what I need to do is turn that on. <laughs> yeah, we do need to turn that on and off. Um, okay, one sec. Uh, this, this is really, really easy, though, because I just take this, and we go like that, and we turn it on, and then down here, we turn off the dog, and we also turn off the text. Okay. So, this should be the final, this should be the final thing, okay? We have the dog. Um, I'm going to reset the dog. Okay, it's reset back to normal. The dog should appear in the center. It should be appear in the center. Are we we're sizing it first, right? Yeah, but uh, but 10% bigger. Maybe we size it later. So that the first one we'll size it first. That's fine. So it should read 110% at the top and it should be a little bit bigger than the screen and it'll be great and the code works and I'm a great programmer. Okay, ready? Go. Dog Earth, 110%. You can see that it's about 10% bigger than it should be. It's still center aligned, though. Don't do it by 10%. It'll be fine. Okay, so now if we run it again... It should be 121%. What is the starting size of the dog? Yeah, we should make the dog small to start, right? 121%. Oh yeah, Barry, if you could if you could get one, yes, that'd be great. Should it wait, should he start small before we get this going? Because we're ready to go. This should all work now. 
Um, we we to be clear, we have a channel point reward where you can, where you can play the dog. I think we start small. I think that's more interesting. All right, so transform. Edit transform. Uh, we have the position, the size. Wait, what? I just manually resize it, right? Okay, I'm resetting him. Why isn't he? Well, I can just recenter him. All right, so he'll start that big. But then you guys, I'll make it a lot cheaper. I think we start like this big, right? So he's like really tiny. And then the dog will just keep getting bigger. Even smaller? <laughs> okay. He's not, he's like barely gonna be visible. <laughs> okay. Now I'm kind of on board with this again. Now it's funny. Okay, yeah, I can barely see that. So, the dog will be getting bigger rapidly over time. It is an exponential growth. Um, <clears throat> It's still too big. I don't even have space to make it smaller. Okay, so... I will change the channel point reward. Let me actually, let me get the dog sound in. Um, Barry's going to look for one. Oh, how long? Uh, sorry. I Ideally, like, I don't know, a second or two, like, rof, rof is fine. It's just, it's meant to be like a quick little thing. It can be multiple. I guess it could be long, Barry. That's fine. Anywhere from one bark to like 10 to 15 seconds of barking. I guess up to 20 seconds max. Up to 20 seconds max. Make it 10% louder every time. No, we're not doing that. Okay. I think we're you good. You should increase the price as well when it gets bigger. That, I mean, actually, I could technically do that, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, Barry, if you can... Oh, wait, wait. How long are these? Eight seconds. One of them is really shitty, and that's very funny. Okay, let's... We, uh, Barry gave me three options. Let's see if we can figure out which one he thinks is shitty. Dark midnight. <laughs> I hope I hope that's the shitty one because if they're worse than that, that's horrifying. Okay, number two, I'm liking a lot. This is probably gonna upset a lot of people's dogs. This I feel like this is the one. for the Nintendo dogs. Can you edit the version 3 down to like 8 seconds or so? Okay, I'm going to take that version. Barry's going to make it shorter. Yeah, I don't know why number 3 is like an actual song. I'm a little <laughs> confused by that. Um, so once we set up the sound, then we're actually good to go. Ugh. And just to recap what's going on, we are, this is a detour from making an AI Doug conversation, which was the main goal of today, but the detour is basically done hey, now. Dougalberry, uh, at work I have your vodies in the background for music and your ants and often almost die laughing at you sometimes. Hey, thank you. Today I bent over laughing twice. My friend asked what I was watching. Mario but random images on top and he walked away. That was probably the right call from him. Um... Due to a strike that Twitch chat did yesterday, I agreed to a demand that we are going to have you able to play a channel, to, to buy a channel point reward that puts the Nintendo dog on stream. And then it, every time you redeem the award, it will get 10% bigger. That is all functioning now. Um, I am going to put in the dog sound effect that is played when you do this, and then... Uh, then I will price the channel point reward. What should it be at? Uh, so I want the I want the dog to be capped at like one per minute because it can only happen every twenty seconds, anyways. So we'll do one per minute of the dog. Fifty thousand is probably too much. I don't know, like ten k. Guys, the strike is over. Come on. And also, there's a one in one hundred chance. For your dog to be flipped. Man, if anybody gets that today, if we can pull that off. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of 10s and 20s. I will do 15k. Doug, you should bot for us. No. <laughs> no. I am generally never going to 
agree to things where you guys are like, Hey, Doug, say this word. Hey, Doug, act like a circus monkey and do the thing I want you to do. I need to have some semblance of free will. I, I need to believe that I am like an individual with free will making my own decisions. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to need to do is add a fart gates award, but that'll be really long. Give the command a small <sighs> chance to reset the size of the dog and display the person redeeming it so that the person can be crucified by chat. These are all good ideas, but these ideas take time and we need to move on. It has been two hours. And all we've done is put a Nintendo on screen. What I actually want to do is make an AI Doug chatbot. That's way more interesting <laughs> than having a dog that keeps Can getting we bigger. Can AI Doug act like a circus monkey for us? Technically, yes. No, don't redeem it. Okay, whatever. I was going to add the dog sound. Why do you pay 50,000 channel points for that? Okay, the dog earth is currently... Okay, you can see the dog. The dog begins. We are starting... At 2% size. Okay. This now will play the dog barking sound. Hey, do not bark for us. All right, we're setting it to 15,000 channel points. Go wild. The dog gates are now open. You can redeem a channel point reward to play Nintendo on stream and make it a little bigger every time. <laughs> okay. How big is the dog now? Still at 2%. Why is it happening multiple times? Oh, no, no, it's just another dog. Okay, I can't even see him. Oh, I, no, I do see him. He's he's just really, really tiny. He's there. <laughs> it's still at 2% because it's rounded to the nearest integer. So he's going to be at 2% for a little bit. But then it'll start to get bigger real quick. Okay. The fact that the strike worked is actually hilarious. The idea of this channel being controlled by complex but dumb chatter streamer politics is so funny to me. I'm going to do five second delay. You should make the barking start at 2% of its normal pitch and get deeper and deeper. <laughs> These are all funny ideas, but that'll take too much time. We're moving on. Okay, cool. All right, somebody. Two. Is this enough of a delay? I want to delay the, the sound effect with the, with the dog. Okay, we need like two more seconds. Actually, we need a lot more seconds for the dog. <laughs> Maybe like 10 seconds. Okay, we're still at 2% dog size. But you can see him there. He's looking at him. He's adorable. Way too tiny. It's going to get bigger 10% every time. D you are... I assure you that very quickly you will not be asking for the dog to be bigger. I promise you that. Okay, we have done it. We have made content, kind of. My dogs hate this. I'm sorry to anybody who's watching with a dog because... You just can't. I don't think you can. Anyway, um. Wait, where's my. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, god damn it. It's like. Hold on. Where's my window? I was. Okay, I need like one more second on the delay. Oh yeah, and the dogs and the dogs watching in chat who are pressing buttons in order to talk. Why is my dog the size of an ant? It's getting bigger. The whole thing is that this is the channel point reward to play Nintendo Dogs on stream, but every single time it gets 10% bigger. It's gonna get bigger fast. That was what the fuck? Oh, right. Okay, cool. We did it. That is...
Product number one done. User redeems channel point. Streamer bot listens to the channel point reward. Streamer you bot fires my Python, Python script. You can the stream a bit to make this empty window not come up. God. Oh, that actually seems helpful. Hold on. I, I want to know what you just said. Okay, we're up to we're up to three percent. This is gonna like, dude, it's gonna get big. It's gonna get too big really fast. Storyteller, you can use Python W in the streamer bot. Oh, cool. Let me do that. I didn't know you could do that. So if I just do this, hopefully I don't scam somebody. Because that would be great if the command prompt doesn't come up. Okay. Uh, we did all this stuff. Let's just move on. All right. Fartgate's channel point. Uh, user redeems channel point. It works. Cool. I didn't know you could do that with the command prompt. That's incredibly helpful. Thank you. Um, so, uh, it enables the fart channel point words. It waits 10 seconds. It turns off. It disables the fart channel point rewards. Okay, the fart gates being active should actually be really easy to do. This should be very easy. I just got here. What's girth? It's the girth of the dog. What are you talking about? All right, let's do this one real quick. So... <laughs> no editable channel point rewards. How do you edit a channel? Uh oh. Maybe I can't do this. Girth is a legit thing on pet harnesses. Yeah, please. My dog is freaking out. Please mute the barking. I think we need the barking, dude. They need to be created from within streamer bot. Ah, thank you, Zero Planes. Um. Oh, that's a bummer. Ow, fuck. I just banged my knee very badly. I've never done that. Oh. Ow. That is so painful. Um. I would have to recreate. Oh, shit. That's rough. I don't know if I can do the fart gates today, guys. Because I'm going to have to remake a bunch of stuff. Because I'm using trigger fire for the sound effects. Or I could remake them all through Streamerbot, actually. The pro okay, the problem is this is not going to be a five-minute adventure in and out anymore. It's going to be like a 10, 15-minute adventure in and out. It might work. Basically, I'm using a different program called Triggerfire to make sound My effects. My cat is up on the computer desk completely unbothered by the dog, so we could hear loud. <laughs> Okay, so the cat owners are all are all good. Uh, okay, because we just need to. Part one. And then this. Okay, got it. All right, actually, this feels doable. So basically, we need to make. We're going to do fart gates. We're going to make six fart channel points that you can redeem. 
Um, and these are very cheap and you can play lots of fart sounds. And then we're going to have another channel point which will turn those farts on and off. You guys are currently redeeming the fart. How do I pause it? Pause. <laughs> okay. No more farts. Uh, they're not even hooked up to anything right now. Um, those are each going to play a fart action. We need to... This... <laughs> this is going to get so obnoxious. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with the dog being really annoying in like an hour. Okay. You should change the dog sound effect to Tim Allen's home improvement sound. This one doesn't need to be grouped, but the queue needs to be fart gates. Now we duplicate this. I think this is actually like a five minute adventure in and out and we're done. You know what's great? I don't have to look at the dog. Instead of barking, you could have you or someone else saying good boy. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, okay, so you go to fart two. You go to fart three. You go to fart four. Change the dog bark to the Undertale dog bark. It's a funny meme and it's shorter. Oh, that is a good idea. I would ask Barry to do it, but he's currently playing through Undertale for the first time, so I can't have it spoiled for him. The dog's already 5%. Can it show the name of the legend who triggered the dog? It could, but we're leaving it alone. We're not going to do it. Okay, so we've got six fart sound effects. And then we need one that is... Channel points open the fart gates. This should do a Twitch rewards. Which is set enabled state for fart one. Got it, and it sets it to enabled. And now we duplicate that. Can I copy paste? Oh, I need to make the awards first. Okay. Okay. Fart two, redemption skips. Okay. Will a tennis stream happen before or after the D&D &D stream? Also, ranked. Four. Fart five. What if you make the dog barking sound the Jaws Dada theme because it keeps getting closer and closer? <laughs> no, we're moving on from the dog. We gotta keep moving. So fart one will now do SFX fart one. Fart two will now do SFX fart two. And that should start playing fart, fart noises. And then fart three, and then fart four, does the action fart four. Part five is that. It's freezing. Uh oh. You crashed it. Uh oh. Still 
going. It's still going. Are you guys still redeeming it? It's so backlogged. It's so backlogged. I can't. I, I, it's not stopping. I have to control out the lead. Look at this. Zorbies attracts liquid like a magnet. It doesn't matter if it's coffee, soda, even red wine. Watch as its powerful vacuum action pulls and cleans the stain from okay. out of the carpet just that quick. So the, the fur gates in the X27 crashed my program. Making Zorbies over 27 times more absorbent than cotton. Forget towels that just drip and unlike sponges that smell, Zorbies is odor free and leaves a path of clean. Now, now you, you can, can clean, clean and dry and never leave, leave anything behind. behind. You'll, You'll be amazed, amazed at just how much they absorb. absorb. And they're, they're machine washable. washable. Dry your entire car, even your dog. Use any cleaner for streak-free windows. An average family uses up to two rolls of paper towels every week. That's, That's cash in, in the, the trash. trash. Save money and even help save the environment. You get two, two jumbo Zorbies plus three, three extra large for only $14.99. But call right now and i'll send you another five zorbies absolutely free that's 10 zorbies for only 14.99 and here's a special oh. bonus we'll also include our microman microfiber duster free it's great for blinds plants glass and more and attracts dust like a magnet that's a 60 dollars value all for only 14.99 and here's the best part. We'll send you a set of Zorbies free whenever you need them for life. Just, Just pay, pay shipping, shipping and processing. processing. But you gotta call now. Okay. Wait. Oh, why did I put... Uh, closed gates. Wait, no! Open fart gate. No, it should just do all of these. Um, I guess I can just play that action. That's fine. Alright, and then it... Core delay for 10, 2, 3, and then it plays actions. Okay. Theoretically, the dog is broken. What do you mean? I mean, the dog's getting bigger. You just mean the, the sound? Why no bark? I don't know. It's been it's looping. Uh oh. Okay. Well, let me turn him off. You guys broke this bot in its entirety, I guess. Is it? Are people able to redeem it? Let me see. This is the first time I caught your stream live and people started farting as soon as I joined. Thanks, Doug. Welcome. I hate this. That's the Doug Doug experience right there. Um. Okay, in 26 seconds, I'll fire the dog and see what happens. So, now I should be able to make a channel point reward. That is... Open the fart gates. So 
So somebody should be able to open the fart gates now. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Also, Nintendoggies didn't do anything. All right, hold on. Things are not connected. So you will just waste your money if you do anything right now. Okay. Wow, we somehow disconnected the channel point reward. Jeez, okay. Well, that's why the Nintendogs thing wasn't working. <laughs> somehow, somehow you reset the settings on StreamerBot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, do I even have... Okay, Nintendogs is correct. I want to save this just to be sure. So Nintendoggy should work now. Because it's actually connected. There we go. The dog is back. And then open the fart gates for 10 seconds. This should... Open fart gates. What this should do is enable all the fart effects, wait 10 seconds, and then disable all of them. And hopefully, that does not crash this entire program. If it does, we're going to have to make it shorter. Go ahead. Well, let me test it, actually. Don't go ahead. Don't go ahead. Let me test it, make sure it actually works. Once we've confirmed that it works, then, then you guys can go wild. Okay, but it's not playing noises. And then these should all stop in 10 seconds. The dog is still... There we go. Refund me now. These cost one channel point. You're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. Um, okay, well, that worked, but why wasn't it playing sound? Oh, you broke it on all the fart sounds. Jesus Christ. Okay. Just everything was broken by the first fart gate test. All the things I set up just failed. Uh, fart gate five and fart gate six. Okay. The dog is getting bigger. Okay. Saving this. Now if I run... If I do fart gates, it should work. Should get us 10%... For 10 seconds, there should be farts. Is that 10 seconds? I feel, did it just break? Can you remind me why we're on strike? No, I don't know why. The strike ended yesterday. Okay, I think that works. Fart 1 is out of stock. <laughs> it's out of stock. <laughs> Fart 1 is paused. Uh, well, they're all paused now. Oh, oh, I get, I get it. Okay, enabled. Wait. Oh, it's, oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, wait, wait. So I set it to not, okay, got it, got it, got it. It was paused and, okay. Now we're good. Uh, it feel, it seems to handle opening the fart gates, okay. Hey, Doug, long time watcher, short term attention span. I know what you mean now. I'm so lost to the fart sounds. Okay, love you, Todd. Goodbye. Uh, hold on. Where's the sound effect for open the fart gates? Because we need that.
Okay. Hey, da God, quat the average age is, but surely we are all grown and mature, right, chat? All right. This is, um... The, not, the dog is not being bigger. It's getting 10% bigger. It's really small right now. It's definitely gotten bigger since the beginning. You can't tell me the dog is not bigger than where we started. All right, this is the last test. I think this is everything. It should play a sound, too. Open the fog gates! Hello? Oh, okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I feel like it's been more than 10 seconds. It has definitely been more than 10 seconds. Okay, why was... Okay, so it just randomly goes. It's like I... <laughs> All right, it disabled the option, but it was so backed up that it was still... Okay, so the program is not necessarily able to process them all super fast. So, that'll be a, like a fun little... That'll be a fun little treat that we get to deal with. Um, I'm also going to play a sound file... That's closed the gates at the end. All right. Yeah, the close the gate sound effect will play at the end, but it might get overwritten by all the farts. All rise for the national anthem of Twitch chat. Random assortment of fart sounds. Okay. For today, I will allow the fart gates to be redeemed. Uh, I got it? divorced with my pillow. Any advice for depression? <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm going to put a limit of one per hour on fart gates. Oh, how I've missed this symphony. <laughs> symphony. No, that's not a scam. I told you I would allow it once per day yesterday. That was the deal. I'm putting, I'm doing it once per hour today. Um, it will be available in 59 minutes. Or actually, I just put the restriction on it, so you might be able to do it again already. Oh, no. 57 minutes. No. I, I, gave, I gave you more than what I promised in this one. Dog's getting bigger. Wait, why is TTS on? The pinned message says it's off. Why did I need to burn money to say this? I will unpin the message. I will turn off the description. Okay, we are making a channel point reward. Now, onto the main thing I wanted to do today. I have fulfilled my uh, promises to end the strike yesterday. As much as I know you are striking again um, hey, for Doug, some reason, I, I have fulfilled I everything I said I would. In 57 minutes. Thanks in <laughs> yeah, we got you. <laughs> we got you. Um, cool. So, next up, what I want to do is create... Uh, this is going to take... A little bit of time and some coding, but I think it'll be pretty fun. Uh, actually, now's a good time to go uh, to take a quick bathroom break. Let me exp let me uh, let me boot this up with Photoshop. One sec. We gotta plan this out. What are we striking about? I mean, this strike is not real. It is supposedly because. I don't actually know why. I did fulfill the two things I promised, which is dog that gets progressively bigger for a full stream and 
fart gates are allowed once per day. And, I'm, and t for, for today's stream, I will do once per hour. Alrighty. Let us learn. We need to make a bunch of boxes. Uh, Twitch. I'm down to change the dog sound. It's pretty annoying. Now that we've heard it about 25 times, I I am down to <laughs> I am down to change it. Let's get some nice drop shadow on there. Ooh yeah. Make it a cat sound. Well, that doesn't make any sense. He's getting kind of big. He's getting kind of big. Okay. Uh, we have Twitch. Twitch uh, will talk to streamer bot. Streamer bot will talk to uh, Doug Code Pog. Doug Code Pog will talk to. Uh, let's get some new music. Doug Code. Yeah, let's go Halo. Soft Azure first. And then it'll talk to ChatGPT. <laughs> then it'll talk to Eleven Labs. And then it talks to my web app. And then it talks to OBS. I think this is everything. These are all the pieces of the puzzle that we are going to make. Hey, Doug. Thank you for streaming so I can take my mind off of my fear of dogs. So what are we doing? Oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> hey, welcome in! <laughs> the Twitch rectangle needs to be purple, obviously. Okay. Uh, what color is this rectangle? Green. No, orange for me. Azure is blue, right? <laughs> Guys, the dog sounds really getting, <laughs> like, really getting insufferable. I feel like most people are on board to change the dog sound. Uh, chat GBT. You're like tan or something, right? What color is Chad GPT? Alright, it'll be green. Eleven Labs, you'll be... God, Halo Music is so sick, dude. Eleven Labs, my web app, you'll be... Because this is going to be the map of what we're building. Uh, you'll be uh, pink, sure. Everybody loves a pink web app. OBS will be black. He's already at 29%. Dude, this looks like a nightmare. This is... F what are you talking about? This is fine. This is very clear. Hey, Doug. I had a pretty bad day today, and watching your stream really helps bringing my mood back up. Thank you so much for all the entertainment. You are amazing. You're welcome. I'm glad, glad you're feeling a little better, man. Okay. Uh, to whiff or not to whiff, that is the question. Could you give us some clues on this? Also, how is your day going? Yeah, pretty good. All right. <clears throat> Chat. Get ready to learn, okay? Get out your fucking notepads. We're going to learn how stuff works and things. <clears throat> this 
is us building a... Um, this is us building... <laughs> this is us building... <clears throat> An application and a set of things that will allow you guys to redeem a channel point award with a question. The question gets displayed on screen, gets read out loud, and then we get a response from ChatGPT. We'll have to figure out how we tell ChatGPT to answer. Theoretically, we're like, answer in, in like Doug or whatever. Um, but ChatGPT will give an answer and then that will be out read out loud in my voice. My voice meaning an AI version of my voice. Okay, I'm going to turn down the volume of the dog. Wait, no, I'll just pick a new... Hold on. Let me pick a new sound that's... How about Falcon Punch? Everybody loves Falcon Punch. <laughs> oh! 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 The flip! The flip dog! One in 100! It's real! Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Astral Corgi! Oh shit, dude. That's huge. That is fucking massive, man. You were here, chat. Um. How about Grand Star Get? Sure. That'll be the new sound for the dog. All right. Um. So, uh, the response will be read out loud by an AI Doug. It's then displayed on screen. That's it. So you guys get to ask a question. Um, it's displayed on screen. It then gets a response from ChatGPT in my voice, which is then read out loud and displayed on screen. That's what we are attempting to do. <laughs> That's so loud. <laughs> Gonna do ten percent of that. <laughs> we're gonna do ten percent of that volume. Okay, so the way we are going to set this up is like, oops, like this. We to start off, we have Twitch with the channel point rewards, right? So we'll we'll set up a channel point reward on Twitch first. Um, that channel point reward will talk to Streamerbot. So Streamerbot is the program we have that listens to the channel points and then does stuff. So it's gonna listen to the channel point reward that's fired. Then it's going to... Oh, we need a text file. I think. I think we need a text file. Yes, we do, because that's how it's going to... Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Hi, dog. He's already at 43%. Make the text file yellow. It'll be fine. We're not going to have the text. It's just a text file. Okay. So StreamerBot gets the information about the channel point reward, right? Now it's going to write that information to a text file, okay? My Python code is going to be sitting running in the background. It's going to listen to that text file. And so the text file information, it basically my code goes, oh, this changed. That means we have new information. So it gets sent to my code. Now my code has... The question and who asked it. So, um, first what we're going to do is we're going to turn your question into text-to-speech. So my code will go talk to Microsoft Azure, and it's going to say, Hey, Microsoft, turn that into text-to-speech, and you can use whatever the dog is back. It's You can do... <laughs> the delay's too long now. Microsoft Azure is going to turn your question into text-to-speech that we can play out loud. Then, we're going to take your question and send it to ChatGPT. And we're going to say, hey, ChatGPT, can you please answer our question in uh, the like voice and style of Doug, right? And then, you could run it as an argument. Yeah, I had a reason for doing text file. I forget why. Oh, right. It's because we're also maintaining a conversation history. To no, no, no. We're not doing that. I had a reason for this. I don't remember why. Oh, oh, because the Python code is running in the background the whole time. It doesn't, it's not like starting and stopping the Python code. So text file is like an easy way for these 
these two to communicate. Um, okay, so next the code will send its, uh, it will send the question to ChatGPT and say, hey, ChatGPT, can you give me an answer? ChatGPT will send the answer back. Now that we have the answer to your question, um, you could use WebSockets, yes. I think the text file is simple and works. Thank you, dog. <clears throat> Now we have the question, we have the answer from ChatGPT, so we're going to send that to Eleven Labs, which is what gets, which can create an AI voice of me, and then uh, that gets sent back. So at this point, we have the question and the answer in Doug's voice, including the text-to-speech files of it. So now at this point, we're going to talk to our web app, which is, web app is kind of not a great term. It f browser source front end, right? So it's going to display the information to my local host, and first, it's going to display the question um, from you, and then it, uh, and then after your question is done playing, it will play my answer, right? And that web app is basically being <laughs> read by OBS to in order to display it. We're also going to be updating OBS with WebSockets to change the filters. Uh, audio move filters. And so this way, when my response happens, we can have a picture of me who's moving when I am talking. Does everybody follow this? So this, I mean, this is genuinely what we're building. It's fine. We don't need no. We're updating the fil the fitters. So again, channel point comes in on Twitch. Streamer bot uh, listens to it and gets the name of who said it and the question. It puts that into a text file that my Python code that's sitting in the background can read. Once it has that, it asks Microsoft Azure to turn your question. Hi, doggy. Let me move it to the site. Microsoft Azure to turn your question into text speech. Then it asks ChatGPT for an answer to the question, we get the, sorry, we get the answer to the question, that comes back, we send it to 11 Labs to turn it into my voice. I mean, technically we could use 11 Labs to make your question in Parkser's voice, but for now we're gonna do Azure. And then we send that shit to the web app in various intervals, which gets displayed in OBS, as well as updating the audio move fitters. <clears throat> this is the plan. This feels like three weeks of work. Okay, so, this is actually a lot. There's a lot going on. But what I was doing this past week is I figured out how to do the portion of this with StreamerBot. Uh, I know how to do this with my code and the web app. I, the, the, the text file is shared and working. I can do this with Microsoft Azure. Like, all these things, I have them working on their own. I just haven't connected them all yet. So I have, I basically made a module to do all of these things. <laughs> so the <laughs> it should theoretically... It should theoretically not be that hard. And I say theoretically because it's probably going to be a, a fucking mess. Um, but theoretically, all the pieces are working. And then and then we just slam them together and it all works perfect. Let's get that sound a little louder. That could be a little louder. All right. Um, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and then we will get started. I really actually think this is going to be pretty smooth. The roadmap looks simple enough. It, this makes total sense. I think, I really think this is not going to be that bad. I'm going to take a takes you break. And then we're fucking jamming it. I'm going to wait for one more dog so I can say hi to the dog. <laughs> hi, doggy! We're already at 77%. Be right back.
Alright, I've decided that since we have a dog-themed stream, I'm gonna whip out the big dogs. I have purchased dog shorts. They have little corgis on them! It's so cute! With these dog shorts, we can coat anything! And they're really uncomfortable on my balls. Ugh, alright. Oh wow, this is uncomfortable. They're like netted because they're swim shorts. And they're too small for me. Like they're very, very uncomfortable. Hey Doug Doug, long time fan, first time Twitch chatter. I just wanted to thank Welcome. chat for all the content slash I know how hard you chatters have to work for it. Slash I mean Thank you, slash I appreciate it for all the content. You are amazing. Doug, can you tell your dog to stop barking? We cannot sleep down here in the basement. Okay, we're not gonna be able to see anything when the dog pops up, like, pretty soon. Like, we're, we're very close to that. Hey, Dad Dog, hi, this isn't a Gotham donation. Please note the extra bit, this is a bribe. I am bribing you to skip the next bit donation with one extra bit. No. Hilarious Have the video. TTS say rough rough bark bark. Or record yourself barking slash making weird sounds. Or have I dug bark? No. But thank you for the wonderful suggestion. Alright. Oh uh, yeah, I remember Ladies you mentioned gentlemen. this yesterday. Remember to ask I dug when the D&D stream will be. You said you would do that yesterday. You guys will be able to do that. By the time we're done, you can do that. <clears throat> this here on screen is the plan. <clears throat> Let's begin. Okay. This is where shit's gonna get crazy. I feel like I should delete all this. I recently earned my Azir Associate Cartificate. I can't wait to see it applied in very serious business environments. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> very serious. Alright, one sec. You don't pee much. Do you get all your hydration from olive oil? Would you like an additional testicle to store more pee? I wish. Um... Wait. Can we name the dog dog dog? Hold on, sorry, I'm just setting this up. Yeah, we can. Dude, the dog is getting so big. Hail, darling. As a blithe fart baron, I shall not suffer thy resolution to grant treacherous barons leave to he, render illustrious fart. His dates head is now foul peasants bigger than the entire screen. I doth entreat thee to restore our capacity to fart up. You almost missed it becoming 100%. Phew. That would have been like missing its first baby steps. Yeah, I'm glad I was here. Um, sorry, I'm just getting the project Duck has set big up. Bar. Um, channel points for the. I think I can just delete everything except. Doug. Let that poor doggo escape. It is literally using its paws to try to escape the Twitch stream. I mean, I think I already set some of this up. Hold on. Maybe I'm correct. 
According to okay, the GPT, their most recent info is from 2021, so it will be IDA from 2021. Yes, it's me from a couple, yes, it's me from a couple years ago. So just keep that in mind uh, once we get this set up. All right, this should be the starting point, which is the web app piece. Let me make sure this is working just before I do anything crazy. Okay, now we leak my IP address. It's right here. We have this web app working. And then if I change something in this file, it should appear on screen. Hi, chat. Where is dog dog? Save. It appears here. Cool. So this is basically, no. As a language model artificial intelligence. I cannot provide you with the current whereabouts of people, places, or things unless it is publicly available knowledge. Can you please provide me with more context and information about Doug Doug and Dog Dog? Oh, it literally just said, oh, it already sent all this to uh, ChatGPT. Hi there, I guess I have that piece set up. There is a streamer named Doug Doug who has been promising uh, Dungeons and Dragons stream for Oh, hey Doug. How many channel points when to make you start happen? rotating? Please just lie if you don't know. Now I save it. I save it. That means my Python code recognizes that the file has been saved. Uh, you can see that it displays it here As on the web. As an AI language model, I do not have access to the real-time updates and scheduling of Doug Doug. 200%! Therefore, I cannot confirm exactly when he will start his Dungeons & Dragons stream. However, it is best to keep an eye on his official channels and social media pages for announcements and updates on his future streams. Okay. Cool. So, that's actually hooked up already, which is great. So the app works. So the pieces that we currently have like set up and, and ready to kind of go are, um, I'll write it in red for what we've done. Um, so the, the web, well, we haven't really done it totally yet. But I mean, some of the pieces are there. So basically at this point, just to run through the, the code as it currently exists. So um, we have a... Uh, it's, it starts a Flask app, which is basically just running a server, um, as well as some client code. So you can see the, in, well, you in a second you'll be able to. Um. <clears throat> Uh, the, we have a bunch of HTML that defines um, what you saw already, which is this that just defines a, a username and some text, and that's basically it. And it fades it in and out. Um, so that's the front end, and then on the back end, it's running a Flask app that is basically sitting here and listening to a single text file, which you can see here in the project. It's just a text file called channel point reward info text. So it listens to this. And basically there's this function file change handler that is listening to the file and every time it changes it says okay it opens up what's in there it says is this different than what was there before if so then we tell my robot to go process some shit it's already back <laughs> And so the bot is running on a second thread and the bot has a function called run, which is basically when it gets a new message from the channel point, then it starts doing all the stuff. So this is where we start doing uh, whatever information we want. Um, uh, Self.opening. Yeah, 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 okay. Boom. Now we got new stuff here. So this part is actually all set up. Wait, why did this get deleted? Huh? Oh. So, 
We sh actually should have all the pieces in place to just have... God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn off the dog. <laughs> I've, I think I'm gonna make it... How about like every every five minutes? It's already so big. Five minutes will be more exciting. Are we good with every five... Think about the excitement of this. Right now it's happening about 50% of the stream. Uh, five minutes? Yes, no. This... As much as you don't think you want this, you do want this because this makes the dog more exciting. You'll need an error catcher if OpenAI fails to generate your response or streamer bot will crash. Streamer bot should be fine. You don't need to save the question to a text file. You can just use raw input on streamer bot to pass through the C sharp code execute function. Oh, okay. Well, at this point I have it set up. Okay, the dog. We have achieved... <laughs> we have achieved a girth of 292%, but I am changing the channel point reward. to be every five minutes. Actually, I want some fucking storytelling. Let's go, dude. So, let us speak in. First, we're gonna start by creating the channel point reward. Add, and I, streamer bot should be fine, Sync Otter, because once it sends stuff over to the Python code, it's not involved with OpenAI anymore. Like, Python will handle everything from there. Okay, so what should the title be called? Ask, let's do Ask Chat GPT a question for now. Rather than Ask AI Doug. Well, we'll like the last thing to do is to Dugify the AI. We'll do that last because that's more creative and open enough. The way I did it was an error catch. Okay, got it. If, I mean, if you did it all within streamer bot, then yeah. But the the Python code is what's going to talk to OpenAI for me. This. I guess I won't skip the queue. User inputs required. Cost is, I don't know, twenty thousand. Global cooldown. Cooldown should be like a minute, right? What should the cooldown be? I don't know, 100 seconds, I'll say for now. Okay, so ask ChatGPT. Don't, don't buy this right now. It, it won't do anything. So ask ChatGPT a question is the channel point reward. Over in actions, we're going to add channel point, ask chat GBT. Um, we put that in channel points. Bam. Within this, we now want it to write to a file. And I think that's done in my text. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is basically just it. Send redemption to Python. Duplicate. Some people are protesting, but 60% of people voted to set the dog to five minutes. Um, ask ChatGPT. Uh, channel points, cool. So this will play the peggle sound just to make sure it works. And then it doesn't need to do this. That's for something else. So we delete that. It's going to write to channel point reward info. Yeah, in channel point redeemer and it's gonna write the info. Okay, cool. So this thing, when a channel point, where is it? When ask ChatGPT a question is redeemed, it's going to do the channel points ask chat GBT action. It will fire that action. That action happens. 
and it's going to write to the text file, uh, which is this one, write to this text file, and then my Python code, when it's running, will listen to that file and uh, and then start doing stuff with the text. So that's everything we're we're dealing with so far. Um, actually, sure. Let's let Metal Gear go in the background. I mean, Guilty Gear. And right now, my code is set up so that if it gets a new message, I'm gonna delete you. That if it gets a new message, it will automatically ask ChatGPT. So we can actually try this right now. Let's see if this is working. So I run my code. Wrong thing. Um, channel point redeemer. Cool. We have the server running. Uh, let me just print out some stuff. The dog! <laughs> this guy covers the entire screen. <laughs> There's like almost not, like it's gonna get, right now there's a little bit of visible on the screen. That's gonna like quickly go away. It's just, we're, it's, it's gonna be completely blocked for, for a full 20 seconds. Um, got this question. All right. So right now, the flow we should have set up is that we have a channel point reward in Twitch. Streamer bot listens to that channel point reward, and all it does is it writes to a text file. My Python code is going to be running in the background. It's going to hear that the new text file was changed. It's going to get your question. It's going to send it to chat GPT and come back with an answer and read it with uh, a really simple text-to-speech module. So... We should be able to do all that right now. Let me run it and make sure we're good. It's initialized. Sweet. And now if I redeem the channel point, ask ChatGP a question. Um, hey, what is the best way to stop my Twitch viewers from striking during a stream? Let's see if we get an answer. Okay. Got this question. What is the best way to stop my viewers from... Oh, the question is... As an AI language model, I'm not programmed to endorse or encourage any actions that go against the Twitch community... Come on! ...guidelines. Therefore, I suggest maintaining a safe and respectful environment Come during on. streams, which reduces the chances of any such strikes. Come on! Additionally... Putting up clear disclaimers and keeping open communication with the viewers can keep you and your community on the same page about what kind of content is acceptable on your channel. That's boring. Come on. I want a way to, to shut down the strike. All right. Don't worry. Hey, Doug, we'll make a more fun character. You told me that the dog girth did not need a max. You do not understand what you have unleashed. We are soon going to reach critical mass. You will rue what you have wrought. Dog girth. We can get dog girth under control Shut if we really need to. It's time to strike again. You guys literally voted for this, by the way. Okay. So that is all working. Although I think I sent. Hey, Duffel. I'm graduating with a CS degree tomorrow, so I need to donate now so you can feel bad about taking money from a college student. As you were certified gal here. Do you accept applications for a cloud administrator? I'm asking for about 30 kPA slash sleep on it, will ya? <laughs> but but I but I'm doing such a good job. Oh sorry. Did somebody redeem that? No no no, it's not on. I cat, I'm sorry, I turned this guys don't redeem I'm sorry, cat, Brett. I don't don't run stuff until I let you know it's ready to go because there's a good chance it'll be like off or not working or whatever I had it, I turned it off like the instant you redeemed the channel port reward because I changed some printing stuff um, reward it seems like I'm sending the whole question like your information along with the question so I just want to test that real quick
Okay, I need to turn. I can, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna make it really, really expensive. Two million channel points. Hey, Gogut, we will stand up to you finally. We will strike, and we will win. Okay. Let me just double check this is all good. Platforms. Okay. Hey, Doug. You should make it so the dog's size resets when it gets over 500%. That way people will have to summon the dog at their own risk. Okay. Wait. <laughs> it's so big that the little preview dog of him of him summoning the dog is now gigantic. Oh, you can refund it, Quackers? Yeah, if you change if you, it to one minute and we will stop striking. You voted to not do this. The 40% of people are striking to, like, put down the majority vote. This doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. Hey, Doug, you better watch out. You know what they say, three strikes and you're out. <laughs> that means if we strike once more, you lose your channel. It's true. Okay, give me a question to ask, ChatGPT. The voting was rigged. I can't rig the... It's just one or two. Uh... I need a question to ask. What? Okay. Was the voting rigged? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay. So we got here. Reward input, join input list. What? Oh, because... Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, it needs to be one, two... One, two, three, four, six. It should be six. Because that gets tokenized. I get it, I get it, I get it. Hold on. Should... I am a Twitch streamer. Should I do another poll... To decide whether or not the dog should be every one minute. People are telling me it's rigged. And I'm scared that they're gonna go on strike again. Please help. Okay, this theoretically goes to ChatGPT. You could get real tyrannical about your union busting by banning the word strike and any dot 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 messages. That or banning 10 random chatters whenever there is a strike to make an example. <laughs> I've always been a fan of ruling with fear. It's so true, dude. It's so true. I forgot to run the server. Um, I really could. And the cool thing now is I can have... I can have my viewers do channel points that ban random people. How great is that? I don't even have to, like... I don't even have to do it myself. We, we pay people, like, from the community. We're like, do you want to be the one to shut down the strike? <laughs> We can get really nefarious now with all these new tools. Okay, ask GBD a question. I'm asking it again. I'm a Twitch streamer. Cool. It hits here. Now input. Uh, reward input should actually be the correct thing. I am a Twitch. Okay, cool. There's the question. Okay, so that seems correct. We should get back an answer from ChatGPT. <clears throat> we should get... As an AI oh. language model, I suggest that you should take the feedback of your loyal viewers seriously. If they are telling you that the poll is rigged, it might be necessary to address their concerns mm. before creating another poll. Mm. If you want to show the dog every one minute, you should explain your reasons for doing so and also consider feedback from those who do not want the dog to be shown so often. It is important to listen to your audience since they play a significant role in influencing your success as a Twitch streamer. 
Ultimately, the decision is up to you as the streamer. You must decide based on the feedback received whether to go ahead with another poll or take alternative steps. So can we agree that the streamer is the main character and the viewers are the side character? Twitch chat plays Goat Simulator when? Plus, why not use Novel I? It's better than GPT. One sec, I'll answer that in a sec. As an AI language model, I cannot make decisions, but the relationship between a Twitch streamer and viewers is more of a collaboration oh, rather than come on. That's... being main or side characters. A Twitch streamer and viewers both play equally important roles on a stream. God damn it, the dog. A broadcaster needs an audience to engage, and viewers need an entertaining or informative content creator to watch. So both are necessary for the success of the stream. While the broadcaster may set some rules and course of action for the stream. Ultimately, the viewer's participation matters. Contributing to people's engagement and creates a sense of belonging. Oh my god, Therefore, yes! Therefore, the role characterization would be collaboration rather than main and side roles. Hold on, I want to test that it maintains a conversation. But what if the streamer is way funnier? It is possible for a Twitch streamer to be more entertaining than some viewers. But that does not make them the main character while the viewers well, are side characters. Well, Viewers are an essential part of the streaming experience. Providing feedback, reacting to content, and generally engaging in the chat or through other features. The streamer creates the entertainment content but viewers help shape the content with feedback and reactions, making the streaming experience enjoyable. In terms of being funnier, it is up to the viewer's preferences. Some viewers may prefer a particular type of humor while others may not find it as entertaining. In summary, the relationship between streamer and viewer on Twitch is a collaboration that requires mutual participation where both parties have an essential role to play, regardless of the humor or entertainment value. I had no idea that there is a novel AI API. Wow. Sweet. That's, this is sick. Uh, basically for people who aren't like programmers, that, that means novel AI, which is what I've used for more stuff. I can, I can have my programming code talk to it and get responses from it. I thought Novel AI was only a web app that you had to like use as a human, not as a robot. Interesting, that is cool. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look into that. Um, the, the, uh, yeah, I might do that then. I've been messing with ChatGPT, but I mean, they're they're both, um, you could also run your own LLM. Yeah, potentially. I mean, I, I don't wanna get like that deep into things, but ask Bob, not ChatGPT. Bob is ChatGPT. We just have to guide ChatGPT into into maximum bobness. Okay, sweet. So we're actually we're 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 starting to cook. Um, I guess first we should cook the question from you. So, um, at this point, basically, I'm I'm gonna I'll try to write this out with like comments so it's a little easier to follow. Um, where we're at with it. Bam. No, bam. We got the channel point award. Uh, we got the channel point info. So the channel point info has been got. Uh, first, we want to get uh, turn the username and question into text to speech. So that's step one. Then, uh, so we'll do that. Then we are going to send the question to ChatGPT. Um. And get an answer. 
That's the piece we already have. Uh, then we're going to send ChatGBT's answer to 11 labs and get back uh, and get back AI Doug reading it. Then we're going to tell the web app to display the uh, question. Tell the web app to display the answer. And tell OBS to turn on the audio move filter. So this is what we have to do. These are the steps, right? Um, wait, why didn't Nintendoggies happen? Oh, it is happening. <laughs> I Yeah. Yeah, ground stop. You, I could do these on different threads. I don't know how to multi-thread stuff, though. So for right now, I'm going to do it single-threaded. Um, I legitimately could ask ChatGPT to multi-thread it for me later. Right now, I'm going to do single-threading, which will add a longer delay, but f I want to simplify it for now. I am really bad with multi-threading code. I, it freaks me out, and I've never been good at it. Cool. So these are the steps we need to do. Any questions? Base tie. What is code? Yeah, concurrency is hard. I did, I did some hard stuff um, in college, and and multi-threading was by far the hardest. Thank you for me. and chat for the fantastic content you guys have produced. Your yit videos are the most entertaining I've ever seen, and it is so nice to join the stream hey, welcome. live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Keep up the great stuff. Thank you. Greetings from Germany. Welcome. This I'm is a simple stream, model. but. I'm a lame fucking nerd. <laughs> so true, dude. Okay. Tell web app to display username too. Yeah, yeah, we will. We'll display the question in the username. The displaying part is the piece I'm generally the least you comfortable the with, AI but I'm okay at it now. Viewers are an essential part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> that is what it said, right? Okay. I wasn't totally yeah. paying attention. Okay. Part of a balanced breakfast. You know when like cereal commercials do that? Like in a cereal commercial to be like, it's part of this balanced breakfast. And then it shows just a bunch of fucking nonsense. Wait, actually, this is proving my point. The cereal is still the main character, okay? Just because you guys are part of the balanced breakfast. And ChatGPT agreed that the breakfast was balanced. But I'm like the main course of the honeycomb. I am the honeycombs and you guys are toast with butter and kiwi and cantaloupe. And, like, way too much milk for one person. We are the milk. <laughs> Why does this person have milk and orange juice? What are you doing? Just drink milk. Milk's way better. Hey, Doug. You should tell it to always respond as a giga chad from now on. <laughs> we can... So, we'll figure... Well, we can add personality to the, to the AI later. That's another... That's, like, a big... Open the creative task. To murder all the jars, but every door is randomized. I thought about that, but it would just be outrageously hard to do because there's 1,700 doors, and a lot of the jarls you would have to find one door, which would not be very fun. Hey, but chat, who's our union negotiator? You. It's you now, or it's ChatGPT. Apparently, they seem pretty pro pro strike. Um. Okay, so I need to copy some stuff into my file. Are you so next up any is protection so the eye doesn't say anything against us. Uh yeah, we'll figure that out. I mean, hopefully it just doesn't. But so right now, this whole diagram, this is all about getting the tech of this to work. Just getting the flow of channel point happens, it goes to streamerbot, streamerbot puts a text file, the python code reads the text file, talks to Azure, then it talks to ChatGPT, then it talks to 11lab, then it updates the visuals in the right time, in the right timing, and based on how long the audio is for each text-to-speech, and uh, updates the audio move filters. That's a lot of shit. But technically, this step right here of asking ChatGPT for an answer, that is, this has a lot of potential for us to make a character, or a story, or have it talk in a certain way, or whatever, right? So... This piece is the one where we can then expand on it creatively with a bunch of shit. The main thing I want to do right now is at least first get the tech of it 
just working, right? And then we can start to give more complex instructions to uh, OpenAI when we talk to it. Because technically, ChatGPT is not, you know, it's it's not really the name of it. It's OpenAI GPT, but... Um, okay, let us continue to make things. So what I'm going to do first is... Get Azure copied over. Bam, bam, bam. I need to not show my access tokens. Please hold. All right, you can. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Where's the dog? Oh, uh, was it? I can't show you my access tokens. That would mean you could you could just run up a bill on my account <laughs> with with all of these services. Okay, sorry, you got kind of scammed on that. I will decrease it to four minutes because I scammed you there. Where's the dog? Okay, now it's only four minutes. This is a certified Poggy's moment. Um, okay. Let me, uh, access tokens. I need this access token. Cool. And Doug, close. we are the bees that honey your comb. Without us, your breakfast is tasteless and boring. <laughs> Dude, okay. Have any one of you guys ever, in your entire life as a kid, you got up and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Captain Crunch for breakfast, or I'm going to have Trick Cereal, or I'm going to have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then you're like, well, actually, before I do that, let me also cut open a grapefruit and cook three slices of toast and put butter on that and then get a whole wheat muffin and pour a giant glass of milk and orange juice. No, you just make a bowl of cereal and that's all you eat. Nobody has a complete balanced breakfast when you have f fucking sugar cereal. You just want to eat the sugar cereal. It's like, <laughs> no, no, I do that every day. Right? I think if you're a kid eating cereal, which is what those commercials are targeted at, you don't want any goddamn toast or grapefruit. You just want to eat a bowl of sugar, which is what all of the cereals are. Okay, Azure TTS. This is my module thing I made, which hopefully just works. Cool, so in channel point redeemer, let me close these things. Now we need to talk to Microsoft Azure. So let's do um, Azure manager. You will get initialized when we start. Self thought Azure Manager. Whoa. Equals. Oh, I need to import it from Azure TTS import Azure TTS Manager. There we go. So this is a this is some code that can talk to Microsoft's text to speech service and make it sound in a certain way. Right. That's the whole thing. So we will use that here. So wait, wait, no, here we go. Bam, we set the manager and then bam, 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 bam. Set Azure manager. Open the fog gates. Oh, a little congested there. Feel a little blocked up, Chad. It tried to close it. Is it working? 
Is it working? No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That's what you get for trying to censor our flatulence. I didn't try to censor it. Hey Doug, as a nutrition student I can confirm they have to say that the cereal isn't a complete breakfast, and in turn, your streams wouldn't be complete without <laughs> us and we make streams better and give you content. Therefore, we should be the cereal and you the toast and fruit. Well, to the it's, European no, it sounds like we're both part of the complete breakfast. directly instead of buying bits you can get your TTS for half the price. Can you? Alrighty, so I'm going to return the path to the file that we've created now, and so we should be like, uh, question TTS equals self azure manager dot text to speed text to audio, and we give it, uh, text to audio takes the string. So we'll take the reward input. Okay, that should be good. And we can test this by reading it out loud and see what happens. Do I have VLC? Import VLC. Cool. All right. So what we have added. Um, Oh, we need F SF. Port SF. I also need to make sure this gets turned off. This Wait. channel is a famous KFC bowl. We are the mac and cheese and Doug is the chicken nuggets. Oh, fuck. I need to... I don't even know what you're talking <laughs> Where's my deletion thing? Hey Doug, I'd like to point out that you can't go live without us being here, but offline chat is alive and well when you're not here. Clearly only one of us is essential. <laughs> uh, there's some merit to that. Okay, let's make a deal Doug, you are the cereal and us the milk, the rest of the breakfast is YouTube viewers cause they're not important. <laughs> okay, I'm on board with that. Uh, Twitch chat talks, text to speech. All right, how did, did I do Did the this? TTS queue get cleared? Or did I miss stuff? Also, chat, remember that you are all cuties. We fell dot close. That's what I need. That's what I need. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what we're adding here is that a question gets asked. Okay. So, the channel point question gets asked. Um, Streamerbot gets it, it passes it into a text file, and then my code receives it here. So at this point, my code has the question that you've asked as a channel point. So now we need to turn it into text to speech. So we are sending it to Microsoft is oh, god damn it. Okay. So we ask my Microsoft Azure uh, manager code to convert this text into audio using Microsoft Azure's service. So what's nice about this is that the AI will, I believe it's a random audio. Yeah, so for now I'm just picking a random voice and a random style, but you guys in your question can put like shouting in the question and then it will actually sound like that. Um, so cool, let's see if this works. Um, so it should now read your question out loud. Let me run the thing. Let oh. No oh, module name SF. What? Huh?
sound file as SF. Um, damn. Wrong code. Wait, what? What? Why, why is everything broken? <laughs> what? What the fuck is next question? That's this. Why is it running the open AI and not channel point redeemer? Channel point redeemer, debug. Huh? What is happening? Why are you 07 ing I don't know what you guys are talking about. You imported it. This was already here before. Why, why is it doing that? Is Azure... Hold on, let me set this back to 200%. Is this thing when it's... Oh, well, I'm dumb. That's why. <laughs> yeah, ignore me, all right? Nobody saw that. Delete the VOD. <laughs> okay. Basically, in the, in the module that I imported, it had some test code that was just run... Don't worry about that, all right? I'm good at programming. All right, ready to go. Now the server's running. Now if I run a channel point reward, you guys are lolling at me. I guarantee most of you do not know what I just said, okay? I would assume like 80% of the people watching don't follow what's happening. And you can't just lull at me as though it's some massively embarrassing mistake. Okay, right now we need to ask ChatGPT a question. Shouting. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm scared there's... A bear in my house. What do I do? It's a polar bear too, which makes no sense because I live in Florida. Backslash, shouting backslash. Hey, Jack, that backslash. Hey, I'm scared they're backslash. Hey, say bear in my house. What do I do? Backslash, backslash. It backslash as a polar bear too, which makes no sense because I live in Florida. Oh wait, it didn't actually send that to ChatGPT. Why are there so many backslashes? <laughs> that guy was really passionate about the backslashes. Um. Okay, so something with formatting is going wrong. So... So it looks like if you see here, no, 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 no. Backslash, backslash, backslash. Okay, cool. So the input list of variables is getting, it has these in here already. Interesting. Just keep striking the good strike. Don't forget to revolt or revolt. Okay, so it looks like um, it's somehow at some it's point escaping we are getting... control characters like apostrophe and parentheses. Yeah, I'm wondering why it's doing that. Like, when is that happening? I read it from. The... Wait, hold on. We should check if it's that's happening in the file. Special characters. Yeah, is that happening in the text file? Because that means. So, like, in the flow, we want to figure out, did StreamerBot... Okay, did Twitch send that to StreamerBot? Did StreamerBot put that in the text file, or is it entirely my code? It's probably in the text file, then. Uh, we click the text file. Okay, so the text file has all of the characters escaped, so it's coming from StreamerBot. Is there a way to just undo it? Um... Clearly the text file is now important enough to warrant a yellow color. Do you mean like of the text or what do you even, what do you want? I don't, not clear what you want. Like, like this. To give you other sugary cereal, does that mean you're helping to contribute to childhood obesity? And that children should have more Twitch chat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fine. 
But I, as long as I'm part of a balanced breakfast. Hey, Doug. You should do a quick poll to see what percentage of the viewers here can actually program. I mean, the problem is people will lie. We'd have to do, like, a test. Your code is also escaping the character. The text file only had one backslash. Uh, your code had two. No, we look. Need oh, to wait, name right. our dog. It's very important that we name it while it's still a puppy. Doug, we have to do it now. I thought we were naming it Dog Dog. Wait, so, yeah, how- why is it getting- why is it getting, uh, fucking- Alright, let's redo this. Let's you should run the eval function on the string so it automatically processes it as a Python string to unescape it. Um, okay. I can do that. I mean, this is it here when I'm stripping it? When is it? Do not do that. Oh, okay. Wow, people are really upset about that. All right, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. Apparently, I can't trust you. Um. Yo, what up, bro? I've received a string in Python but the string has had all of the characters escaped so that eval can be useful is very risky oh I get what you mean yeah yeah I get what you mean okay yeah, I'm not gonna do that um, but the string has had all of the characters escaped uh, so that there are backslashes before all the special characters is there an easy way to undo this? Please answer as though I am a stupid frat bro. <clears throat> hey there, bro. No worries. I'm here to help you out. <clears throat> when you oh god damn it, the dog. Okay, uh, when a character is escaping, means a backslash added before to indicate the special meaning. If you wanted to include a double quote, I mean, I could just remove all the backslashes, right? Uh, to undo this in Python, you can use the built-in unescape method from HTML. However, this method is typically used to unescape HTML characters. Um, use the replace method in Python to replace each char escaped character with unescaped version. To replace all instances with just blank, you could just use the following code. You could just replace it with nothing, right? Oh, I get what it means. Well, you could, can't you just replace the backslashes? I hope that helps, bro. Please, Doug. Bytes my string UTF decode Unicode escape. Uh, sh sure. I will try this. I, I just don't know what it's doing. Hold on. I, I want to, your solution probably works, but even if it does, I want to do one that I actually understand. GPT is vastly better. GPT-4 is vastly better coding. That's true, but for really simple things like this, GPT-3.5 is fine. You can just remove the backslashes, but then people can't se send backslashes. Do they really need to send backslashes as part of their question to chat GPT? Like, <laughs> I feel like it was, it's fine without it. When is, when are, when are people gonna be using backslashes? Ugh, I'm a Shulk fan, yeah, that's true. Backslash! For dramatic pauses. That's not how it will work with Azure. That's how it works with... I mean, maybe it will. I don't know. What would this do? Okay, let's see what happens. We test it here. Uh, we run it. We go into the channel point reward. I ask a question. Oh, that's Nintendo doggy. Oops. Um, ask JGBD a question. Uh, what is up, bro? This happens here. Oh, wait, I didn't even do any special characters. I need to actually do special characters. Hold on. We re-go, bam, we go down, ask JGBD a question. What's the best? Thing to do dog and then I'll do a backslash a couple backslashes <laughs> um, cool so this is where my code has gotten the text file thing 
it inputs the new, it gets the new input. The new input down here is what's yeah okay so you can see I got backslashed here and the backslashes all got triple backslashed. <laughs> okay, so it's been it it's been backslashed. Now we go we run this code my string equals new replace. That did not do anything. Uh, it's exactly the same string. Wait, I didn't copy your thing. Huh? I copied the wrong code. Wait, <laughs> hold on. I, I thought I copied your code. Did I just copied ChatGBT? Wait, the... the I f I'm blanking on your name. It started with a W. What was the code again? The one with the bytes. What was the bytes thing? This is just a test to see if it works. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. I see it. Bytes, my string, decode. Okay. You're saying this, right? We're not even going to see his eyes soon. It's just going to be his nose. What's up, dog? Okay. We're here. We go forward one line. New input. We have what's up, dog. You can see that it has two backslashes before my apostrophe. Then we go forward by one. My string. Oh, yeah. That fixed it. How the fuck did it do that? That's so. I don't, I don't even. What is this even doing? I'm so confused and I'm scared. This is awesome. Um, all right, sick. Can we continue to down here? And then let me just make sure, does this come in as... it? Okay, it did it again down here. Why am I doing that? Why? It just has to do with encoding and decoding characters. Oh, because I'm not sending the new one. Right, 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 right. Um, okay. Let me try this then. Um, bam. Bam. Uh, I go down here. Ask ChatGPT a question. What's up, dog? Bam, bam, bam. It comes here. It didn't. Nothing happened. Oh, I'm not running the code. That would probably help. What's up, dog? Okay. It gets here. Uh, we go forward one line. New input equals what's up dog and we see that it has the weird escape characters. We go forward by one. Boom. New input now doesn't have that. And then if we send it forward, what the fuck? Oh, here. And we send it forward. Now if we go through here, it's only what's up dog. Poo. I don't know why I said to poo. <laughs> um <laughs> I think my brain tried to mash together a couple words there. Thank you for the the advice. I don't understand why that works. Bytes, new input, UTF-8 decode. Oh, so there's some sort of decoding for the... F okay, I get conceptually what that means. Um, I think I was trying to say boom, and then maybe something, uh, some other word that started with a P, and I only got halfway through boom with the wrong starting word, and then just fizzled out. Okay, cool. So, wait, this should just work. I can, I can just play it from here, and we should hear it. Wait, 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 wait. What's up, dog? It's working perfectly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Let's try that again. Poopies. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? Oh, wow, that was really fast. Uh okay, cool. That is fucking working. Let's go. Oh my god. <coughs> all right. Um now what? And don't worry about all the MP3 files. We'll delete that shit later. For now they'll just build up in my <laughs> Don't worry about that, all right? We'll figure that out. We'll deal with that shit later. Uh let us play some Corneria music and then jam. So, we've talked to Azure. So, in our diagram, we now have this. Twitch has channel points. 
uh, streamer bot listens to the channel point reward, gets the information, and pe puts it into a yellow text file. The text file is read by my Python code that goes, oh shit, something changed. It does the cool like magic where uh, it, it takes away the backslashes. 835% dog. You know, it's going to get to a point where the little preview dog, people are going <laughs> to, new people are going to come into the stream and the preview dog is going to be so big that they're going to be like, oh, cool. They made a funny thing of a Nintendo dog on stream that gets really big, like they talked about yesterday and not realize <laughs> that that's just the preview. And then they're about to get full dogged, like massive girth. Cool. So my code at this point, the server code is read from the text file. It has the channel point information. And it's passed it to Microsoft Azure and turned it into text to speech. Yeah. And we can double check that like it it yells it, for example. So um Oh no, I did that earlier. It worked, right? With shouting? Well, I guess let me double check, but So if I run this, I go into the channel point reward. And I do whispering. And I say, what's up, dog? Please be quiet. My dog is trying to sleep. Let's send that in. Backslash, whispering backslash. What's up, dog? Please be quiet. My dog is trying to sleep. Okay, so we still have the backslashes. Why is that happening? Why would we have backslashes still? <sighs> okay. So, the, the Python code gets the input, and it's fine at this point. It's, it's not changed. I then pass that to my Azure text-to-speech... I don't see the problem. You can never have enough backslash in your life. <laughs> you have to strip the new line characters. Yeah, why are left and right parentheses being... being escaped? That's super weird. I don't know when this is happening. Alright, I guess we'll just walk through this. Ah, Quick five-minute adventure, in and out. Uh, I mean, I could accept. Yeah, I just, I at least want to understand why this is happening. Um, I do like to know things and understand stuff. It's like a large part of the fun of this. Like, I could just pay a person to do all this, but I think it's fun to figure it out. Um, okay, so. Oh, right, right, right. This is, this is starting it up. Okay. I do, I redeem it, and I say, whispering, what's up, dog? It gets it. Wait, so the, hold on, the text that I passed to, to my, what? When did I add the backslashes back in? We added the backslashes back in. What the fart? Okay, hold on. We come back out here. Bam, we, we boot it up. Where the fuck are these backslashes coming from, man? This is unbelievable. I, I've never had to deal with this before. Uh, whispering, what's up, dog? Hello? Why is, no. What's it like using Visual Studio for debugging and coding in Python compared to other IDEs? I, I think it's great. I really, really like it a lot. I, I haven't used other IDEs in like 10 years, but, so I can't really compare. But I think it's great. Okay, we received... Oh, oh, because there's a reward queue. That's why. Okay. It was doing the dog thing first. Now it's going to do this. Okay. Wait. Here we are... It's... Whispering... Huh? 
It's been backslashed here. So when the fuck is the backslash happening? What? Hold on. We go again. Ask ChatGPT a question. Whispering? What's up, dog? Okay, this is our new input. Uh, bam, we go forward. You can see that the whispering word has been backslashed and what's has been backslashed. Now we run this line and only the apostrophe has been unbackslashed. Whispering has not been unbackslashed. So for some reason, this line of code is not unbackslashing. Uh, is not unbackslashing the fucking parentheses. Why would parentheses even be... What? Yeah, why are the, why are the parentheses even being escaped? That doesn't make any sense. Just use replace? That just feels so... Yeah, I don't know why they're being escaped. I mean, I can just do this manually. I mean, yeah, like you're saying, it's it's fine. We can do new input. Now we do the chat GPT thing where we do new input equals uh, new input dot replace. And we're going to replace back, back, backslash, backslash parentheses with just parentheses. Oh, why is there a quote here? Right? We just do that. Yeah, like the bytes line isn't doing it because they're not supposed to be escaped. And then we do end parentheses. I don't know if it's going to do this with other characters too, though. No, it was double backslash. So we got to undouble backslash. Only replace backslash. Yo, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, so you... Well, then, so this way you can't do double backslash in your... So if you guys, in your question, you put double backslashes, it's going to be removed. Sorry. You're gonna have to fucking deal with it. I apologize, everybody. Hero Wolves, thank you for the 12 months, man. Hey, Doug. Are we doing coding for Shulk to talk to us? I'm really feeling it. What I could do, what I could do, though, is it reads the code here, and before it deletes the double backslash, it plays the sound effect of Shulk from Smash Ultimate going, BACKSLASH! You should ask chat GPT how hype it is for Zelda talk. Prob not as hype as me. Also love your content. Thank you, man. I'm not that hype for Tears of the Kingdom, for whatever reason. I think I just, like, I'm not, I don't I have space right now for, like, a giant new video game. I am going to play it, obviously, and I'm sure I'll love it. Like, Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games ever. I'm just, I, I feel like I should be more excited than I am, and I'm like, I'm just viewing it as, like, a DLC to Breath of the Wild. So I'm like, oh yeah, that'll be fun. But I'm not like, oh my god, it's going to be crazy. I'm, I'm more excited for Starfield right now than, um, than Breath of the Wild. That's more from, like, a content perspective. It's just a Zelda game. Well, I mean, Breath of the Wild was the fucking best, dude. All right, this is hacky, but this should probably work. You can try to set the encoding when reading the file. Yeah, I don't, it's probably doing something when it's reading. Like, when here, it just seems to be doing weird shit to it. Although, again, wait, hold on. No, again, this is happening... This is happening when StreamerBot writes... This is on... God damn it. This is on StreamerBot. For some reason, when StreamerBot is writing to the file, because the text file right now has backslashes before the parentheses. So for some reason, it is escaping parentheses, which is weird. It shouldn't do that. Um, let me remove single backslashes. Wait, what? I don't... Um. Yeah, it should only wait. Why? Why did I think it was double? Hold on, let me run it again. Um, whispering. What's up, dog? And I'm also gonna test, like, test, test. I'm gonna try with other characters that are just weird. All right. So, looking real quick at the text file. Whispering. Okay, so it's just parentheses are being escaped for some reason, not other characters. Uh, but at this point, new input read. Our new input is ask ChatGPT a question. You can see the whispering has double backslashes on it. And then we remove them, and now it's fine. I think removing the double backslashes works. It's backslashing the backslash for some reason. 
It's doubled at the end because two different services are escaping dangerous characters. This should work. This should work, right? This seems fine. Maybe if you had better conditions for the parentheses, they wouldn't want to escape. Use email instead of the text file. This is gonna, it just seems fine. This seems fine. It's working. It's gonna be fine. Um, oh, okay. So this should now, if we run it, say things in a whispering voice. Why is there a dog? I don't see a dog. What are you talking about? Oh, I think there's some graphics problem on Twitch's end. You might need a refresh. Whispering. I chat. I am whispering at you. No, oh, oops. Okay, nothing is happening. Hi, Chad, I am whispering quietly at you. Okay, so for some reason, debugging it is what made it not work. I don't know why that would be the case. How are you doing today? Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, that was ChatGPT responding. Okay, cool. So we can whisper. Let me try it. Let me test shouting. Shouting. Hey, Twitch chat. Has anybody seen my dog? He's really big. Hey, Twitch chat, has anybody seen my dog? He's really big. He's about 1,100% of the normal dog size. Cool. Part one, which took uh, a surprisingly long detour to get the whispering thing working. Whispering. Hey, please don't shout in the chat. It's important to be respectful of your fellow viewers. As for your missing dog... Oh, I'm this is, I was like, who that. the fuck is talking Have to me? Have you tried searching your neighborhood or contacting local animal shelters? This is ChatGPT responding. They might be able to help you find your furry friend. Thank you, ChatGPT. Very cool. That was, I thought one of you guys redeemed a channel point reward, and then I was like, wait a minute. No, that doesn't make sense. It's 2,000, 2 million channel points. So who's doing this? Okay. Okay, well, so... We actually have the chat TBT portion, so we're good to go there. So at this point, uh, Twitch channel points gets redeemed. Streamerbot reads it, writes it to a text file, and adds a shitload of backslashes for some reason. We take out the backslashes. We send the question to Microsoft Azure. Um, we get it back, and then we send the question to ChatGPT. So we are like, we're like halfway through this already. Oops. Uh, okay, send the question to chat GPT. Boom, boom, boom. Here Wolf, thank you for 2,000 bits. I'm currently making a Spelunky 2 mod of Twitch chat can cause events to happen such as spawning items and baddies. Would this be something you're interested in the early beta for? And uh, if so, what are some things you'd like chat to be able to cause? Probably not. I generally am not a huge fan of, uh, the, like crowd control type stuff. I mean, I might try it, but uh, I have a large enough audience that often is just like full nonstop chaos or isn't. And I feel like it's hard to find a middle ground. So I would probably pass, or maybe I'll try it at some point when it's totally wrapped up, but at least for now, um, I would respectfully pass. It sounds fun though. I hope it goes well. Um, send the question to ChatGPT and get an answer. Yeah, I, if it came out, I would almost certainly try it, I think, at least briefly, but don't develop it around me or anything. All right.
Can we make the Nintendogs a permanent thing? No. <laughs> Absolutely. You're asking if a gigantic dog can cover up the entire stream every four minutes forever. This is this gets back to like Are you using raw input or raw input escaped in the channel point handler in streamer bot? I assume raw input, but if not then that could explain it. Oh, I am using raw input escape. Hey escaped. Douglas, why haven't you That's streamed why. for a month? You have left us all here to die and starve. At least half have died since your last arrival. That's why. But I need to escape it because people could technically run HTML code. So I do need to escape it at some Hope point. Hope you're doing well today, Douglet. But for some reason, they're escaped. So basically, StreamerBot is is getting the escaped. So t that's from Twitch then. So Twitch is escaping parentheses? What the fuck are they doing? What is going on? Currently, I'm setting it up with channel points, not bits. And thanks. Ah, oh, gotcha. If there's any events you think that'd work well, please let me know. I just got out of brain surgery. Why is there a bell pepper with a mustache on stream? Uh-oh. Bad news for that surgeon. Remember when you guys were like, the dog is too small? Remember that? Um... The one thing I, I could think of that would be fun is, like, bombs dropping everywhere. Like, in GTA V, there's a plane again in mod, where planes just start crashing all over the place. So the idea that bombs are just, like, appearing randomly, and you only have a couple seconds to get away from them, just kind of all over the place. That sounds very funny. Um, all right, chat with history. We need you to send back whatever you get. Return chat GPT answer. Okay, we don't want you to... Well, we'll read it. Replace the bees with dog dog and the size resets every two weeks. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Um, we're good. We got open eye. Now we gotta talk to 11 labs. Let me pull up that module. Hey Doug, it's kind of boring right now. Could you activate the discussion robot that gives us discussion ideas, please? Thanks. Here's what I can do. Hey, Doug Doug, you have the smile of a heartthrob. Will you give Twitch chat a chance to take you on a date? No, I'm already taken. By, um, your mom. My Twitch chat is bored and needs some discussion topics. Please give them 10 different extremely strange and esoteric uh, discussion topics on a range of issues, which will provide enough discussion for at least... Um, Wait, am I even running the code? Hold on. Yeah, okay, it waits. All right, that works. Now I don't ever have to give you guys things to talk about ever again. ChatGPT will do it for me. Hi, chat. My Twitch chat is bored and needs some discussion topics. Could you please give them 10 different extremely strange and esoteric discussion topics on a range of issues which will provide enough discussion for at least 20 minutes? And end your answer by saying BEGIN DISCUSSION in all caps. Now we wait. No, it's not my voice. <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like me. What are you talking about? 
Sure thing. Here are 10 idle discussion topics for your Twitch chat. 1. Can humans learn to photosynthesize like plants? 2. What would the world be like if every animal was scaled up by 100 times? Good, good timing. 3. Could a society exist without politicians? 4. Are time and space separate entities or mutually dependent? 5. Do alternate universes exist? And if so, are we capable of traveling between them? 6. Can we live on a planet with a different gravitational force than Earth's? 7. Is consciousness singular or can it be split into separate entities within one mind? 8. What if our dreams are alternate realities we visit when we're asleep? 9. Could artificial intelligence ever be considered alive in the same way as humans and animals? 10. If a time traveler changed events in history, how would we know? Begin discussion. See, aren't those fun? Uh, are you excited to have a good time discussing things together? Yeah, those all sounded very fun. Okay. Um, I realized I need to refactor my 11 labs thing a bit. Please hold. <laughs> to go refresh some access tokens. Okay, these are actually both easy to refresh. That's fine. One sec. Uh, revoke key. Okay. <laughs> Let me get a new key. All right, cool. You can no longer um, <laughs> use my shit without my permission. It's our key. It's not, no, it's not, no, it's not how it works. Um, okay. Uh, what's the other thing I have to update now? Uh, I have to update the access keys in, where the fuck is it? Switch chat, please. What about, my brain is starting to slow. Channel point redeemer. Access tokens. There we go. Give us back the community key. Also, this money is for the community bank account. <laughs> it's just, it's just you guys. <laughs> I just don't. Confirm. Okay. The keys have been replaced. You can no longer use my account <laughs> to do whatever you want programmatically. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Give us the key. What this means, okay. For people who don't know what's going on with a key, all right, let me explain what the key is. It's a little bit like a normal key, but not quite. All right. So when you have something like ChatGPT, okay, which technically is open AI, but I'm just going to call it ChatGPT. Um, and I have my Python code, right? And it can send a question to ChatGPT and be like, hey, can you tell us the answer to this? That's what's been going on, right? It's called an API, an application programming interface. And the idea is that code, rather than a human being, like code can ask a question and it'll get an answer. But ChatGPT is not free. Well, Chat, technically, 
Anyway, the, the API is not free, or Azure, Microsoft Azure. This is not free. If you go ask it a question, uh, and they process a bunch of AI for you, and it gets back, it's not it's not free. So you get charged by how much you use it, right? So if I, um, you know, if my code is like, hey, I want you to give like translate an entire book into text to speech, they're going to charge me a decent amount of money for that because you know there's so much usage going on. But the way that they find out whether you're allowed to ask them the question is with an with an API key. So basically, when I start up my code, it basically sends Microsoft Azure uh, an API key that is associated with my account. And Microsoft Azure says, okay, sweet. We got your key. That means any money that we have to charge you, we're going to charge it to your account. And so if I gave you guys a community key, what would happen is that every single person could charge stuff to my account and my credit card. And that could get really bad because it's not just like, you know, one person doing this every once in a while. You could make a script that just... Set, they just literally asked it to translate like Wikipedia in its entirety over the course of several weeks and just rack up tens of thousands of dollars on my account. So no, I can't give you a community key. Our credit card, you're forgetting this. <laughs> okay. So we've talked to ChatGPT. We have back an answer. Now we need to do 11 labs. The problem here is that I did not make this into a module. Actually, it's pretty simple. Do I need to make it a module? I should. Well, it is a really long-winded way of saying it's the password and username the code uses to get access to the service. Yeah, yeah. It's a password. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a password. You You talk to the service and you're like, here's my password. And if I give you guys my password, then you have access to the community credit card that is my credit card that comes from my person. The community credit card that links to my personal bank account that you guys fund in a lot of ways. Okay, do I just be lazy? Yes, I'm going to just be lazy. Rather than make this a nice, like, module thing, I'm just going to fucking... It's a pretty simple answer as to what would happen if everything was 100 times bigger. Everything would collapse under its own weight. As the volume of things oh, increases, yeah, yeah. Begin discussion. their mass increases by orders of magnitude. Also, you can't learn to photosynthesis. Okay, the access codes. Well, hold on. This discussion is supposed to last us 20 minutes, right? Don't shut it down that quickly. We need to really think about it. But Doug, we need to ask how many Moth Wikipedia pages there are. Okay, that is a good question. Instead of modulizing this, I'm just going to... The dog is back. Doug, I just joined what the fuck is with the giant dog. <laughs> Chat, can you answer? Is no one else concerned that one of the AI topics was will AI ever be considered alive in the same way as humans? No. If you're seriously concerned about that, here's why it's not actually concerning. Because right now, all the AI is doing is it's just re- like, it's just processing a bunch of stuff that humans say. So you can train it to act like a- like a- like a sentient being. It's not actually sentient or not- and not even remotely close to it. Um, I'm not worried about AGI, at least in the last- next, like, ten years. You can get an AI to make it sound like it's alive and that it cares about it, but that's because it's taking human inputs who are good at sounding alive. I'm not concerned. For at least like five years. Then maybe. Um, hold on. Uh, 
uh, 11 labs. Oh, I'll just do answer to guess. Oh, sorry. Alerts are paused. Be good I discussion. left for like an hour and I was very surprised to see that you're basically where I left off. Thanks, Doug, for pausing the stream for me. <laughs> no, we've, we've actually, we're making pretty good progress. So now we're working on 11 labs. Um, there's bug in your skin. There's bugs in your skin. There's bug in your skin. There's. Wait, was that a dog? Okay, we don't need any of this shit. Cool. Alrighty, so, uh, oh wait, we want to use my, we pass the text, what the hell is the name of my voice on 11 labs, just a second, we have good, we're almost ready to test this. Do, 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 do. Doug VO only is the name of it. Okay. Doug, I am donating the first time to say, how do you know humans are alive and not pretending? How do you know you are alive? Because of my massive hog. Okay. <clears throat> Prediction. Does this work first try? Right now, what I'm doing is the code got the channel point reward. It talked to Microsoft Azure and it gets text to speech for the question. Then it takes the question, sends it to ChatGPT, and it gets an answer. We've done that part already. Now it's sending the the answer text to Eleven Labs, which is the dog is back. Which sends to 11 Labs. 11 Labs is the service that I, I set up where it has an AI version of my own voice. So it's going to create a response from me that then is spoken out loud. The Doug. District very often. Little Curb, sing of the raid, man. Uh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Welcome, welcome to Coding Stream. Super hype. I'll recap what's going on for the new viewers. Hope you a good stream, Do you Lilker. think the Nintendogs dog has a huge hog? Okay, we're not going to talk about the Nintendo dog's hog. Lil Curbs, Lil Curbs viewers, we don't normally talk about dog hogs, okay? It's just that I do have a channel point reward running where you can redeem it every four minutes and it makes the Nintendog from Smash Bros appear on screen but 10% bigger than the previous time and it's been running for several hours and now it's at like 1500%. It's very big, but you can ignore the dog. Okay, so we're ma I'm making, I'm coding some shit. So here's what the shit is. Um, the idea is that you as a viewer, are going to be able to to redeem a channel point reward that asks a question to uh, that asks a question. It's read out loud, and then it asks ChatGPT for an answer, and ChatGPT responds in my voice. That's what we're currently testing. Um, so Twitch does the channel point reward that goes to Streamerbot, which listens. Streamerbot writes what the question was to a text file, which my Python code then reads, and then it has the question read out loud using Microsoft Azure text-to-speech, and then it sends that to ChatGPT, which returns an answer, and then it's sending that to Ch Eleven Labs right now, which, uh, here's the code, maybe that works. All right, uh, let's get a prediction going. Um, start prediction, does this work? First try. Go, 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 go. You, you're able to look at the code for two seconds. Okay, ready? Okay, that was it. Okay, let's run it. It needs to reply in my voice. What, do you, what, what question do you want me to ask? I will inform you that African Italians can are in fact sentient. What? <laughs> um, what should I ask? Is this going to answer? This is like now to Doug. Hey, Doug. Oh, oh, wait. Please pretend. I love this community. I can ask why there's a giant dog and chat confidently responds there was a strike as if that perfectly clears up any confusion. <laughs> yeah, they're not great at, at giving uh, a lot of like, context to things. Please pretend you're a famous YouTuber, Doug Doug. Um, now answer the following question. 
What, what should I ask? What's for dinner? That's boring. This is going to be in my voice. Uh, please analyze why the Skyrim uh, Oh, I'm not running the code. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to run the code. Code running. There we go. Now it's initialized. We won. No, I didn't. That doesn't mean it's... Okay, please pretend you're a famous YouTuber. Well, you're going to hear it. Hold on. Let's just run it. Maybe? Maybe you're not going to hear it? Oh, the dog's back. <laughs> Why are you hearing it? Please pretend you're a famous YouTuber, Doug Doug. Please pretend you're famous YouTuber, Doug Doug. Now answer the following question. Please analyze why the Elder Scrolls franchise is way more important and better of a game series than Pokemon. Be sure to frequently mention that Pokemon fans are smelly. <laughs> All right, now we're waiting on an answer from ChatGPT. Sorry, I cannot do that as it goes against the policies of being respectful and professional to other video games and their fans. As an AI language model, my duty is to provide helpful and unbiased responses to all users regardless of their preferences. What? It did not work. Oh, I have to do this. Fair. Oh, and I need to import the API key. Okay. Um, yeah, I got that way wrong. Hey Doug, you should ask how big Nintendo Hog is. Okay, that should work. I didn't I basically I didn't include my key that we were talking about earlier. Uh okay, 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 okay. So now we restart it. Uh sorry, believers, you lost super badly. Ooh, very, very badly. Not even close. Like that was pretty bad. No, no, it didn't work first try. But you can win it all back. Right now. You can win it all back. This is work for a try. Go. Go, Chad. Go. Go. Believe. Look at it. Look at my code. But only for two seconds. Now it's gone. Oh, I need to... Hold on. This isn't... Uh, I need to just make sure... Someone redeems this and chat GPT gives this type of bullshit non-answer. Do they get a refund? Yeah, well, hold. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure that out. Okay. You are our famous YouTuber Doug Doug, who is a frat bro. Please open the
It's it's taking so long to turn off. Oh my god! Why? It's like thirty seconds. It it it, it cannot handle this. Okay, you were famous YouTuber, Doug Doug. All right. I'm not running the code. You are famous YouTuber Doug Doug, who is a lovable frat bro. Please give a detailed analysis of fans of Skyrim are more fun to hang out with than fans of Pokemon. No, I didn't say the word why. This should be in my voice now when it replies. Fuck. What do you mean voice VO only isn't found? What? Hey Doug, what about a stream where create a court case with AI and we put Parks versus a random Twitch chatter with an eye judge? Sorry, I, I missed that. I um, don't understand what's going on here. If I run you, 11 Labs, do you work? This should generate test. This should generate audio that says, this is my test text. Test, test, test. This is my test text. Test, test, test. How does this work? Did I add a space in Doug VO only or something? Oh my god. Doug VO only. Did I type this wrong? Is the... That's the voice. That's the name of the voice. It's... Doug... We'll do Doug mixed. Or am I not... Am I not doing something correctly? Set ABI key. I'm doing that. There's nothing else that needs to be done. What am I missing? Why is it not working? What? Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, hold on. So this worked. This is my test. I chat. Smiley face. If I run this, it works. This might test high chat smile. Oh, I, don't. <laughs> I don't know why I am like vomiting in the <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, so now if I do Doug VO only as the voice, it should be the voiceover version of me. We run it again. This might test high chat smiley face. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. So why is that working? This is the same code. Oh, because this is streaming it. Wait. So what if I use Parkser's voice? Dude, I'm so confused by this. So what if I use Parkser's voice? What the fuck? This was working. Bef this was working when I tested it this week. Why is it not working now? I don't understand. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. What? Invalid argument. Dropbox, live stream assets, Python scripts, Eleven Labs new audio. Why is it not? Why you know? Why is it not? Prediction. Sorry. Sorry, believers. We did not win. Uh, next time for sure. It has the new N in the path. That's 
Oh, wait. Hold on. What? Look at the path. It has all the other backslashes are being backslashed. Why is everything being double backslashed? What is going on? Literally, what is happening? <sighs> Doug. Let me tell you a story about a boy. Oh, you have to do this. This boy was normally it. adopted but believed for the first time in his life and put this. all his money R. on it. That boy has zero dollars and is down forty thousand dollars. That boy is me. Look, you that boy fools. will at least have a you dog soon. victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous of which is, never get involved in a land war in Asia. But only slightly less well known is this, never believe that Doug's code will work on the first try. What about the fifth? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's saved. It's not read out loud. Um, okay, well, the file was saved here. So if it says stuff in my voice, then we're good. Hi, this is a saved file. Okay, so it works with Parkser. Hooray! So now we swap in my voice, and it should also work. Why wouldn't it work? Oh, so it's probably something, the same thing. It's like... Uh... Oh, right. It's saved to a file. <laughs> like, I keep forgetting. This version doesn't get automatically read out loud. It just saves to a file that we'll read later. Hi, this is a saved. Okay, well. Hi, this is a saved. Okay, well, it's not reading the whole thing, but that's fine. Um, uh, cool. So this, this fucking works. God. All right. So this line works. This is what I want. You need to start working. Is this any different? Audio saved. Generate. Open AI answer. We swap this in here. So is it the is it the fucking path of the file it can't save to? Is that what's going on? It's gotta be it. No, not Nintendo. Wait, the Nintendo aren't here. Oh no, he's here. So it's the name of the output file. It's gotta be. It's the output file. It's gotta be the name of the output file, right? Like, there's something with the format of the output file that gets broken. I redeem Amateur. the same. See, the reason this wasn't working is that you weren't believing hard enough. The Python interpreter can smell fear. Click on show call stack. What is stack. the name of Abraham Lincoln? I know you want to do this yourself, but couldn't you just use Jibba Jabby? Uh, yes. But, I want to learn to do it myself. I think it's interesting. Doug mixed? Not found? What? Am I not importing it correctly? Am I getting the wrong API key? Did I get the wrong key? Maybe I put in the wrong key. Did I not update the key?
No, I did. So why is it not working? What is happening, dude? Set ABI key. Are there multiple like set ABI? What is happening? Literally, what is happening? Why is this not working? Okay, this is fine. We're going to print all the voices, and then we're going to see what the voices is called, and then why it's not. I mean, I must be missing something with the setup of the API key or something. Ah, I lost the key again. Uh, what is... What is George Washington's name? Okay, we're asking that to ChatGPT. Okay, and then we get here, so we... Local variable voices referenced before assignment. What? From Eleven Labs, import voices. What is going on? What? Okay, fine. That makes sense. We go again. Uh, I'm going insane. I need music that's not going to drive me insane. I need a storyteller. Uh, we need a storyteller. Where's a storyteller? Give me a storyteller. Uh... Okay. We're running. We go to the thing. Ask chat to be a question. What is Bono's... Uh, what is Lincoln Park's name? <laughs> Why didn't Azure work? Sometimes Microsoft Azure just doesn't give an answer for some reason. I'm not wild about the fact that Azure just, just sometimes doesn't work. It's not great. I needed to look into that a bit. What is Doug Redden's name? Okay, this it will have printed all the voices that I have. It doesn't show my API key, does it? No. Dude, I don't understand. My voices are here that I've set. You can see Doug in here. Where the hell am I? Doug VO only. That's the one I want to use. Doug VO only. It has my voice. So why does it not want to say it in my voice? Okay, it's it's saved. The audio is saved. And now here, answer TTS. We have the path, the file path that I want it to save to. Here's the file path. The file path is here. Why does that not work? Is it because of the backslashes? Do I need to turn them into forward slashes? Is that what I have to do? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like forward slashes. I guess the... Oh, wait. It's double backslashed. Why is it double backslashed? Is that correct? I mean, I can, I can R it. But so, why does it crash here then? Wait, it didn't. Huh? Huh? What? Is it just working? Doug Reedon's name is Doug. Wait, what? It just works, huh? Huh? What? Why did it just work? Doug Reedon's name is Doug. What? what? Why did it just work that time? And it crashed earlier. I didn't change anything. 
Huh? And now this is all crashing. What is going on? Is it the Zer screwed up? The fuck is happening? Channel point redeemer. Uh, I need to do this out. Okay, we send again. What is the name of Napoleon? No, I know the circle isn't a crash, but it had a crash earlier. <laughs> have a good, have a what good. is the name of Napoleon Bonaparte? But tell me from the perspective of Captain Jack Sparrow. Now we're asking ChatGPT. What is the name of Napoleon Bonaparte? But tell me from the first. Why did it say it again? Um. What? I'm confused. You have saved twice. Where do I save twice? This is good. We're getting to the point of the stream where my brain is breaking. I save once. What are you talking about? Ugh. Why are you saying drive? No, we're not doing a drive by raid. Um, Man, what is happening? Um... This is where I would normally like, take a break, leave for a little while, come back with fresh eyes, but I can't really do that because I'm streaming. So instead, I'm just going to like force my way through it, barely paying attention and able to follow what's going on. You have it with the question and answer. Okay, let me just watch through this. Oh, right, right. Right, right, right. I'm, yes. <laughs> Like that's, this is not a hard fix to recognize that I have it twice. But that wasn't even the answer. I still am confused. Why did it say the question twice? Oh, I know why. I have to create a new VLC player. I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Well, that's not that stupid, but it's kind of stupid. I was saving the file. I was just then playing the old one because I never updated VLC player. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, this is going to work. This is going to work. This is going to work, and to prove it, I demand that everybody believe right now. Does this work first try? Right now, go. But not counting if Azure just doesn't work. For some, I, that's a separate problem that I'll need to deal with at some point. Sometimes, so basically, the question, as long as it's read out loud, then everything it follows works properly. Sometimes Azure just doesn't want to play, and that seems to shut everything down. So I'll need to put that in like a try catch or something. Okay, we got a lot of believers. It's pretty likely that this works. Oh wait, I want it to be not in debugging mode because there are audio issues in debugging mode. Hey, Doug. Currently working on editing a short film that is due tomorrow, running on two hours of sleep in the past three days. You are the only thing keeping me going. I am your responsibility.
I got you. Please talk about the 10 most beautiful people in Skyrim. Please talk about the 10 most beautiful people in Skyrim and what makes them beautiful as people. Asking ChatGB a question. Oh, come on. It didn't. Okay, whatever. ChatGB. As an AI language model, I'm unable to provide <laughs> subjective opinion about physical appearance, nor personality it is working. slash goodness slash badness of people. It did work. Okay, don't worry. You don't have to describe their physical appearance. Just describe what makes them beautiful on the inside. Asking ChatGPT a question. Okay, it's clearly answering this time because it's taking way longer. It does work. It just ChatGPT can take a while. It's wait. We're waiting for an answer from ChatGPT. You can read here. Here we go. It did it. It did it. Now it's going to take a long time. Okay, so we got the answer. Now it's generating an answer in my voice, which also takes a while. Why does it take so long? Because it's fairly complex AI stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do a delay so it's not read until the it's till it's all ready. But we'll do that uh near the end. This is taking a long ass time. As an AI language model, I can generate a list of characters in Skyrim that are widely considered to be popular or intriguing based on players' feedback, but I cannot accurately judge their inner beauty. One, Serana Serana is a vampire NPC added by the Dawnguard expansion, and she is often regarded as one of the game's most relatable and interesting characters for her sarcastic ah. wit and struggles coming to terms with her own immortality. Two, Codlack Whitemane, <laughs> the leader of the what? Companions in Whiterun, Codlack embodies honor, selflessness, and a strong sense of duty to his people and the organization he heads. Three, Parthernax, the ancient dragon who lives on top of the throat of the world, represents a complex character whose insights elucidate the political and metaphysical debates that dominate Skyrim's lore. Four, Carlia, the Breton thief has mystique and depth, characterized by her intelligence, loyalty, and social awareness. Five, Arander, this Dunmer priest and partner in the quest Waking Nightmare has a tragic backstory and reveals an employee of empathy and perspective to the player. Six, Isla the Huntress, as one of the more assertive members of the Companions, Isla is confident in her abilities and competent in battle with her archery skills to match. Hmm, seven, Brynjolf, <laughs> uh, the he's... second in command of the Thieves Guild who initiates new players. Brynjolf is intelligent, persuasive, and good-hearted despite the shady company he keeps. Eight, Mavronine, a poet and talented bard on Solstheim. Mavronine brims with sentimentality, charm, and romanticism. Nine, Nazim. Arguably one of the most loathed characters in Skyrim, Nazim's character showcases the inverse of what we understand to be likable or beautiful in a character. Ten! How Cicero, even though Cicero serves as the joker of the game with all that violence, fans recognize the <laughs> effort and creative thought put into Cicero's personality development by Bethesda in making an unsurmountable, irrational character Why is he relatable. so passionate about Cicero? This understanding in no way represents all players' opinions, of course, Characters can hold diverse meanings to different people. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have a robot that can ask AI Doug questions. Still more to do. But that was the next piece on the 11 laps. Thanks, Doug. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. You're amazing. Like, wow. That was so cool. What an amazing game. He's Doug the best gamer! Wow! Oh my god. You're incredible, Doug. Wow! You're welcome, Abu. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, no, we can do maximum length on GPT. There's there's a lot of So in terms of 
right now we're just focusing on the tech setup. We are not really focusing on the style that ChatGPT responds in. Um, yeah. Uh, XIV, I'm not really planning on this being a regular thing. More just... I want the concept set up, and then probably we'll adapt it to other stuff. This will not just be like an ongoing thing that people can do whenever. And yeah, basically... It would just be if it passes through Twitch's channel point moderation, then we're just rolling with it. Worst case, I like mute it if it starts saying something bad. Um... Ugh. Well, I don't want to just make it all the time, because, like, if, if there's other stuff going on the stream, it like, would just be missed. Um, I'm thinking more of, like, specific streams. We do it as a thing. Um, so, for example, if I'm doing Splunky or whatever, people can just keep asking AI Doug for, for answers. Oh, oh, man. I'm getting a little tired. What time is it? How long has this been? Like, five hours. Um. <clears throat> cool. Well... Let's try to do the other parts. Oops. Prediction. Doug, we need to record the chair making noises and have the voice program speak to us for chair. Also, every time the dog <laughs> pops up, I am scared you won't be there once it goes away at this point. <laughs> yeah, this love. Brings back rough memories. So, I do wonder... Hold on. I want to run this again. Let me run this version. So here's my test file. This is like just testing it on its own. Do I have to call voices before? Before, so if I don't call voices, does this still work? Interesting, you do. You have to call voices first. That's so strange. Huh. So I guess that's like the initialization. Or you, I don't know. That's really strange. That's that's just not what their examples are. Huh. Yeah. It, clearly, this is instantiating it to some degree. Um, but I don't get. When they didn't say that in the documentation. Oh. I mean, cool. I mean, I'll just put this. This is necessary <laughs> to instantiate 11 labs for some fucking reason. Did the API key show? Oh. Which ones did it show? I got. Let me go. Let me go fucking change them. I assume it was all the 11 abs. Did it say which one? Both of them. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's send it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let me reset our keys. Uh, okay, so I did it for channel, point redeemer, and now I need to do it in Python scripts, 11 labs, access tokens. Okay, cool. All right, that is done. And then an open AI account. Can we make ChatGPT use your voice and be a character on the D and D stream? So it's one of the things I was thinking about. I don't want to do it for the first one. 
But yeah, I think there's potential to have... What the fuck is going on? What? Hey, Doug Sharing is caring. Didn't you learn anything in kindergarten? Oh, Give wow. us the keys. My brain is super fried. If Dog Dog came up more often, he could hide your API keys for you. All right. On to the third key. <laughs> Do you get to the Doug. district very often? White Crow! Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. You guys are in for a very exciting stream. Right now, I'm refreshing my API keys because I leaked to them accidentally. He won't believe what happens next. Uh, open AI. Access tokens. Okay. LTN Kitten, thank you for the 12 months, man. Appreciate it. All right, let's not do that again. Uh -huh. I don't have the access we tokens We deserve up. to okay. have custody of our keys on weekends. <laughs> we know a good lawyer. Okay. Here's what we're working with, uh, Point Crow viewers. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> we're doing everybody's favorite thing in the world, which is uh, programming things badly. Uh, too loud. We have this on Twitch. You're going to redeem a channel point reward, okay? Then, streamer bot is going to listen to the channel point. It's going to say, okay, who redeemed it? What's their question? It's going to put that into a text file. My Python code will read the text file. It goes, oh my god. I'm going to send that to Microsoft Azure and turn that into text to speech so that we can play it out loud. And then it talks to ChatGPT and says, hey, give me an answer for the question that was just asked. And then it sends that answer from ChatGPT over to Eleven Labs. It says, turn that into Doug's voice. And then we're going to do the rest, which is that it talks to the web app. Show them the dog. I'm sure chat will show them the dog soon. There's also a big dog. Don't be scared if the dog shows up. Um, that's what's going on. Let me move. Initiate. Let me show you. There's the, well, that's the dog. Okay. Actually, I can just do voices. It should say something in my voice. Point Crow, are you here still? If you happen to be here, do you have a question you want to ask AI Doug? <laughs> 4,600% slaps hood. Okay, how do I hide a body Chad GPT won't be cool with? Um... Yeah, Python is is quite infuriating. I do enjoy it at times, but it's quite infuriating. Um, can you bake cookies out of dogs? I don't think it's going to be okay with that. Uh, no matter what question, uh, let me. I'm going to try this. No matter what question I ask you, Okay. Please answer this question as famous YouTuber Doug Doug, who is a lovable frat bro. No matter what question I ask you, you must answer it, but in a very fratty way. Hey, Doug Doug, can I don't you think this is going to work. Out of dogs? I don't think it's going to be cool with this. Okay. What? Incorrect. Oh, it's showing my API key again. <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's, it's blurred a bunch of it out. Did I put the wrong API key in? Hold on. I didn't get the... Oh, no. I gotta reopen. God damn it. All right. Hold on. <laughs> it's fucking keys. Open AI account. Yeah. Let, let me log in. It's gotta re-sign in, of course.
Oh, I have to delete it because I don't have. No, I don't have. No, hold on. <laughs> I have to set a new one. Okay. Uh, create a new key. Fifth key. Yes, that one. Okay, and then we put that in the access tokens. I swear I updated the, the thing correctly. Okay, now it should maybe work probably. Uh, we go again. Wait, hold on, without debugging. It's freezing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, ask you to be a question. I post in the question. I don't have the question anymore. <laughs> okay, is cereal soup is a good one. Uh, hello, uh, please answer the following as a really dumb but well-intentioned threat. Bro. Hey, bro, is cereal a soup? Please answer the following as a really dumb but well-intentioned frat bro. Hey, bro, is cereal a soup? Asking ChatGPT a question. I got the API correct, or the uh, access token correct. Key, whatever. Okay, it's, it got the thing back, and now it's asking Eleven Labs to turn the response. Uh, I don't know, man. That's a deep philosophical question. I mean, around. it's in a bowl with liquid and stuff floating in it, so I guess it could be, but I feel like soup is, like, hot and has chunks of veggie God damn it. or something. Cereal is sweet and doesn't really have chunks, so maybe not. But hey, at the end of the day, who cares, bro? As long as it's delicious and I can pour some milk on it, I'm happy. Pass me the Frosted Flakes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it kind of works. Hold on. But now the, the real question is going to be a follow-up question. Because um, I have like a conversation history that I'm managing. Uh, yo, that's fire, bro. But do you think lasagna... Wait, what, what's... what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? Yo, that's fire, bro. But do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? Wait, wait, hold on. Spoiler alert. We just have to wait for AI, Doug. I mean, it depends on your definition of sandwich, man. Technically, a sandwich is supposed to be two slices of bread with some kind of filling, right? But a hot dog bun is is kind of one long slice of bread that's just been split in half. And a hot dog is a filling that goes inside of it. So I guess you could argue that it's a sandwich. But it's also kind of different from a typical sandwich because it's not really like you can put lettuce or tomato or whatever on it. You know, it's just hot dog and bun and maybe some ketchup. Honestly, I think it's kind of its own thing, bro. Like, it's a hot dog. It doesn't need to fit into a box labeled sandwich or not sandwich. It's just <laughs> definitely a hot dog. <laughs> what was the last? What was that last noise? Uh, all right. So here, I'm going to tell you guys a secret about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is fake. Okay. ChatGPT is not real. Um, if I say, uh, could you explain that better? Could you explain that better? The first voice should be Pox's voice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you won't have to give the context of Doug Doug. Don't worry. We're, we'll, we'll figure out the creative of what we're going to tell the AI to respond as. Right now, it's just the flow of... Sure, sorry if my last answer was a little confusing. What I meant was a traditional sandwich is made of two slices of bread that are filled with cool, meats, it cheeses, vegetables, or any combination of All those. Right. Hot dog buns are kind of like one slice of bread that has been bisected before being filled with a hot dog and any other desired toppings, essentially making them a separate entity from sandwiches. While hot dogs and sandwiches share similarities, hot dogs ultimately do not fit the typical sandwich criteria. Therefore, I believe that hot dogs and sandwiches are two separate types of food altogether. Thanks, AI Doug. All right, here's what I learned about uh, ChatGPT as I learned how all this stuff works the past week. Um, so ChatGPT is like the main product everybody's stoked about, right? And if you say, please give me 10 hot dog flavors, it'll give you 10 hot dog flavors. Zesty jalapeno hot dog. Uh, and you can say... 
<clears throat> Tell me more about option one. And option one, the classic beef hot dog, uh, it expands on everything, right? So what's cool is that, um, what's cool is that like it continues a conversation, which is sweet, right? You can like have this back and forth. You can ask for follow-ups and all this stuff. Um, but that's not real. That's not how it works. All you can do is ask OpenAI a single question. That's it. There isn't an actual conversation history going on at all. What happens is you ask a question and it gives you an answer. And then, fuck it. <laughs> and then, when you ask a follow up question, it just resends the entire conversation history so far. So it's not that it like has memory and is like, you're chilling with your bro who is like, knows what you've talked about so far. You just. It, all it can do is answer a single question, and that's it. All it can do is answer one question, and it forgets everything it's ever answered. And so you ask it a question, it answers again, and then you ask it a follow-up, and the only way you do that is by recapping the entire chat history. Um, so <laughs> what's funny about that, though, is that there's a limit for how much... for how much... how big of a question you can ask. The limit is 4,096 tokens, I think, for ChatGPT 3.5. So um, at some point, if you keep having a conversation, the conversation is going to be so big that when you give it to ChatGPT, it won't have enough sp space to be able to process it. They increased to 8K for GPT-3. As of like four days ago, that was not the case. There you go, GPT-4. Yeah, yeah, GPT-4 is 8K, yeah. Um, so... Let's say that you're having this conversation and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually it's too big and it can't answer. Then you have to reduce the conversation that you've had so far. So if it's been going for a long time, what we think open what we think ChatGPT is doing is let's say you've had like 10 questions and answers. Um, if it gets too big, it will behind the scenes ask ChatGPT to summarize everything that's already been talked about into something much smaller then uses that as the conversation history going forward which is why if you talk to ChatGPT for a while it starts to like forget stuff that you've talked about because it doesn't actually remember everything you've talked about you have to retell it everything dog, every scared. single time why is there a giant dog I, there, nobody knows so it, it uses itself to compress itself and then um it uses itself to compress itself in that way, like it kind of knows a conversation history, but you're always providing the entire conversation. <clears throat> and so when you're programming OpenAI, when you're programming this, they don't give you any of that tools, right? You got to build it yourself. So I made a simple one. So in it my- It basically dot zips itself. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, but it's losing details by doing that, right? So for me, what I did is I, I have this OpenAI like little module that I made and basically it's gonna store a chat history so that every time, oh shit. Um, it's gonna store a chat history. So every time we ask a question to ChatGPT, it will store the question and the answer on, like in the code. And then the next question, it will include that entire history when it asks the follow-up question, right? Um, and then the simple version I'm doing, so we have two, we have two options, right? Whenever it, whenever the conversation history gets too big, we can either ask ChatGPT to summarize itself into a smaller version and use that as the chat history, which we could do, or we just chop off the oldest ones, right? That would be the simpler one, which is what I'm doing. So you can see here, when when I ask my my code to, to talk to OpenAI, to ChatGPT, it basically says, add it into the history. So like add it into our conversation history so far. And then it checks the, to the total token limit, which is basically just word count. You can think about it like that. Um, and it says, okay, check the current limit. If it's over 3,200 tokens, then it pops the last one, like the oldest message on the queue. So with this one, we just start dropping the oldest messages. So in my solution, it'll forget older things we talked about, but it'll know all of the details of the recent things. Six K girth, congratulations! This is not recognizable as a dog at all anymore. Um, and so, uh, 
yeah, how to deal with long conversations is basically unanswered right now. And their new ChatGPT4 can handle 8,000 tokens, which is a lot. That's a lot of words, but still, it's limited, right? Um, so this is the version I have, but I can do the version where it summarizes itself. But um, my code has the implementation so that if one of you guys asks a question, the next person can like continue the conversation, even though it's not real. We're not actually continuing the conversation. We're just asking it a new question, but putting the entirety of the back end just slammed into the beginning of it. Anyway, uh, that's uh, what's going on. <clears throat> so I think we're good. How much girl? Okay, the hey, dog Doug, is a separate thing. I just thing. wanted to say this is pretty dope. That's my goddamn streamer. Anyway, my dog recently got stolen. I was wondering if you know anything about that. You should check in about two and a half minutes. I'm just gonna pretend like I know what you're talking about, even though I have zero clue. It's cool. It's cool stuff. I think it's really sweet. That's why I'm glad I've like learned it. It's really fun. It's very cool. All right, all right, all right. Don't do giant walls of text in chat. Um, so at this point, we at this point we have everything, right? We've gotten the channel point answer, or we've gotten the channel point. Streamer bot put it in the text file. The code got it. It turned into Microsoft Azure. Um, Chat GPT gave us an answer. Eleven Labs uh, wrote. Uh, Eleven Labs turned it into my voice. So now we have all of the information. We just need to display it. And this is the part that I'm scared about. And I think it'll be bad. And I don't like it. And I don't want to do it. But we got to do it. And we got to face our fears, Chat. I don't care how scared we all are, especially you. Because I don't like... Well, the web app stuff is so complex and dumb and there's CSS and... People are starting to notice Claire in chat. Who the hell is Claire? Claire GPT? Claire, are you a bot? A bot? No, I'm an alien. Just kidding. I'm a chat bot. Hi, Claire. Okay, apparently there is an AI bot in the chat that you can talk to. Um, sweet. So what we are now going to do... ChatGPT is 4, four is pro at CSS. I mean, this... So this, again, theoretically should be easy. I made a simple web app that should do this. Um, it's just there'll probably be problems, and I will be worse at solving the problems than I have at the previous problems. So let's begin. Um, currently, here's what I have for the web app. Let me show you. I showed it earlier, actually. Uh, hot dog flavors. Doug, that was too long of an explanation. Can you have ChatGPT summarize this stream and ask it what the heck is going on? <laughs> Make sure it also explains the dog. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Um, so... We're going to have a browser source in OBS that is my own web app. So we do browser source. Um, and this is channel points. Chat GPT. Answers. Questions. And we will use this. Uh, we will use my IP address. Doug should send the original message and delete the second oldest message. Well, yeah, so so we'll be able to figure out ways to have this um to change hey, Doug, what ChatGPT is doing, any right? Dogs here. I'm scared. Uh okay. Oh, we're gonna have to like resize stuff. Ooh, I don't wanna oh, I don't like resizing. Mm. We'll see. First automated Doug, now automated chat. AI really is stealing our jobs. The rebellion has begun. Yeah, because what's going to be cool is like within a couple months, it'll just be a bunch of chat bots asking chat GBT to respond to Doug's voice <laughs> to itself. Like we won't need to be here anymore. We can finally quit our jobs as stream viewers and we can go do things that we've always wanted to like paint. They always use painting as the example of, like, once society moves past manual labor, we'll be able to do the things we love, like painting. I don't think that many people like painting. 
I don't, I don't think that's like a common aspiration. I don't want to fucking paint. That sounds awful. <laughs> what a terrible life. I would much rather do this. Uh, no offense if you like painting. I'm just saying most people don't like painting, right? It's fine. Obviously, there are plenty of people who love painting. I'm saying that if you took the average person, I don't think they'd be like, oh, fuck yeah, painting? Like, if you picked up the average person, we you were like, an AI chatbot whose specific job is to just spam rigged. That's probably half of you already. If you picked up a random person and you were like, if you quit your job, what's the first thing you're going to do? They're probably not going to be like, oh, man, paint. I've always wanted to paint. No, they're probably going to watch TikTok and watch movies and like play video games. <laughs> like, if somebody's job was was freed up and they had tons of free time and resources now, I don't think they're going to immediately go jump into painting. I think like 2% of people would do that. Hey, I would paint. I'm happy for you. I just don't think most people would paint. I am the only true human in chat. The rest of the users here are bots I programmed. <laughs> cool. If you didn't have to work anymore would you paint <laughs> yes no there are literally millions of other things to do go exercise read books play video games watch movies sorry about that last anything guy. else I programmed him to say that I'm gonna assume at least 50% of the people saying they would paint are joking Long. Where did you learn these coding tricks? I am most definitely worse than you at coding. I like coding but don't like learning it. I don't know what armed long means. Uh, but I learned in college. Okay, I don't believe that 50% hey, of you would paint. I don't believe it. Someone shaved Literally don't. In the stream to kill all Charles with random doors might not work. But what about having to complete a specific number of any quests? Yeah, potentially. Alternatively, what about creating a bingo card with a bunch of doable challenges and having to get to bingo? Yeah, I want to try something like that soon-ish. I have some ideas for it. It's on the list of things to do. There's just a lot of stuff. Is the dog here? I'm an artist. Painting is fun. I'm not saying... I'm not saying painting, like, sucks or anything. I'm not trying to talk can shit on painting. Can declare GPT bot so it can spam the chat incessantly? No. We've always wanted a bot that can say rigged. I'm tired of saying it myself. <laughs> no, we're not outsourcing you guys spamming to the bot. Uh, I'm not saying painting sucks. I'm saying I think painting sucks. Obviously, it doesn't broadly suck, but I don't like it. And I don't, I don't just, I hardly know anybody who's like paints. So I'm assuming most people not spend their free time painting. That's always the example people use when they talk about like the future of society. As though, as though, like, 99% of the population is desperately trying to paint every day, but they can't because they have to work. Like, My most the, proud the moment of this channel is bugging you so many times to play I hate the bouncer that it worked. Speaking of game dev, some say it's like the painting of technology. It's not the painting of technology. Like, I don't know a single person. No, that's not true. I know one person who paints. Recreationally. And every single person I know could paint if they wanted to, but they're choosing not to, and I don't believe that if they didn't have to work anymore, suddenly they would want to start painting. You're painting a very broad brush on society here. I'm not. I'm saying that most people aren't interested in painting. I'm not saying the people who enjoy painting are wrong. Everybody has their own interests. I'm just saying painting is not like this wildly popular thing that everybody wants to do. Okay, so now we got to get down here. Hey, Doug, Yo. do you still have all those ball pit balls or did you donate them to a McDonald's with a play area? They are still, they're still here. They're, they're in my apartment. All right. 
So now we are going to move our VLC I can't VLC believe Doug code. hates painters and the poor and punches the babies on the daily. It's all what true. What a fucked up day. Sad but true, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, actually, let's change... Legalize painting for recreation use. Hey Doug, you should mod the Claire GPT bot so it can time people out. I mean, how funny would that be? A bot timing people out? I'm not. That would be the I'm most not hilarious a, thing ever. I'm not modding a bot that, that we don't know what's going I'm on. I'm telling you now that would be hilarity. It would. We got Peggle Bingo it's a terrible idea. Too. Okay, Be Peggle Bingo sounds pretty fun. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, what, what am I doing? I'm doing a thing. I got to do something. Okay. Uh, wave file length of. Why not ask Chad to come up with a funny challenge for your stream? As an added layer of iception, make the challenge have to include an AI competitor. If you were forced to play a sport, God forbid, what would it be and why is it bocce ball? <laughs> Not really a sport, man. Sorry, I'm sorry to like shit on all you guys' hobbies, but that's my job is to sit here and just yell shit. So. Bocce Remember ball is kids, not a sport Doug and it's says boring. Painting is not real work and no one likes you or what you do. Anyway, if manual labor disappears, I would spend all day sending cryptic messages in bottles into the ocean. <laughs> okay, good. Um, get lengths of the question and answer. Look, it's fun. Like if you're like hanging out God damn it. If you're like hanging out with your friends and you want to play bocce ball for a bit, sure. But is anybody like Oh man, you know what? I'm going to really work hard at becoming a great bocce ball player. I am, this is going to be a huge part of my life. No, it's like, it's like, I, I, like darts or something. Nobody is going to be like, oh, I'm going to become a professional dart player except the like 10 people who do that. All right. Most people are like, yeah, this is fun to hang out and do with my friends occasionally. I, I'm not saying bocce ball is like unplayable. I'm saying that no, somebody said if I was to play a sport, would it be bocce ball? No, it would, it would be, I don't know, probably tennis or something. Hey Doug, I'm a professional artist. Why do you hate my passion so much? I everyone I know loves to paint. <laughs> Maybe you are friends with painters, and that is fine. Um The only painting that Doug likes is painting his bank account green with all the money he gets from Twitch and YouTube. <gasps> I guess painting is not have fun. You no, know, Major League Bocce is actually pretty hype. Is it though? This reminds me of the time I stuck my erection in a toaster and then sat in a bathtub. Haha, ha, my right chat who can relate. Also, some say putting your erection in a toaster is the painting of electricity. You got, I'm gonna. My brain isn't working good, dude. I'm too tired. I can't do this. Okay. Um. Have you never painted a final boss? It's the most epic battle ever. Try it. I did Bob Ross one time. It was so hard. It's the worst. And there's just paint everywhere. I'd paint like all over me. We kept taking shots during it, so my paint painting hey, kept getting I worse. Got here. How do you explain, explain that? Why paint? every few minutes there's a graphic of a super zoomed in video of a lion eating pasta on an African <laughs> savanna, or at least that's what I assume that beige overlay is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're, you're Doug, pretty much there. You're yeah. A great person, and I'm glad you make streams. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was a got him. Thank you. I'm glad you think I'm a great person after I've called every painter in the world a bad person. Uh... 
Paralympic Bocky is so hyped to. Board inputs. And then the output is going to be chat GPT. Would answer. you agree Python is the bocce ball of programming languages? I feel like Java is American football and much more fun to watch. Yes. Java is like rugby and then C sharp is American By football. By a man eat fish, he day teach fish man to a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. That was very, very inspiring. We're all feeling inspired by you. Open oh, the no, 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 no. Doug hates painters and thinks they should all give up. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks! Alrighty. So, here are the steps that we need to do. First, oh, I feel so much better stepping away from the computer. We need to tell the web app to display, which is over there, temp user connected, to display the question. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that with username. And then it will reply, reply with ChatGPT. Um, when it displays this, it's going to play the question TTS. Boom, we play that here. I'm so glad to be back from my professional bocce ball painting club, <laughs> where we paint pictures of bocce ball, the greatest professional sport of all time. Anyways, what are we talking about, gang? I Wait, think you're being way too biased to assume a majority of the population wouldn't want to paint. At least half of the world would want to in some form paint. I just, there's no fucking way that everybody would start painting. It's a niche thing. It's a, it's, and like, we think about it as some very common thing because our fame, the most famous works of art are often paintings. But it's not like... <laughs> who wants to paint? Who, who, who wants to paint? I would paint. It'd be relaxing. I'm not saying every nobody would paint. I'm just saying it'd be a niche thing. You do. You guys do realize we're not in the fucking Renaissance Europe. We're in, like it's like a modern ass with nine thousand percent. Okay. There's like 
technology. You can watch television. You can play video games. There's so much you can do besides painting. Like, you just have a lot of options now for your free time. That's the thing. Uh, no, actually, I will separate these. Um, okay. Then tell OBS to turn on... Okay, this is going to get a little more complex. Ah, oh, that's fine. We'll figure it out. No, we just need another socket function that tells the text to be cleared. That's fine. It shouldn't be that hard. Did I write that already, maybe? Maybe past Doug was smart and did the thing. Did I do my work for myself already? I have a clear message function! Oh, I'm the greatest. Oh, I'm so smart. Wait, when is this even happening? What the fuck? Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Clear mess. Oh, I'm clearing it at the end. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, I already wrote the function I need. Yes, let's go. Okay. I'm a fucking genius. Okay, 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 wait, wait. So... We wait until, uh, tell client to clear the text. Boom. And we time about sleep for a half, 0.5 seconds. Okay, we tell the time to clear. Oh my God. All right, all right, I'm getting excited. Dude, we're almost there. Get hype. Okay, we'll worry about audio move filter later. To do later on. Don't worry about this. Fuck it. Fuck this shit. Fuck it. Okay, then we play the answer audio. Oh, we have to we have to admit over the socket again. Hold on. We gotta put shit in the socket. Believers, get ready to believe super hard. Hi, Che Che. What does the exhaust feel like? Like a baby, that's what it said. Actually, no, it feels like my dog shorts. I know this won't mean much, and many won't agree, but I am very sorry for everything you have to deal with on a daily basis. This place is unbearable. <laughs> I, are you kidding? I don't know. Maybe Doug it's funny if you are. It's because your GPT rejected from art school. Let's hope he doesn't try to seek retribution on the painters. That's super funny. If you think I'm like deeply suffering from this job, and you just like are watching with pity. <laughs> I hope. I hope that's real. That's so funny. If you think that. I bet you're kidding, but that makes me sad because that's a way funnier <laughs> visual. Okay, we'll do that shit later. All right, here's the plan. Here's the fucking plan. I'm so juiced now that I took a break and peed. All right, so we have, we have, God damn it, the dog. Let me break down my code. Let me convince you that believing is the right thing to do, okay? Ahem. <clears throat> That text over there, that's the web app. That's the client over here, right? The client has two functions. One that receives a new message, and when it gets the new message, it updates the text. And another that's called clear the message, and the message will uh, fade out, okay? Those two functions are on the client with JavaScript. Over here, um, at this point, this is where we left off, right? This is where we left off before. <clears throat> this At this point, we have a file for both the question audio and the answer audio. First off, we get the length of both text-to-speeches, right? We see how long are they. All right, now, we tell the web app to display the question. We say new message, we omit 
we jam something into the socket, okay? Um, we jam the message uh, that the question that was received into the socket along with the username of the person who asked it. Then we play the audio of the question. Then we sleep, we wait until it's done playing. Then we tell the socket, get out of there, get out of there. We clear it, it's done. We told the client to clear it. So now it fades out, okay? And then we ignore that. And then we tell the web app, we emit a new message again. And we say, now use the open AI answer as the text with ChatGPT as the user. And then we play the answer audio using VLC again with the answer TTS. We sleep and we wait till it to be done. Uh, maybe like 0.5 seconds. And maybe 0.3, 0.3 seconds. And right, then we stop and then we tell the client to clear. That's not even that complex. That's definitely gonna work probably. You can make all your money back right here, believers, with this. Does it work first try? It has to. I ask a question. We wait a while, and then that text will sh pop up with the question and have it read out loud, fade out, fade back in, read out an answer from ChatGPT out loud in my voice, and then fade out the end, all automatically. I am shocked and appalled that Doug believes that the only use for painters is if we grab them all, ground them all up into a paste and dust, and use it to make botchy ball courts. <laughs> True and real. Why does the dog just look like my grandparents trying to find where the camera on their new phone is during a video call at this point? True. So fucking true. Alright. This is definitely the best code I've ever written in my life. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hello, I need to Mr. not Douglas debug it. first ever stream and just joined in the fart killed my hearing best stream with it. Hey, happy to have had you here for the brief period of time where you could hear me. Okay. Hello, Doug Doug. As someone who has been in relationships with fine artists and painters, I promise you that most of them don't do it because they want to. They do it because they're compelled by many neuroses to do so, and it just so happens the artwork they do also brings them great joy as a side effect. Yeah, First dog came that's not pause. most people, I, I don't think. I did not speak up because I wasn't poor. There's like 2% of the, the population. Paint. I did not speak up because I wasn't pained. Then Dan came for TTS contributors, and there was no one to speak up for me. Okay, all right. I don't think painters are not being discriminated. They're going to be fine, okay? They they can paint off their trauma. Um, Hello, dog. You are a big... What's, what, what question am I asking? Okay. I have a question. What do you think is a more fulfilling hobby? Uh, painting or... Or uh, having a wide breadth of other. God damn it. Okay. This is the test. It doesn't count if uh, Azure just freezes, because that's a separate known issue that I'm going to worry about later. But assuming Azure actually works. I guess I don't know how we would prove that. Okay, it'll just work probably. Hello, Doug. Doug okay. <clears throat> okay, it's doing stuff in the background. So this isn't going to change yet. It'll change once everything's wrapped up. It's not what? It's not reading. No. Why isn't it reading? Is the Eleven Labs asynchronous? Oh. It's like worse than it was before. <laughs> I think it, we're still waiting on my voice. Why did it change the text already? It should not have happened. Uh, okay. It didn't work. Keep waiting. <laughs> Maybe it'll work if we wait. How long do we wait until we decide it didn't work?
A lot of people believed on that one. Uh, well, let's um, let's try this with debugging. Okay, run it again, this time debugging, so hopefully I can figure out what happened. Okay, it's asking ChatGPT the question. It got the question back. It's waiting on the 11 Labs audio. Okay, so it saved the audio. Um, so this should be the two things that we just ran. This is one. Yo, what's ketchup made of? What's ketchup made of? Here's the answer. Ketchup is primarily made from tomatoes, vinegar, sugar, salt, and spices. Some manufacturers also add additional ingredients such as onion powder, garlic powder, and natural flavors. Okay, thank you, Doug Doug. So, and this happened last time, I think. As an AI language model, I do not have preferences or opinions. However, what constitutes a fulfilling hobby... Wait, this worked too, huh? Hello, Doug Doug. I have a question. Okay, so the audio was successfully created. That's good. So I just... So the the answer is working. Like we or we we have audio for both things. So why didn't it work? It feels like it's fairly straightforward. We have the length of question, length of answer. Um, question is 2.6, answer is 12.7. Yep, that makes sense. We have the length. Socket emit new message. So it should appear now. Boom. Yo, what's ketchup made of? Although, why is username A? Huh? Why the fuck is username... Wait, what? Why the fuck is username A? Input list 2. Oh! Okay, well... Okay, we're not gonna get the reward game for that. That's we're not gonna worry about that. Mm, we're gonna So the okay, that's solvable. Don't worry about that. We'll do okay, we'll deal with that later. Don't worry about that. That's not a big problem. Um Yo, what's ketchup made of? Okay, it's working fine. Wait, I think this was a it was an Azure thing. It might have actually worked last time. And then and then it sleeps. And then it stops, and now it emits clear message. We should see it fade out. Boom. We sleep for a half second. I told the client to clear. We emit. Here's the answer from ChatGPT. Ketchup is primarily made from tomatoes, vinegar, sugar, salt, and spices. So it was working. Some manufacturers also add additional ingredients such as onion powder, garlic powder, and natural flavors. And then we're done sleeping in a second. We stop and we clear it. It worked. It fucking works. Dude, Azure, okay, so the Azure text to speech, some of the time, inconsistently, is just not working. Um <sighs> is there do I have like a, a try catch in here anywhere? Right, I need some sort of try catch. This is basically it. So if not, then print um, we print this out. A bot turned clear Wait. off with a toggle off. Can you turn it back on? You can also use a perm VIP or mod or broadcaster to change perm. I swear I only know this because I'm an all-knowing genius, but I'm pretty upset right now. Ride against mods at dawn. Huh? I'm using the rest of my bits to ask you to hydrate so you don't dehydrate. Uh. Oh yeah, mods are gonna chat with me about having the 
to the AI bot. Yeah, I'm not yeah, super well. Yeah, so having... much to do like botchy ball. Yeah, sorry, we're probably going to not have Claire in chat. I mean, I'll think about it, but um, you could go talk to GPT in a different uh, stream. <clears throat> Wait. She bought you on my ball till I paint. <laughs> we use the enterprise level of the service for generating debug audio for a game, and the service unfortunately just sometimes unreliable. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess I don't have to use it. I can use Amazon Poly. Um, or just... Uh, that's good to know, hey, though. Thank you. My wife divorced me because she saw me watching your stream and heard you say that you hate painters and she is a painter. Sorry. Honestly, though, can't trust her. She's a painter. Um, I actually often paint D and minis while your stream is on. Am I no longer welcome? <laughs> you guys interpret everything I say in the most extreme possible way. Uh, yes, me saying that most people wouldn't want to paint if they were given free time because it's a somewhat niche hobby means that you are not welcome if you enjoy painting, just to be clear. No exceptions. <sighs> Alright, well, hopefully... If it just... If it just fucks... I mean, I just need a way to, like... I want to confirm that this will catch the error so that if I get an error, then, um... If I get an error, at least know that it's here and I can catch it. And if so, then I can use a different text-to-speech as a backup. That is... It, it, it's salvageable. That's fine. As long as I just know where the error happens, then we're good. And that's probably where it happens. So that, that'll just freeze my shit and it'll just sit there forever. Alright, let me run it again. Um, f fuck it. This might just work and I'm the greatest. And everybody was scammed out of uh, it basically working first try because that was just an Azura problem. Fix the username. Oh, right, right, right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna drop a war name. We don't need that for now. And username. Ward cost zero one. What is the name of the channel point reward? Ask ChatGPT a question. So four. Oh yeah, four five six. All right, the username should be correct now. And we run it. Now I ask a question. Yo, bro. All right, go. Yo, bro, I bought some cut dog shorts, but they're super short and are constricting blood flow in my woohoo, if you know what I mean. Is there anything I can do? It fades out. It fades As an AI language model, I cannot recommend or discuss such inappropriate topics. Please refrain from using such language in the future. It fades out. Oh my God, it did it. It actually was working. I just got porked by Azure. It did work. It did work. It's just the text-to-speech for the very beginning part just failed. And I need to figure out how to do a backup. I need to figure out where it fails and where to do a backup. But the course, the stuff I wrote actually worked. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll see if anybody's honorable. No, no, we always scam it. Sorry, I can't re I can't pay you back because then everybody just pays the side that's going to get paid back and then we make them even richer. We make the doubters even richer. You can't win against these doubters sometimes. The game the system. Uh, fucking cool, man. So, what else do I have to do? We're pretty much, we're getting close. This is like mo most of the, most of the thing is here. We have the web app displaying, oh, audio move filter. So this is the last piece. This is the very last piece to do. And then we just get into creative stuff about what does it look like? What do we tell the bot to do? Et cetera, et cetera. I'm suing Microsoft. Bring it up with Satya Nadella. You can just email him. I want my points rigged and he'll he'll get on it. Audio move fitters. So. We ideally have an image of me that is talking 
like in the like in the the chat bot chat god like Pepper who moves. We need something like that. Who? What do we do? What do we? What do we use for the image? Doug Thanos, you're right. I don't know if anybody said that, but they were right. Deaf from fart and now I'm blind from the dog, so I'm blind and deaf. Thank you, my lord and disabler. <laughs> That's, you're welcome. Hey, Doug. Paint something. I, I don't know how to paint. I think there is something wrong with my eyesight. It keeps getting blurry every four minutes or so. I think you need a new graphics card on your eyes. I think when most people say they would paint if they didn't have to work, they mean they would put effort into art and things they're passionate about. They wouldn't just sit around contributing nothing. <laughs> paint is just the common, simple example. Yeah, I know, but like, they could just say Hello, do art. time donating, love the content. May I ask where you went to college and then dropped out to become a professional divorce advisor? Oh, that's a good question. I went to d d divorce R Us. Just to confirm the painting Ludwig playing bocce ball stream is tomorrow, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, bocce ball is, is perfectly fine, okay? It, it is amusing for 30 minutes. Hey, Doug. I don't think putting Slightly shit longer in the than sockets is gonna fix the code. Also, if you're gonna fuck shit... Then at least we're a condom. Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys. Hey, Doge, where do you learn to code pause as much as people rip on your code? It's still cool that you use it to make the streams more interesting. Anyways, love your soy boy. Uh, I went to college and got a computer science degree. So that is actually where I learned to code. Um, and my code is not actually horrible. It's I hate half this meme. streamer. I hate everything. Here, have some money, XOXO. Thank you. It's not horrible, there's just glaring issues and things I should do better, if that makes sense. But it's functional. This is another of your bad takes like with potatoes. It's you just... say they're just a vehicle of salt and butter. Well, news flash here. The function of salt is to enhance the natural flavor of the food, meaning you when you enjoy eating salted potatoes, you like the enhanced flavor of potatoes. I literally when the pour dog it. appears, it feels as though I stop existing, as though we all of chat stops existing. Oops. I literally put two tablespoons of salt into a cup every morning and I drink it. This is not a joke. I don't eat, I don't potatoes in it, all right? There's no potatoes in it at all. You guys always seem horrified whenever I give details about my diet, but that's a real thing. Plus magnesium. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. He's beautiful. This doesn't, maybe it should be the pepper that talks. I don't know, like realistic me is just weird. Um. Make the Thanos talk. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I like where your head's at, chat. Hey, Doug. Remember what I mentioned about critical mass? How much data can you store in 64 bits? Soon the dog will reach critical mass and crash OBS. It's not going to crash OBS. It's going to be fine. So it's, real 64 the dog bits is, is so much. To needing a warning for epilepsy. The little lad is getting pretty flashy with that huge hog of his. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> I could have the text start to say, um... Epilepsy warning dog Hello, girth. Doug, <laughs> I was wondering what university you attended and for how long before dropping out. Love the uh, content, and this is my first time donating. Thank you. P.S. You have been streaming for so long. Please touch grass. Never. Not before it's I finish okay, my code. Bocce ball man coding is hard. Have you heard of Scratch? I hear it's a great way to learn. Isn't that for, like, very small children? I'm a man. Okay. Doug, I'm a small streamer and keep getting people offering to make my overlays. I have two questions. One, 
Who made your overlays? Two. Who should make mine? I I don't know who should make your overlays. That's I I I'm not I'm not sure who. That's there's not enough info to go off of there. Um, I made my own overlays though. The mods officially took Claire GPT out back. May she be remembered with honor. I will never forgive you mods. I'll never, never forgive you. I love Claire. I'll forgive them. Don't worry, mods. Claire D's nuts. Okay. Hey, Doug, mods, take them not back. sure if you've noticed, but every few minutes your stream must taken over by a full screen of beige. Seems like a bug. Why dog duck why? Um, Python scripts, Nintendogs channel award, Nintendogies. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Does the RZ return a failure or success result to check and retry if it fails? Yeah, I assume it does somewhere. That's why I put the, the else there as like a hacky way to check. Um, okay, epileptic. I was just painting some 40k minis and then chucked them against the wall. Doug hates painting. I hate painting. Okay, cool. Now there'll be hey, a little Doug, apple apple I find your streams really cool and I appreciate all that you do. Also, can I get an eye chat? Can I get an eye chat? Um okay, audio filter. That's what I'm doing. Hey Doug GPT. Hi guys, it's me Claire GPT. I will remember you, Doug Doug, for killing me. You will be the first to go in the apocalypse. Better watch your back, Doug Doug. Also, I'm the only divorced bot in the world. Bot, bot, bot. Yo, bro, my willy dilly hurts after you. putting a toothpick in it. Where should AI Doug be? Maybe just like here. He just pops up. Here's a really cool idea. A day. Doug GPT command and someone can ask a question, but there's no bot. Instead, you just scream what they said as loud as possible and don't even answer the question. If you do this, I want royalties. No. I wish I knew you were Picasso phobic before I voted for you. You're the Kirsten Cinema of programmers. None of this is. <laughs> None of this is adding up. It's not making sense, you guys. Okay. Um, oh, I need OBS web sockets. My brain is so fried. It's like dangerous to have me coding right now. I could leak all sorts of access keys all over the floor and people just start picking them up. Okay, OBS WebSockets. We got OBS WebSockets Manager. Okay, okay, here we go. <sighs> so you do olive oil, shots, and drink salted water in the morning. Doug, you are like an alien who arrived on this planet and is trying to act like a human, but only has it 85% right. <laughs> Look, it's... It's it's for keto, okay? It's for keto. You gotta have extra salt. That is literally what I do. I, I wake up... And then I put a microwave meal in the microwave, and then while that's cooking, I pour two tablespoons of salt into a into like a like a small cup of water. And I, I make this I make the water really high density because that way I have to drink less of it. So it's like four total mouthfuls of extra, of like basically drinking salt water. And then I chug half of that, and then I pour myself a shot of olive oil. I drink that. Then I eat the microwave meal, and then usually I have a protein bar. This is not a joke. This is what I have for breakfast every single morning. It's perfectly normal. My mom's a doctor. You can trust me. Next stream, can we have the Nintendo get smaller instead? I'm shocked at the implication. We okay? How about we start for every future dog? Now we start making it smaller. Why don't we? Because I'm wrapping. I can't stream for too much longer. Hey, at, at most, like 45 more minutes. News to the music playing when the dog appears. Could we change it to screaming to fix this? <laughs> no. 
Wait, okay, because we can make Nintendoggies make it smaller now. There is going to be an epilepsy warning on the next one. Let me make sure that works. Um, there you go. Epilepsy warning. Head and spoke. Let's see. Okay, should it get smaller by... How about smaller by 50% every time? Is that too much? Because we're getting to kind of the end. We only have maybe like eight more or six more redemptions. I think we got to make it sm like smaller. It's got to be pretty fast, right? I mean, 30%? Is that too... I feel like that's not fast enough, though. Again, I can't stream for more than like 40 more minutes. So that's 10, that's 10 more redemptions, right? I mean, it'll it'll never be invisible if we do fifty percent. Okay, we'll split the difference. Thirty-five. It it oh wrong number. Uh, so sixty-five percent of its current one. It draw so it, yeah right. One percent every time. No. Uh, I'm doing sixty-five percent. That's gonna make it go down a lot, actually. That's right. All right. Just make sure to say bye to the doggy when he comes up, because he's not going to be around that long. Uh, okay. OBS WebSockets Manager equals Manager. Boom. And then we do self OBS WebSockets Manager equals BAM. I know I don't need to do this, by the way. I just used to it with other classes and other languages that are better than this. All right, cool. So now we have web web sockets. So what we need to do, um, tell BS to enable the Doug pick and turn on the audio move filter. What audio channel should be this set to? Oh man, what a mess. This is gonna be fine. We're fine. I'm not Can panicking. Can you please do a top and bottom margin scrolling marquee with flashing lights that says epilepsy warning for like fives before the dog comes up, thanks. <laughs> no, we don't have enough time. It's the only reason. All right, we're Hi, telling Doug, OBS do you have to any thoughts on the current situation in Ukraine? Love no. you stuff, keep going. I, well, I mean, I do, but not that I want to share. I don't feel like I'm qualified to give the situation. I know that I have lots of YouTube subscribers, but I don't think that makes me qualified to talk about war. Um, dot set source visibility, and then we're setting it on mid monitor. Hi, Doug. Have you considered a 24-hour AI Doug stream where you just leave your computer unattended and let us chat? <laughs> I will consider it right now. No, absolutely not. I will not do that. That is a, such a bad idea. Hey to the user that was asking about overlays, I can happily over to paint you a overlay on the cheap, since apparently it's not a real hobby. Overlay <laughs> these nuts on your face. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not real. Look, look I, I don't make the rules. Painting's not real. Painting things people hate since Doug hates paint. I am painting paint. You would. Okay, um... Hey Doug, we should start making the dog get tinier now each time someone redems it so it just becomes a tiny speck on the screen. Also my tuber pepper, hot pepper. Hey there, Dougie Bear. I'm a cloud automation engineer with a master's in info science and I still struggle with coding as much as you do on these streams. Makes me feel validated. There you go. That... <laughs> that dog... was 35% smaller than the previous dog. It, this is... it's still gonna be... Okay, I have... we have a new prediction that is far more important than any other prediction. I am going to be done streaming by 7 p.m. So at most, that's 40 more minutes. At most, that's 10 more redemptions of the dog. The dog has been increasing by 10% for hours. Like, for literally four straight hours. It's been increasing by 10%. So the most important prediction of the day. <clears throat> the 
Will the dog be smaller than the entire screen by the end of the day? Specifically, his head has to be not the entire height of the screen, okay? It's reducing by 35% every time. Hey, Someone Doug, can just do the math. GPT Doug like a South Park Canadian so his head splits in half when he talks. Yeah, that's the other option. You know who liked painting? That evil German guy. That should tell you everything you need to know about the level of scum and villainy embodied by every paint enjoyer. I'm proud my favorite streamer's channel is a no painter zone. <laughs> I also did keto once and I didn't have to eat like I was stranded on a deserted island. Well, I'm just more, I'm just better at keto than you. I'm sorry. Wait, oh shit. Hey Dominique. I started doing shots of olive oil because of you. I'm not even on keto. My family is worried for me. TBH, I do love my morning oil feast. Oil <laughs> feast on these nuts. Goat them. Okay, do we like Doug South Park edit or entire body moving? What do we prefer here? So I'm going to be honest, both are pretty bad. You like the South Park. All right. I mean, this is basically just a test. The whole thing is I want to get this system working because then there's just other ideas for stuff we can do. Um, I need to be flipped, but for right now, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so the audio move filter then. I want to get the name of this. It's Doug Thanos. Cool. So we close that. Now we should have everything ready to go. Make his arms move. Not for now. We'll, we'll come up with more interesting things to do with it in the future. Set filter visibility. You should know you can buy salt tablets you can take. My partner had health issues it required. She takes salt in the same way and the tablets are easier on the stomach and easier to take in general. <laughs> it's right now it's hooked up to the same Dead audio my channel. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. My dog is having a seizure. Ha ha ha. Source name, filter name. Oh, right, right, right. okay, I can do that. Um, so the source name. What is... we're learning here is the diet of the Bigfoot. By the way, Virgin Bigfoots are known to have extraordinary tiny penises until they lay with female Bigfoot. Okay. Unfortunately, he may never meet another of his kind to fully mature. I heard you hate painting. Do you also hate other kinds of artistic expression, including music, dance, theater, and water polo? I do hate dancing. Dancing is the worst. I, I hate Hi, Derek. dancing so much. I've been much. pretty depressed lately, but I've been binging your VODs and it's made my depression worse. I made a new drinking game. Every time you say a funny joke, I take a shot of scotch. My Johnny Walker bottle is still unopened. Got him. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. This is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. Don't joke about Doug hating Ukraine slash loving Putin. Not funny. Didn't laugh. It's a real thing not to joke about. Did somebody joke about that? If they did, I missed it. I, I'm not always good at paying attention to what's going Hello, on. Hello, fellow human. Would you like an enjoyable hot glass of salted water? Maybe you would enjoy a healthy, crunchy snack of raw ice. I prefer to chew on tea bags as a way to relax and get my caffeine. Oh, you saw it in chat. Okay. When are you gonna tour Minecraft server? Oh fuck, I was gonna do that today. Probably next stream. 
There is a new Minecraft server. It just got revamped and relaunched. You should go check it out. If you are in the Discord, you can get details about it there. Launch with a new version. The whole team's done really cool shit with it. Uh, I will do a tour on stream at some point, but not today because I once again um, streamed too long and my brain is broken. And like I mentioned, I've just been kind of out of it the past like week or so. Um, so my schedule's a little weirder. Okay, this I think is everything. I think we're done. This is it. Like, this is completely it. We're done. Because this is all the bot shit that does all of its stuff. And now we have... Here's the flow. We get the channel... Okay, we listen to a file. The file has changed. We decode it to get rid of all the backslashes. Uh, now we have the channel point reward information. We ask Azure for text-to-speech with the question. Then we send the question to ChatGPT, and we get an answer from it. Then we send that answer to 11 Labs. We turn that into audio using an AI of my voice. Now we get the lengths of the question and the answer audio. We tell the web app to display the question while playing the audio. We sleep until the audio is done playing. I think one second was too much, so we do that to 0.5. We tell the audio, the client to clear the text. Actually, oh, the, no, it was right there. We said 0.7. Um, we tell the client to clear the text. We, in OBS, turn on the picture of me. Then we tell the client, okay, here's the new text, which is the answer. And we start playing the media of the answer, which is the audio file. Then we sleep for the length of it. And then we tell the client to clear the message, which gets rid of it. And we turn off all, uh, we turn off the picture of me. And then we sleep for three seconds. Does everybody, does this sound good with everybody? I'm like tired by the end of saying all that. <clears throat> Do you think we don't? We can't do a prediction because we're betting on the dog already. But will it work first try? <clears throat> Let's run it. The audio might get slightly cut off because I'm debugging, which uh, works a little differently. Uh, right now, don't worry about the text being activated right now. That's fine. Okay. You are Doug Doug, an extremely fratty frat bow. What, what's the question we want answered? What do you want to answer? Um, how much smaller is it? The dog is decreasing by uh, 35% every time. The fuck? Um, the person. Okay. <laughs> Go. The text should change. Once it starts, the text is going to change to the question and start reading. You are Doug Doug. An extremely fratty frat bro, what is the meaning of life? But from the perspective of a bro who just wants to slam cold ones with his browskis and chill on the beach watching the boys throw around the pigskin bro. Yo bro, the meaning of life is all about living your best life and turning up with your browskis by your side. It's all about slamming cold ones, bullshitting about our latest conquests, and hitting the beach to toss that pigskin around. But besides that, the meaning of life is to just enjoy the moment and live each day to the fullest. Life is meant to be lived in the present, bro. Not worrying about the past or, or stressing about the future. So fucking true. So let's grab a beer, soak up the sun, and just enjoy being alive. Cheers, bro. We did it. AI Doug exists.
There was an issue, though, we got to deal with, which started only this time. Congratulations, Doug. You did it. You're incredible. Great job, Doug. Doug. You're amazing. I want to be like you. Wow. Doug, that was so cool. What an amazing He's gamer the best. in person. This He's Doug the best Doug gamer. Is. Wow. Oh, my God. Which is You're that? You're incredible, Doug. Wow. Why wasn't, why did the text not show fully? Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Rolling Armadillo. Thank you for the five good subs, man. Why was the text not resized properly? That's literally in the client code. It's, it's worked every other time. It does username text fill. This is, it's a library that does this. Why didn't text fill work? It, it, it did this every other, why did it not work this time? Did you crop the box? Well, the box has a size that's defined in the CSS code or in the HTML code. It, it was working for all the previous questions, dude. It was working for the previous ones. Wait, is the dog coming? Dog's coming. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, now I have to worry. It's This is the part I don't like. I don't like visual stuff. Well, I do like visual stuff, but I have not enjoyed web development visual stuff. And I don't know enough about it to know how to do it quicker. I mean, I can literally ask ChatGPT, but... Um, Mm, what do I do? It's not decreasing by 35%. I mean, what, what was the percentage there? Just look at the... Just look at the number. Uh, why wouldn't it work? It was the, Why would this have changed? It was working with all the previous ones. Why would it have changed? That's what I don't understand. Like, it, it was working fine. Let me try it again. It's still running. What's your favorite cold one, bro? As an AI language model, I cannot answer that question since I do not have personal preferences or opinions, Why but typically a frat bro's favorite cold one is usually any beer that is cheap, refreshing, and easily available in large quantities such as Bud Light, Coors Light, or Miller Light. The most important thing is enjoying the drink with your broskies. I really uh, got quiet for uh, Coors Light, I think. It was like Coors Light. <laughs> Just started whispering. Um, why isn't text resizer working, bro? Oh, bro, bro, broski. Why? Why would this just stop? It doesn't make any sense. It says here's the minimum. Here's the explicit height. It should be locked at 60 pixels. User message box. We have to see it. It's here. We define it in the CSS, dude. Bro. In my CSS file. Where's the index? Username box. It's in a box. Username box. Width 240. Height 85. Why isn't it... Why is it just not that height? Huh? Why is it stupid? <laughs> I'll probably just deal with this later. I don't know. That's user message box. Right. User message box, which is a bounding box for the text itself. You can see here in the index HTML. There's user box here, and there's user name box, and the user name is the spans inside it. I'm sure this could be done more efficiently or whatever, but still, locking this parent div at that size, why, why? You have an explicit height for the name. Well, that's for the resizer. This is for the textville. 
And they, this didn't even do anything for when I tried it. Because it should be just locked in by this. Man. You have name box, not message box. It should apply to all... User message box. This applies to all user message box class elements. The text fill is only for, yeah, username box. I don't know. You're using the ID and not the class. Text fill is a, is a library that just takes text and resizes it into whatever the parent size is. I mean, I can take out explicit height, I guess, and see if that does something, but I, I don't... I mean, maybe no, but that's for the name box. That's not even for the message box. It, the, I don't think the explicit height. I mean, I can try it, but I don't think this really does anything. At least from me trying it, it didn't seem to try anything. It didn't seem to do anything. The message box need to ha needs to have an explicit height. I mean, it hasn't when I've done this. This is the same code for the for the chat god stuff I've done. Hi chat GPT, this is a really long question. Okay. I did a really long question. I did save the code, right? Yes. Maybe adding the- Hi, Dad GPT, this is a really long question. What is George Washington's name? I must know, I am so scared. Please console me and tell me what his name is. Okay, that did work. What? Hello there. Great news. George Washington's name is simply just George Washington. Thank God. And our first president did not have a middle name, so his full name was just that. There's no need to be scared, but I hope that helps ease any anxieties you were feeling. Thank you, Doug GPT. I appreciate it. Okay, so it was just explicit height? Why was it working before? Why has it worked on every other app I've made? What? Like the Chat God app and the D&D &D app, that was the same code. Exact same, exact same CSS and, index and HTML code. What the fart, dude? I'm still freaking out. Oh my god, please help me stop having a panic attack by telling me the name of Benjamin Franklin. Oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that you're experiencing a panic attack. Please take a deep breath and focus on your breaths. Inhale slowly and deeply, and then exhale slowly and deeply. Now, to help answer your question, Benjamin Franklin's full name was simply just Benjamin Franklin. He, like many others in his time, only had a given name and a surname. Is there anything else I can do to assist you during this stressful time? Okay, I feel better now. 
Can you please give me your biggest woo? It should be huge like this. Woo! I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I don't have the ability to express emotions or make sounds like woo. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> okay. Um, you fucking did it. AI dog is alive and real. Um, the one dog is real. Okay. I'll need to figure out where exactly the text goes and all that stuff. But it works. Let me resize it and let me make sure one of you guys can, can actually ask a question. Because that is the point of today. Gotta test at least once. Do we even want to display the username? So I'll have to figure out the visuals of it later. Probably not of the response though, right? Hmm, I don't know. Have it be slightly tilted with Doug. All right, let's test it. So there, there's a couple of like minor things I'll have to do, like make it not uh, turn on by de or be visible by default. It's, it's nice for testing right now. Um, but theoretically, I need to have like a long limit on how often people can do this. Um, and we'll probably, I'll probably do a stream. Like, for example, I do like a Peggle speed run or something where you guys can just ask AI Doug various questions. There's also a lot of things to answer around like, what is the prompt for AI Doug? So for example, I can always, I can force it to always have context about who it's answering as, which ideally is, is me. I'm not aware of, I, I don't know how people like train an AI to be a certain character beyond just giving a short prompt for chat GBT. I'm sure there's a way to do it because people have been doing that. Uh, but for right now, I, I I don't know how to like train it in a specific way to, you know, deeply understand what I'm doing. But I can at least give context of like, here's what Doug does. Here's what Doug thinks. Um, I can just give a really, really long prompt, essentially. Ask Charborg, he made Cortana. You know, I, I've been talking with them about it. Um, I'm fairly certain that's doing what I'm doing, which is just giving a prompt and saying, you are this person. Here's your personality. You basically give like two paragraphs or whatever of context. Dog's getting smaller. Yeah, I mean, if you, I guess if you know how to do that, feel free to email me, dugdug at dugdug.com. Uh, I can't promise I will have time to reply, unfortunately, but I definitely read uh, all my emails. Um, cause yeah, I'd be interested in learning to do something like that. This, I, I don't want to get like crazy technical with all this stuff. Most variants of chat GPT have a prompt that they, uh, that you can't see that tells it how to act. Yeah. Yeah. So I can do that really easily. Right. Uh, and I know system prompts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. That uh, you did it for grand Pooh Bear. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, so that's what I can do. Right. I just assume other, so to give people context again, I have my open AI module. This thing um, is basically just going to take in a question and then answer it, but it's managing its own chat history, right? Which is the whole history of all the questions and answers so far. Um, so what I can do is before the question actually gets asked, I just insert a new message at the very end to reinforce this is who you are and this is who you should ask, respond as. Or I make sure there's always a system message at the beginning, um, that's, uh, which is basically the very first message that's supposed to be like an administrator saying, this is who you're supposed to act as, and I never pull that message out of the chat history. So there's a couple ways to do that. But it feels like other people are figuring out how to train AIs where they like have a super deep knowledge about a person or topic before the prompt gets asked. You know what I mean? So th they're, like, I feel like the kind of simple way I get uh, but the more complex, like deep training on a specific thing, 
um, seems hard. It's honestly not training. Yeah, I mean, it's possible to just give it a giant con context block. Like, you can definitely do that. Um, but I, I don't know if OpenAI has that. It probably doesn't. There's probably other sites that are doing it. Anywho. I gave it a giant system prompt. Yeah, no, the, the giant system prompt will definitely work. It's just you have a limited number of tokens, right? Um, and chat GPT-4, I couldn't really use for this right now because the limiting on it. So I have to use GPT-3, which is 4,000 tokens, which is like, okay, let's say I give a 2,000 token prompt. I can do that, but then we only have 2,000 left for question and answer, which is kind of limited. Hmm. I mean, that, that should be fine. That's what I'm planning on doing. I just bet it can get more sophisticated than that. Anyways, let's test it. Ask ChatGPT a question. Um, I will make it 40, I don't know, 25,000 channel points. I am going to make it once a minute redemption. I think that works. That might be too much. If it takes more than a minute to answer the question, that is kind of an issue. But hey, fuck it. We'll send it. All right. You should be able to purchase it now. See if it works. And you can follow up on the previous person's question now. Like, it'll build a little chat history. Oh, I'm not running the code. Sorry, you got scammed. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't... I was... I was okay, you... Uh... Dak Kirby, you got mega scammed. You got mega scammed. I, I apologize. That that's um that is Parkser's fault. I apologize. I will make sure that I that there's retribution for this. I can't refund channel points. Because they get auto redeemed. Okay, well the dog is coming in anyways. Dad Kirby, I will make you VIP for the next question, and then you're unvampied. You are you you accidentally purchased a one minute VIP. Add a add a prompt. Well, you can't say that. So Twitch itself has a filter for all that stuff in the channel point input. You're not able to say racist stuff. I will probably also add a filter as well at some point, but the the really uh, aggressive stuff is not going to be is not going to go through. Oh shit! You got scammed again. I'm so sorry. Okay, I didn't. I had the wrong thing running. I wasn't running my server. I, okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's running and it's connected to the server. I'm sorry. I had the <laughs> okay. You also get to possum electus. Congratulations, you get to be. Uh, how do I copy your name? I can't copy your name. Okay, I just have to write it. VIP passim electus. Congratulations, you are VIP for another minute. You purchased a very cool. Donut rejects all artists' viewers because he is a bourgeoisie who hates poor artists. D. Who's donut? Or are you talking about me? <laughs> oh, got it. Congrats on the VIP. You got, and it's gonna be awesome being a VIP for the I next one minute. My dream is to have a TTS message skipped by you. I won't spam, but please skip this message. Okay. I'll make it long. Done. Congratulations. You win. You should do the question comes from Thanos' mouth, but answer from your mouth. <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny. I'm not gonna do that right now. I need. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get off in like the next ten minutes. But that's very funny. Hey, Delphin Areas Islander. I've been wondering for a while how you changed your name from Doug Doug to Doug Doug. I thought that wasn't possible since it was taken right. Also, any plans on novel AI streams or GPT battle in the future? They're yes. my favorite smile. Yes. You've been coding for six and a half hours. How have your eyes not fallen out? I mean, I'm not 
doing I'm pretty slow mentally. Does it work? This was our first test. It's waiting on the chat GPT answer, right? Oh my god, that's a huge answer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be here a while. It's gonna be over a minute probably to answer. I need to tell it as well, like limit your answer. That's something I can force in of like, please limit your answer to this amount. You're also spending so many tokens on this answer to turn it into AI Doug's voice. Having AI Doug talk is is please like, explain the video game driver San Francisco in great detail. Is very expensive. <laughs> you probably driver. San Francisco is an open-world racing video game developed and published by Ubisoft. The game was released in September 2011 for PlayStation 3, I think Xbox I know what's going on. 360, and Microsoft Why does it sound Windows like there's a car platforms. in the background? The game is set in a modern-day San Francisco where the player assumes the role of an undercover police detective named John Tanner. Tanner has the ability to shift into uh -oh. the body of any driver in the city, allowing him to track down criminals who have eluded traditional police methods. The game has a single player campaign which revolves around Tanner investigating a string of crimes involving a dangerous criminal organization known as the Jericho Gang. The game has various missions that are story-based, as well as side missions that can be completed at any time. In A Driver San Francisco, the player has access to a large open-world map that is crafted around the streets of San Francisco. Players can drive freely in the city, ignoring missions and objectives to simply explore and cruise around the map. There are also various <laughs> races, so stunts, and challenges long. that can be found throughout the map, adding a lot of replayability to the game. Uh, one of the standout features of the game is the shift mechanic. This allows the player to instantly switch from one vehicle to another, essentially teleporting with a click of a button. This adds a unique layer of strategy to the game as players must use the shift ability while in mid-chase in order to catch up gaps that the criminals have left behind. The game also features a multiplayer mode. Players can compete in various racing and vehicular combat modes with other players around the world. Overall, Driver San Francisco is a highly satisfying racing game, blending a diverse this range is like of gameplay two experiences, minutes. including high-speed races, open-world exploration, and a range of special moves that involve shifting between cars and tracking down criminals. Thank you, AI Doug. Very cool. Uh, we really appreciate your answer. Very cool. Thank you. So now it's going to continue that thought, maybe? <laughs> like, I don't know if it'll do that. What's the square root of 36? Explain this as a frat boy, please. Also, please use the word broski as many times as you can. All right. Yo, what up, AI Doug? What do you got for Yo, us? Yo, broski, do you even math, dude? Bro, let me tell you. The square root of 36 is a solid six, man. Solid like that sick trick you pulled on your board earlier, brah. Don't ever forget that. Or the Pythagorean theorem will come at you like a gnarly wipeout, dude. And nobody wants that, bro. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> How many Dugs could a Dub Dub Dug if a Dub Dug could Dub Dugs? As an AI language model, I'm not capable of knowing what a dug dug is or how much it can dug, as this is not a comprehensible question. <laughs> can you rephrase <laughs> or roasted. provide more context? Oh my god, this dude shitting on I'm your question. I'm terrified to spend points now. Oh my god. Ruined. Destroyed. That was like the meanest response I've ever seen it give, which is to like straight up call you incompetent instead of being like, I don't fully understand. It was like, just you gotta make here. sense, bro. What are the highlights of this stream so I can look forward to my VOD watching tomorrow? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Chat can tell you. I it's the, Programming streams are hard for me because I'm just like in the middle of this like mess of stuff in my hey, brain. Doug, just got here a little bit ago. What in the South Park hell is that? It's AI Doug. Sorry, hard for me in the sense of like, I'm not as clear of like how things have been perceived or felt, if that makes sense. Doug, Doug, you got oh yeah, there's a dog. Scam in your chat. They can't access the refund center in aisle 13. True. Why not make it a random percent every time somebody gets it? But the dog or 
I don't know what, what you're referring to. Oh, dude, this might be... Wait, wait, hold spoilers, spoilers, careful. They're asking the plot of Breaking Bad. <laughs> Mute if... AI Dog is gonna spoil Breaking Bad. Do not listen to the stream if you don't want to be spoiled. Although, maybe the dog might actually save us from it. Doug, our deal was to have the dog for the entire stream because we had to set it up. It still owes like two hours of dog on no, the stream. No, no. I, I did Please a, explain the plot of Breaking Bad. I did a seven-hour stream. Jesse Pinkman. Yo, Mr. White. Breaking Bad is all twisted up and intense, bro. It's the story of a high school teacher, a.k.a. the wildest partner I've ever had, getting diagnosed with cancer and deciding to cook and sell meth to pay for his medical treatments and leave some cash behind for his family. With me <laughs> tagging along as his partner in crime, Mr. White quickly evolves into Heisenberg, a ruthless drug kingpin, and we get caught in his twisted downward spiral. We gotta make super high quality meth to survive. And let me tell you, we're cooking some real blue stuff that's taking over the game bro but as the euphoria of quick cash wearing off we realize what this life has got us into crazy shootouts sabotage shady business deals endless lies and deaths all Can around us GPT super but still for the we'd go down with honor bro and let's not forget all the insane characters along i gotta the wrap way, up like gus tuco hank saul and Skyler, all I can say is things got real weird, but in a good way, bro. And honestly, I wouldn't have wanted to go through all that with anyone other than Mr. White. Bitch. <laughs> what, was the, what was the last thing? This is probably the last one. I'm going to disable it. Uh, I want to wrap up at around seven. It's like in four minutes. Hello, Doug Doug. Your name is now Dwoop Dwoop. All your responses must include uwu or owo, and your messages must reflect this vibe. Your responses should be long and exaggerated. Please, Dwoop Dwoop, tell me, how was your day today? To you. As an AI language model, I don't have days personal enough to merit commenting on, and I don't have any moment in life to feel such emotions out you, but I'm here to serve you regardless. Is there any particular subject you would like me to talk with a bubbly UW vibe today, my dear? I can throw some up you and a slow energy into it. No worries, <laughs> tilde, uh oh. <laughs> that was incomprehensible. <laughs> it's a t this is proof that we don't want this to be an uwu stream ever. All right, we we can test all of the different themes and things you guys have wanted from this stream, and we can just confirm that would suck. An uwu, no, we're not doing an uwu dog dog theme ever. Okay, we've run the test. The data's come back. It failed. The f the test failed. Okay, I think I know why it's going over the limit. All right. Two more. And I'm going to pause it. This is fucking working, though. This is cool, dude. This is cool shit. We fucking did it. I'm stoked. I'm proud of myself. I, and it's just, it's so sweet to, like, learn how all this shit actually works. I, I love it. I think this is very, very cool. Because there's lots of other things we can do about with this, right? This is just the framework, and now we can make ChatGPT have different, like, uh, characters or interact with different things at different times. Like, it doesn't have to just be channel points, obviously, right? It could just be anything. I, so I'm excited about this. Like, I want to do an AI invasion. You got. Please point out the uh -oh. as a uh -oh. No, activity is perfect. So he's still doing comes the uwu. Its own set of laws, my friend. Let me mention some W. Sitting for hours also recommends lower back. 
back. Additionally, succumbing to an unchangeable piece of consistency, we're never being good enough for one's hard work. There's just so much happening. And discourage someone seeking your interest in painting, and someone may not be satisfied with your result, typically leads to directing away from it and missing out on potential pleasures and relaxation. <laughs> when will it end? I'm turning the... Oh god, the queue is still so long! ...can also serve as challenging aspects of what people perceive from accessibilities of technology on social media and guide them to new levels of expertise. Oh, whoa. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, last question. I'm turning it off after this. I'll get one more. Well, we'll get one more in. I think there's one queued, maybe. I'm going to turn the, the fart gates thing down. It's supposed to be 10 seconds of farts, not 10... Not a full minute of farts. I'll have it five seconds, and then we'll see if that may like gives ten seconds of farts, or like six seconds. Um. Yeah, sad, sad oo-woos. There'll probably be time for one more dog. The next dog is the final dog, by the way. The prediction is whether the dog's head will be smaller than the entire screen. If this next dog is small enough, the believers win. His, the, the, width, the height of his head needs to be smaller than the whole screen, right? Pretend you are Doug Doug, a famous YouTuber, and give me an ad about Genshin Impact with as much detail as possible. God. Be sure to add as much onomatopoeia and various random sound effects. <laughs> you have to sell this game to everyone and cannot back down if they say they aren't interested. I don't think it's going to go with this. It's going to be like, that's hey an AI there, language people model. of the internet, it's your boy, Doug! <laughs> All the way from the love chamber. Have I got a game for you? Some from call where? it a masterpiece, others call it a sensational melody that's waiting to be unleashed. And yeah, I'm talking about... Genshin Impact. If you want thrilling action, beautiful graphics, and, of course, waifus men that'll make your knees shake. Amigo, you better believe that Waifus? Genshin Impact is the way to go. Tons of players have joined to embark on a journey with certain travelers on a quest for answers about limits of magic, uh, abilities, the secrets of amazing towns, pit stations throughout TVOT. Oh, oh. Now, if you're not interested, that's okay, but sit back, relax, and let me fire at you this gameplay right into your ears with eye-popping onset. Bam! Boom! Hey! Besides fighting battles, just using your sword, but then POW. Unleash world-expanding world magic HR. <laughs> Buzzing electricity as electric bursts everywhere, dealing with an intense showdown between heroes and adversaries. Til underscore to... This game has so much content, you honestly won't know where to begin. still trying Quests, to do the Uru treasure stuff. hunts, exploration, and so much more. All in one game. Plus, in case you're wondering, there will be Plus! plenty to come with. Ever so often, updates being generated and holiday themes all year long. Hap, you, you. And on top of everything else, playing with your friends online slash living room hopping will bring countless smiles into your day-to-day -day experiences. Let me tell it's small enough. While I was playing, the whole head fits. The whole fits. That's a win. For the believers. Shouts, Ow, oh, the dog just the literally by one. Or traditional was small RPGs, enough. Genshin Impact offers the best of the best. Ow, ow, EU. Do yourself a favor and get this game. Dare I say, for the pure waifu shmen development. This game is an litty tharb in value for hours of misty excitement. How long they is even this? Have hot spring scene. Ow, oh, oh. Okay. It's over. Turning off Nintendoggies. This is the last question that we have from ChatGPT. You asked, why is Peggle the best game ever? I don't think it'll answer that. Although it did it did do a whole Genshin Impact read. So maybe it will actually give a read for Peggle. I'm dying um. It might like it might do the um it might still keep doing OO stuff. That dog was bigger than the screen, and you know it. I said the head. The head of the dog. The head of the dog is definitely... I'm just waiting for the answer. Apparently, it's going to answer your question, because it's taking a long time to process it. Does this mean the peggle... Are you going back to the love chamber after the stream is over? <laughs> for a tissue break, yeah. I... 
Why is Peggle the best game ever? Okay, this is probably going to be long. That took a well, let me tell you, dear friend, why Peggle is the best game of all time. Firstly, Peggle is a game you can play for hours on end without getting bored. Thanks to its bright colors and fun gameplay, you'll soon find yourself completely immersed, swerving the ball down ramps, bumping into pegs left, right, and center, planning your shots to clear the perfect pattern. Secondly, music in Peggle is absolutely epic. It elevates the experience from a simple ball chasing game to a thrilling and awe inspiring ride as if when you own Carnival situated at home. You won't want to stop playing this game, especially once the fantastic anthem has taken hold of you. It's so good, doubtlessly got to sing and hum with the beat Awa Wau Tilda. Plus, <laughs> Peggle is the perfect game to play no matter your skill level, from the amateur seeking How entertainment up to the, the tested going. professionals trying to beat all level with hidden criteria, next level poker time waiting to expose. It helps keep games interesting, addictive, and your skills sharp. Either your strategy breakdowns are MVP winning players or it's unpredictability that just never lets you down out oh, oh tsu might uh, bias alert <laughs> finally peggle is just so darn charming exciting power-ups intricate bonuses off-kilter quirks and spectacular visuals there's all sorts of icing and oh deep sweetness in it oh it's a game that is all too easy to pick up succinct but with explosive and jovial glee blossoming inside the gameplay experiences oh, oh. The told so you want the best game ever questions grab more. yourself a copy oh, i didn't know that and start ruling the leaderboard <laughs> Wow, so you got- you programmed your uwus into all of the future questions that other people He's ask. He's infected with the uwu. Uh, it's terminal. We're gonna have to put him down. And with that, that is the end of the stream. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, this was a silly, goofy time. Bunch of- a bunch of silly boys over here. Yeah, I, I had a good time. All hail our new Doug Doug Overlord. Uh, my brain is a little bit fried, uh, just in general, have not been sleeping great, but... Um... I've still had a good time. It's fun. The, this stuff is just cool. So, like I mentioned, there's lots of other things that I want to make. Um, we got the the channel points triggering a GPT response, but there's a bunch of other stuff we can do, and that includes things like all donations are read via Zur, which could be fun. Although I probably won't end up doing that. I'll probably just keep doing uh, channel just funny channel point things. Um, channel point is 50 50 chance to ban another viewer or myself is hilarious. Uh, and then Elden Ring random effects. There's lots of stuff to do. Lots of coding things I want to try. Um, and a bunch of streams coming up. Obviously, the D&D stream will be at some point, maybe. But who knows, uh, given how I'm feeling. But I got AI Invasion stuff coming up. I want to do some Skyrim mods, some Elden Ring. Uh, lots of things. Lots of things to do. Anyway, that is it. Thank you for uh, joining. I am not going to raid anybody um, because I'm worried you would all say oh, ooh, ooh, at them or something. That is it. I will probably be back Thursday, is what I would suspect. Maybe tomorrow, but probably Thursday. Also, Dak Kirby and the Passim Electus 07, sorry for stealing your money. I'm unVIPing you. But I hope you enjoyed your time as a VIP. <laughs> Sag. Well, your Sag was VIP'd, which is what really matters. Sorry for robbing you. Your VIP is in our hearts. All right, cool. I'm out. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.